La la, good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you, Adam, donning your rubber gloves. Mm -hmm. How are you, darling? Yeah, good, thank you. Yep, yeah, any goss? Any news? Oh, Been out on the Raz? Night night. Big night last night. Good, good morning, morning, Mark. Good morning. Sweetie pie, how the devil are Oh, what have you got for your pat lunch today? This is Mark, everybody, our managing director. Just walk past, what have you got for your pat lunch today? This is going to be a feature because Carol keeps asking me what I got for lunch. Oh, it really? I got pasta with creamy mushroom sauce. Pasta with a creamy mushroom sauce. Oh, I tell you. Oh, I've got a bit of food, envy. I've just had an egg. <laughs> As all the team know, and I was instructed to go and eat it outside. <laughs> Can you, there's, there's still a little bit of a waft in the air. Sorry about that. Um, right, good morning, everybody. Let me introduce you to the team. So, as was established, we've got Adam with me on camera too. We've got the gorgeous, fabulous, most ridiculously wonderful Emma directing. Oh! Calorie cam, there she is, with the gloves, with the gloves. We've got holding it all together. It's Laura. <laughs> there she is, the gorgeous Laura. And then, and then we've got Wayne. <laughs> Here I got come. It's the gorgeous Wayne. There he is. Oh, look at. Do you know, he's in such a good mood today. Um, I just walked down the corridor before and I could hear him whooping and cheering. He was so excited. I thought maybe, like, a virtual football team had won something or, you know, he'd just got some great news. He's just discovered that the Parade Tourmaline had come over and it's amazing. And also, he's got a screen for when we speak to Mark a little bit later and that has changed his life. Now, we're going to be speaking to the fabulous, most ridiculously wonderful, talented designer of Mark Smith. Um, and we're going to speak to him at nine o'clock. Now, he has prepared these pieces. Do you think he's been a bit busy? Think he's been busy? He's ensured that the jewellery got to us ahead of today's show. Let me just move that, if I move that there. I think, um, I think when we can get back to our suppliers, we need to get some new busts. They're a little bit on the wonk, aren't they, really? Um, if I pop that. There we go, there we go. There we go, there we go. Can see a bit more. They are amazing. I feel a little bit of thieving coming on during the... Uh, after the show today. Um, they're, they're fabulous, fabulous. We've had to double up on some of them because he's made so much. So they will be involving the kits that we're going to do at nine o'clock. Um, so coming up for you, we've got Jake. We've got Jake at uh, 10 till Mm, 12, maybe we can make him stay a bit longer. Um, and he has got the most amazing, amazing, amazing lineup. Now, Jake, for those of you who've not met him before, make sure you're tuning in at 10. I just bit my own tongue. Ow. It's only three minutes past eight. Brilliant. Um, he is our in-house gemologist, gemstone hunter, uh, gemstone investor, and he will be bringing the most incredible deals to us a bit later. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Moving those back, okay, fair enough, he's allowed, he's allowed. Um, let me just get my technical doobly doobly. I'm not, I'm actually, Adam, can I leave, can you, can you do the doofy, doobly bits, please? The doofly, you see, can you, you can tell how technical I am. Um, so we've got Jake coming up at 10 o'clock. And if you've got any questions, I did ask yesterday, but no one actually messaged me on um, Facebook with them. I've got loads of other messages, so it's lovely. But if you want to ask Jake any messages, uh, ask him any messages, uh, text in any questions for him, we're live with him at 10 today until 12. We might be able to persuade him to stay longer. Now, also, there's just so much to tell you. We've got the most incredible show for you. Look, can I introduce you? How many of you out there love Swarovski? <laughs> a bundle, a bundle of Swarovski, a bundle of Swarovski, a bundle of Swarovski, a bundle of what, Adam? Swarovski. Can you sing it, please? Swarovski. Thank you. Um, mega bundle. That is going to be ridiculous. Now, can I just say, for those of you out there who know people who make costumes, okay? Because there'll be people out there who make ballroom dancing costumes in particular, 
we are going to go to such an incredibly low price. Anybody, and in fact, we should probably let our Sewing Street friends know who are in the studio um, in the other part of the building. And we've got this. It's really going to move into the world of, um, a, yeah, um, haberdashery as well. That is amazing. So for jewellery, for any type of crafting, Swarovski, that mega bundle will be ridiculous. The bad news is I think if it's 25 I've got. Oh no, I've got over 100. Have I? What, have we only got 25? Oh, that's the, the turquoise. Sorry, folks, sorry. So we've got amazing kits coming up as well. I've also got the deal of the day today. <laughs> I don't quite know what planet Wayne is on. Um, he's basically devaluing the, uh, the price of uh, rubies and sapphires. He's devaluing the expected value. They're incredible. These, Wayne, they're... Have you seen them in person? You're a nutter. You're an absolute nutter for doing this. They are, abs I'd be getting, so we're going to do a bundle. These, they all come with their certificate of authenticity. These are loose gemstones. Now, I do want to let you know that we are venturing into the opportunity for you to be able to create your own fine jewellery. And um, that is an element of the company we're really going to be developing a lot further, which will involve genuine gemstones. So for rubies and sapphires, without a shadow of a doubt, grab those. Also to let you know, ha, 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 ha. So we have got, as you can see, we've got tons of gemstone strands. We've got tons of findings. In a moment, um, I just need to let you know, well, at half past eight for the Alarm de Glagel, we've got the crimp covers coming up, and they are the last crimp covers that we've got in the company. Gorgeous. Ridic. Okay, um, so um, the crimp covers that we've got coming up are the final few that we've got. Now, <laughs> I don't want it's like teaching your granny to suck eggs. I really don't understand where that's come from, that phrase. That's weird, isn't it? It's weird. Can, you, can someone text in? Does anyone know where that came from? Strange phrases and where they came from. Teaching your granny to suck eggs. I mean, pretty disgusting, really. Uh, <laughs> but we are, obviously, um, in the current situation worldwide, it's like the world has just had to stop. Because we're carrying on, there's elements of our company we're not going to be able to continue with. And it's in the supply chain is going to be affected, and it already is. So we're down to the last of stock. This is the last time we've got crimp bee covers in. And we genuinely have no idea for how long. We don't know if it's the case if we call people up. So we've put them on pre-order for you today. We're giving you the opportunity. We've just been really honest. This is it. This is it. The stock that we have at the moment is... Is the sorry, I just scratched my face. Um, the last that we have, for, and we don't know. So we don't know if, because our suppliers aren't operating at the moment, we don't know how they got some, and then they can just ship them over. But we've got to wait for them to be shipped. If not, if we fly them over, the price will go up. And it's, yeah, there's quite a lot of implications. So while we've got them, and they're in stock, grab them. Okay, let's do some amazing last of stock deals. It's a case of fastest people to confirm. I'd love to see who is going to be joining me today for my first... <laughs> these are you know, these would look lovely with the deal of the day the final five these would look be oh look at these oh my word 34.95 nine carats of genuine blue sapphire we're not going to stay there today good luck everybody good luck good luck i already know some people who will be joining me this morning the early bird catches the gemstones not the worms 16.99 this morning, five opportunities, 0800 655. good morning Marina, four opportunities. These are stunning, these are seriously stunning, there's a beautiful ombre quality to these as well, I think you could really take your time and enjoy properly ombre in these, taking them from what are Gorgeous. Mark, if you're watching, Mark Smith, this is right up his street. High-end, beautiful gemstones that you can ombre as well. Okay, moving on. Now, citrine is known as the gemstone of happiness. Did you know that? So, if you know somebody who's just feeling down in the dumps, which I think it's fair to say most people, if they're not at the moment, they are... It's... I was having a really bad day yesterday. Today? 
yeah, I'm having a good day. Um, nothing's changed, but you know, the presence of this gemstone, even if it's just for the um, just for the thought and say, this is the gemstone of happiness. I thought you might like it. I think that is just gorgeous. Right, here we go. They're the final four. SKNV03795 clearance price on these. Final four chances. Good luck. Make sure you're adding to your order. It's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. Good morning, Glenda, my darling. Morning, Wendy. Oh, grab them as quick as you can. I've only got three chances. Okay, I've only got one chance left now. Don't worry, I've got loads of brilliant deals, but you're going to have to be just really quick. There's loads of people in for these, loads of collectors in. And I was saying this um, over the last few days, that because the Hong Kong Gem Fair and the Vegas Gem Fair isn't happening, loads of, loads of people from the trade who are like middlemen are shopping from us. It's good, isn't it? Because our price is so good. Zambian emeralds Zambian I've always said that Zambian emeralds my favorite I think it's got the intensity of color of Brazilian and it's got the vibrancy of a Colombian these are five chances they're beautiful I get this my best friend's birthday is in May 29.95 they are gorgeous we're going lower can I can you take that code down for me please because I'll have these if there's any left after the show all right, that'll be a no then. Uh, 14.95, well done, Margaret. Confirm, confirm. NHNV47, natural, incredible Zambian emerald. They've been simply oiled, which is what you do to emeralds to keep them vibrant. And if you want to have any more instruction about how to look after your gemstones, I'm going to be filming a segment for our YouTube channel about exactly that. I know, I know. I don't know when. Um, but it will happen. <laughs> Final opportunity. Okay. These are abs. Oh, oh, they've come loose off the strand. I might have to take these home. Feel a little bit thieving coming off. These are rubies and sapphires. How gorgeous are these? They're completely organic. They're lovely. They are. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Thirty-five pounds and sixty-six pence for two hundred and thirty carats of rubies and sapphires. Now, I just think these are amazing because you've got all the qualities of Corundum family. And if you're not, not everybody is a. Hi, <laughs> Jennifer. Hi, darling. Just tested my blood pressure after seeing that amazing Swarovski bundle. And it's 174 over 76. Do we need... It's a bit high. <laughs> do, we need to, do we need to get you some medical attention, darling? You're right. Good morning, Lucy and wonderful team. Morning, Angela. Pop it. You're right, darling. Good morning, lovely folks. Apart from Wayne. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Good morning, lovely folks in JM World. I'm very happy today. Five days off starting now. Liz, Liz, I don't know about you, but the weather where we are tomorrow is going to be 24 degrees. See, we've had snow drifts at this time of year before, and tomorrow it's going to be 24 degrees. Uh, Jennifer, OMG, I need that Swarovski. Let me just, can we just, can we just, Adam, can we just? Uh, Nikki said, hi Lucy, Emma, Laura, Adam and Wayne, you, um, you look lovely. Oh, that's you, Adam. It's like, that's me. That's me. Yeah. That's Adam. Yeah. It's the gloves. It's the gloves. Right. Um, Mark Smith, are you watching? Yeah, this Swarovski bundle is coming up later. It's going to be amazing. That's available on pre-order. It's available on pre-order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I've lost count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In fact, let me, I'll just, yeah, good one, Emma, thank you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 packs of Swarovski and two cup chains. 38. 
Uh, is that in the bundle as well, the cup chain, or is that part of the... They're amazing. 40 items. 40 items of Swarovski coming up in the bundle later. Mm -hmm. Now, these are the Black Rutilated Quartz. Um, they're the Sri Lankan sauce, so you just get... There's something about them. Have a look. They're at... Does it make sense to say they're a vivacious gemstone? Eighteen centimetres strand. Thanks, team. No response. Brilliant. Now they've never been lower than twenty nine ninety five before. <laughs> For anybody who didn't hear the whooping and cheering at home, um, Wayne's very excited about demolishing the price of that fourteen pounds and ninety five pence. That is stunning. Mark Smith, they are right up your street. They are exquisite. We've only got six of these remaining. Eileen, hi, darling. Oh, Glenda, you're getting some bargains in this morning, doll. WNVX16, give my love to the north. Oh, I've not had my northern fix in ages, have I? No, because, funnily enough, I've not been able to go anywhere. I've done here. Good morning, you, um, you lovely people. Another wonderful day and day 28 of my isolation. Looking forward to JM entertaining me all day. Love you all. Annette, my darling, mwah, we will try our best. We're here. We're going to keep you company. Keep texting him. Lovely. We're with you. Day 28. I think my mum and dad are about on that as well, yeah. Oh, how many of these have we got? Ah, ah. We are going to do the lowest price I have ever, ever, ever seen on a nine carat yellow gold chain. Now this is 20 inches. It is, oh, this is beautiful. How much are you doing on this, Wayne? Oh, it's be oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the lowest price I've ever seen. 34 95 we've gone straight down. This is, this is absolutely beautiful, solid nine carat yellow gold. Oh, what a shame we haven't got more. Oh, what a shame we haven't got more. Um, okay, let's see who's getting this. DQIL18. It's a 20 inch Prince of Wales chain. I am so sorry if you miss out. Goodness me, we've got a lot of people wanting this. Oh, for goodness sake. The Sarovsky wasn't on pre-order, it is now. Oh. Oh, it, it has been on pre-order, but it hasn't been showing for some reason. So, it is available on pre-order though, yeah? You'll have to phone up to pre-order the Sarovsky. That's irritating, isn't it? 40 items. And what time are we going to do that again? At half past nine. Half past nine, we're doing the Sarovsky bundle. It's going to be amazing. We really want that chain. Oh, okay. Um, Wayne, our producer, is going to pop the item code of the Swarovski bundle. Bundle? The bundle. <laughs> uh, across the bottom of the screen for you. So you can call up for it. It's a free phone number. For some reason, it just won't load on the uh, internet. I think it's probably because I'm here. I tend to break technology, don't I? Just by breathing. Yeah. This is more Zambian emerald, 10 carats. Look at the vibrancy of this one. Again, my word of the day is going to be vivacious. Yeah, yeah. That's a stunner. Mm. Two by one, up to a four by two. Remember, we've got the alarm clock deal on the crimp covers that are available again on pre-order. The alarm de clock, girl. ASNV82. And we're going straight down for the Zambian Emerald at 29.95. That is immaculate emerald, isn't it? Don't know why you had to click my fingers. They are, they are immaculate. Trying to, you're trying to click in uh, latex gloves there, Adam. Oh, that's an interesting. I didn't bring my percussion. I was going to bring my percussion today, wasn't my And my ocarina. It's so like, who needs percussion when we've got Adam in latex gloves on a table? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
29.95 on that. And while you're in the market for emeralds, this high-end gemstone, let me remind you again that the deal of the day today, coming up for you at 11 o'clock, will be the most amazing collection of rubies and sapphires. At 9 o'clock, we're being joined by Mark Smith. And at 10 o'clock, we're being joined by Jake for a couple of hours. Oh, I'm going to have a great day. Oh, pardon? What accent was that, Wayne? Sounded a bit like Bora. <laughs> oh, oh, these are, oh, 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 yes, oh, yes, 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 oh, 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 yes, oh, yes, these are, yeah, my type of gemstone, I'll have these, please, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. We're going to absolutely destroy the price of, to it's Topaz, it's Topaz. Lowest ever price. Fourteen ninety five. Don't know. Don't know what that was. Adam just looked at me as if to say, "You're on live TV. What have you just done?" Don't know. Don't actually know. Don't know. Fourteen ninety five on these ones. N B V X three nine. Thanks for joining us this morning, everybody. Go for it. We are really, 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 really busy. Take advantage of the deals while they're here. Well done, Lisa, my darling. Make sure you're all checking out your baskets. Glenda, you're going to have the most, the most amazing parcel of good, goodiness. Of good, uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Morning, lovely people. Did, are you serious? You did all your ironing last night. I am literally... My ironing piles got out of control. So I don't feel guilty sitting down and watching the show all morning. Bring on the bargains. Julie, we are going to be with you for the whole journey and it's going to be amazing. Weather will be pants. What, tomorrow? But I'm not worried about that. I'll be inside with you. I won't be here tomorrow, but um, is it Carol tomorrow? Hmm. Good to see you, Lucy. Good, thank you, darling. Good to have you with us, Karen. Uh, JM brightens my day and makes me skin. You won't be skin today. You won't be skin. Well, mm, depend, might be. <laughs> Depends how much you buy. They're, they're amazing bargains, but I tell you what, the deals are just, oh, I love it. Oh, you see, I'd, right, so what I'd do is I'd have, right, 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 I'd have the sapphires, right, and then I'd have that garnet, right, and I'd just wear them like that, right. I love microfasted, especially in the elite zones of which this is. Obviously, it's a... <laughs> oh, my word, right. How many people... Right, all right. Um, OK, it's going to be the fastest people to confirm on this. Just so you know, we've also got a seven-cup chain bundle of the Swarovski coming up for you later. The most incredible 40-item... Sarovsky collection is coming up for you as well at half past nine. That's available for you on pre-order. These are available at the most ridiculous clearance price of £6.95. Keep your text messages coming in this morning, folks. It's lovely to have you with us. Hi, Kayla, darling. Morning, lovely. To oh, sorry, is that a really big gulp then? I've got, yeah, I've got the two cups here on the go. Yeah, of course I have. Morning, lovely. Uh, morning, lovely to see everyone. Happy today. Uh, looking forward to watching Jake, super knowledgeable fella. Love him. Do you? Do you love him? Do you actually love him? I'll tell him. I'll tell him, Kayla. Kayla, text him. You can have a little um, text chat with him later during the live show. L E N V 2 I love him. He's ace. I think his wife, Hannah, also lives in Dilly. <laughs> so, just so you know, he is married and he has two children. Um, okay, moving on. Aqua Marina. This is huge. <gasps> Whoa. The most amazing Madagascan natural aquamarine. Oh my word, it's 29.95. It's amazing. It's amazing. That is huge. 
That is absolutely enormous. Now, I was saying earlier about being able to do fine jewelry. We also have got things like, think about the Argentium that we do. And as soon as we can get um, Elizabeth Hunt back, she'll be able to demo the setting of stones within this. And also, I would say the likes of Hayley Kruger. We've got amazing gemstone setters. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so get your products now. This is beautiful. Look at the sparkle. Dare I say the words Christmas? Should we get Easter done before I start saying that? Now, this is supposed to be 47.45, but in the words of Wayne, my producer, we're going to trash it. I love, I love, I love, I love. Um, I think it was Linda who did the design that I fell in love with, with um, garnets like this. Little bit of chain and then just little wrap loops and probably pack on about seven or if not more on each one. And they look like... Oh, just sparkly clusters of gorgeousness. At 22.64, and then you could do a matching pendant as well. They are beautiful. Mozambique garnets. Garnet, the, uh, the queen of the gemstones. The ruby being the king of the gemstones, the garnet being the queen, and it is, of course, January's birthstone. It's apps, that is exquisite. That is completely natural. Look at that. Look at those. Look at those. Look at the clarity. Look at the colour. They... Is that, or is that not, some of the finest garnet? Oh, look at the bottom of your screen. The Swarovski Mega Auction code is on your screen. GDXC61. GDXC61. So just to reiterate, that Swarovski bundle that's available on pre-order, it's 40 items. Now, some of those items have got single Swarovskis in. Some have got literally tons in. So in terms of the individual stones, you're going to be getting a monstrously amazing amount. Okay, have a look at this. Oh, this is high end. Oh, this is be this is beautiful. This is this is beautiful. It's previously sold at that price. We've got four remaining. It's what? Oh! <gasps> this is beautiful. That is previously sold at 49.95. We're going to take a massive hit on it. Like I've been explaining over the last couple of days, the more we bring the single item to air, that item then starts to cost the company money. So we're just basically, this is beyond clearance, um, taking a hit on it for the final four at 9.95. Join us at eight o'clock on the morning shows and you will get the most incredible deals for the, well, you do the whole show, but um, this, is, this is quite extraordinary. That is, that is a 40 pound reduction on that. And I've only got one left, it's gone. Well done, well done. People multiply that, sorry folks, sorry folks, that's gone. Oh, can I just say number 25 is the most gorgeous strand ever? I really need that. Oh, this is lovely as well. <gasps> we are busy! We're mega... <laughs> <La -la. laughs> <Lala>. 22. <gasps> are you serious? Oh, my word, this is an absolute, 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 absolute steal. Absolute steal. There's only three. It's Burmese Sapphire. Natural. Burmese blue sapphire. This is, um, wasn't this one of the gemstones that Jake was saying that he is investing in for his family? £24.81, pence, three chances. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get the deals while you can. What's it just dropped from? 40. Check out your baskets, folks. I've only got two chances left. It's gone. Sold out. Um, if we move on from pieces, folks, always just check on the website to see if there's stock available because some people sometimes. Like some of the items, people have changed their mind already back in stock. Okay. These are epic. Turquoise. Turquoise. Tibetan turquoise. Three chances. Look at all these cabochons. Now, you're guaranteed to get 145 carats, so we don't guarantee the shape or the quantity or the size, but we do guarantee the overall carat weight, and this is going to be approximately what you'll be receiving. You've got your extended money-back guarantee until the end of June as well. Three chances, 24.95, 145 carats. There's only two chances left. Two chances left. One chance left, and it has nearly sold out. Sorry, did you want to sing along then, Adam? I, it wasn't a very good song to sing along with, was it? I feel like I've, I've let myself down on that. I did let myself down. Oh, I don't want to do it. I want them all. Any Laramar we have in the business is like ones, 
twos, threes. That's it <laughs> at the moment. JY, JN, two, three, look at it, 20, 29.95, 29.95, how much is it, Adam? 29.95. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. Um, there's only three chances left. For those, I'm, can I just say, for those of you who are new to Jewelry Maker, the first hour when we're live, not eight till nine, we just go very speedy. It's almost like clearance opportunities, loads and loads and loads of deals. And we aren't necessarily talking about the art form of making jewelry itself. That really starts to kick in at nine o'clock and really well today because we've got Mark Smith with us at nine o'clock and he's the most amazing uh, demonstrator and designer. Uh, that's sold out. Oh, it's the Alain de Clocker. Okay, okay, okay. The alarm de clocal, otherwise known as the alarm clock deal, but we like to call it the alarm de clocal. Uh, right, so the crimp covers that we've got now are the last, this is, this is it, this is it, this is it. We don't know when on earth, no one knows when they're going to get supplies back in again. Don't know. Um, I, do you know what, I'm really, I'm, oh, I hate not knowing. <laughs> I'm a bit of a control freak. That's where my anxiety lies, I think, because if I'm out of control a bit, if I don't know what's going on, then... <sighs> so, get these now. So, a crimp cover, what is it? So, when you finish your designs, in fact... Thank you, my darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, a crimp cover. The idea is that you crimp the end of your designs, so you would use... I don't know if I've got any crimps in action. I tried to look for this the other day. Yeah, so, oh, hang on, here we go, here we go, here we go, yeah, right, let me show you these. On here, can you see where your beading thread has come up? It's looped back. Underneath there, there is a little tube that has been squished. Now, that would maybe be a precious metal, maybe not. But then, if you cover it, and I always say they look a little bit like a Pac-Man. In fact, let me get the other tweezers. Yeah, go on. Right, there's less than 100 of these. So all you do is you slide these over the top of the crimp bead and then you just squeeze them. And it covers and it makes a perfect bead. So they're here and that's where they've had a function to actually cover the crimp because they're a crimp cover. Or here... They can then be inserted after, so they can fill in gaps, but also if you think, oh, I really wish I'd just had a little bit more detail in them, you can add them in because you can just put them over your beading thread and just give it a cover over. 4.45, the solid 925 cylinder silver with a 9 carat yellow gold plate. 4.45, I've got them coming up for you in rose gold in a minute as well. Uh, 4.45, and you're going to get <laughs> three, 30 chances. Thanks, Emma. Emma went, oh, here we go. It's all right. It's all right. Keep your text messages coming in, folks. It's lovely to hear from you. It's nice that I feel like I'm talking to somebody other than the team. <laughs> Just trying to give as good as I'm getting this morning, Emma. All right? All right? RW. GP98, well done, Caroline, Catherine, Anne and Ali, Sharon and Julie. Make sure you're all checking out your baskets. A warm welcome to all of our new people joining us today. Do we know how many new people we had yesterday in the show, Wayne? No. We weren't, we weren't given the statistic for yesterday. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, do you know, I hate going for a massage, but I could really go for a massage right now. Ian, hello, darling, in Lancashire. Good morning, the fabulous Lucy and team. That's very lovely, and thank you, darling. I'm looking forward to Jake, always a fountain of knowledge. Oh, yes, of course you can. Can I say hi to Michaela from Cornwall? Ian, yes! Uh, why do you want to say hello to Kate? I mean, we're not implying anything. I don't want to... Oh, uh, but that's lovely. Have you met on a workshop, or we've just, you just wanted to say hello? I love that. I love that. Yes, of course you can. Kayla, Ian says hi. Ian, where in Lancashire are you? I think I probably talked... Milan lives in Bury. Near Fairfield Hospital. 
In fact, she won't be watching yet. That, she's the one that I talked to um, through the telly, called the Dinkster. What did she tell me off for yesterday? Oh, because I'd let everybody know that Marks and Spencers might be going under because she's not in there every day. She's like, Lucy, you told everybody about me Marks and Spencers habit. <laughs> on those make sure you're checking out your baskets and if you do want us to say hello to anybody I'd be absolutely delighted to because it's nice just to see it on telly isn't it it's like oh I'm on telly oh we've got less than 50 of these in stock now just to remind you again at the bottom of your screen the code GDXC61 is the Swarovski mega, mega, mega bundle deal deal mega of mega nurse okay Five the Mega Bundle have gone already. You need this, you need this in your life. The Mega Bundle, over 40 items. That's individual item codes, some of which have got more than 20 in. It's very exciting. We're going to sell out. Oh, Wayne. That was beautiful. I think everybody all over the world will have heard that. EP GP84. Now these are nine carat rose gold plated 95 stone silver, uh, three by two again. I really like using them alongside the yellow gold and the silver. I'd have them lined up just on a piece of a piece of satin cord. EP GP84. I love these, I love these, 445, 445, go for it. I have news, I have news, Jake is on the premises. I repeat, we've just heard Jake is coming through the security gate. We should have Jake cam. We should have someone following him now. He's coming in, he's coming in. You know, it's all black and white, like behind the scenes before you see a rock concert. Because he is li he's like a rock ex, like a rock concert of rock. God, he's gemstone. Oh, it sort of worked in my head. All right. Adam's looked at me as if, you know, what are you talking about again? Yeah, thanks. He's like my PR agent today. He's um, like, don't do that. Don't do that. Bad for the brand. 4.45 on these ones. They are the rose gold. Now, I have got the pure 925 stone silver coming up for you in a moment, but we've got lesser quantity of them available. I know that these are going to fly out. They're the ones that are the most in demand. Solid 925 stone silver. It's the silver crimp bead covers, which, of course, you can just pincer them too, so they become little beads, and they can be... They've saved me a lot because they're an afterthought. You know when you make your necklaces and sometimes they're just a little bit slack and you've got a little bit more space than you were intended? VBGP56. 30 of these 0800 655 VBGP56. Could I see the cosmos, please? Oh my goodness. Yeah, um, multi-buy on these as once again, we don't know when we're going to get them in stock again. We don't know. Do we know? No, no. Nobody knows. Don't know what that was. Sorry about that. I'm really sorry. I don't know what that was. I'm embarrassed. I'm, I've embarrassed myself. Oh, what? Sorry. I'm embarrassing you. Wayne, 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 Wayne. You do that for yourself, don't you? Don't, you don't need me to embarrass you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a brother sister little love. Ian. Oh, hi Lucy. I'm in Rochdale. Michaela is a Facebook friend that I've started talking to through making jewellery. Ian. Oh, I love that. I love that. There used to be there used to be a shop in Rochdale that had a little area of you could buy bees in. I think was it called Daisies? Is it still there? It's still there. That's fab. And you know what? I love the fact that a friendship strikes up through the crafting um, hobbies. Love that. Fabulous. Maureen. Hello, my darling. Morning, all. Can we not forget all the delivery people who've kept me going? I am 75 and isolated. Maureen. Maureen, my darling. 
Absolutely. Um, so I had a few deliveries the other day, so when I could send out some care parcels to, so I did a bit of a bulk order online, and I've sent out a few. I can't say too much because some people are watching. Um, and my delivery guy ended up having to do a few different deliveries, so I got him an Easter treat as well because I have got the same guy. And yes, hugely, hugely. Maureen, great point there, my lovely. Um, all the delivery guys that work on behalf of everybody who is needing to get deliveries. Um, huge thank you. So if anyone's having some downtime right now, or if you um, live with a delivery driver, and they are keeping the country going, literally, because they're keeping the supermarkets going, which is keeping us going. Delivery drivers are keeping this country moving and going. We would be scuppered, wouldn't we? And I think that's quite interesting. Because when all of this is done, I hope there really is a respect for the people who keep this country literally going. And all the other things are just glitter. They're all the nice, lovely things and they're the integral things. I thought, do you know what I mean? Is that making sense? Um, Morning, Ian is a lovely fellow with chat most days. Kayla, I think that is absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. Especially at the moment as well. If anyone's in isolation, you're not on your own. You're not on your own. And I've been saying this on the show that I don't think it should be called social distancing. It should be physical distancing because we can still interact. And if you are looking for a way to interact, you can either perhaps text into the show, 60777. You could um, email us, studio at jewelrymaker.com. And of course, you can interact with each other if you can go onto Facebook um, on Jewelry Maker, and it's, and it's just lovely. And then you can hook up new friendships there as well, um, which is which is lovely. Okay, now then, um, this is quite an extraordinary gemstone, and it's one that I've only recently been introduced to because it is a cacophony of various stones. Oh. I think they are so ethereal. 16.95, only three opportunities. You're guaranteed a pack of two. So it's just a slight shape might change in size, but you're guaranteed 60 carats across two incredible cabochons. There's only one of these chances available now. We've got loads of people wanting them. I don't know who that's going to go to. We've got more people with them in their baskets and we've got stock available. It's on a first checkout, first serve basis. Yeah, these are beautiful. These are absolutely, this is my favourite strand of the whole hour. I absolutely, oh, I love them. They make me think of my wedding. Cause I, got, I got married, you know. Have I ever mentioned I got married? Oh, no, no, I haven't got married to Adam. I had a dream I was going to get married to Adam. Sorry. I'm sorry. These with Swarovski for me in a hair comb for bridal. Straight down to 17.95. These are the hand selected high luster mixed natural culture. Uh, oh, Emma, Emma, did you do any of your pearl knotting last night? No, no, no. She might do over the weekend. Um, only two chances. These are beautiful, 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 beautiful. Q R. Q F one four one chance left. They are beautiful, natural, natural stones. They are oh, got more stock, more people with those in their baskets than we have got available. You see, ah. Oh. noise you just did in my ear <laughs> yeah you are in a good mood today do you know why Wayne because you're working with me that's what it is yeah <laughs> WKNV81 40 look at those look at those they are they are absolutely beautiful and do you know what the, the cut of them that that feels a really expensive strand and elsewhere it would be. It's 35 carats of natural purple garnet. Look at the sparkle on that. I would be tempted. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Do 
Look at those two together. This is one of the strands from the Swarovski cup chain bundle that we're doing later. And then we've got the massive Swarovski bundle. So this is available for you on pre-order. We're going to do it at half past nine. It is amazing. We've got the deal of the day of loose gemstones as well. We've got a few of the crimp bead covers left. This is just a great shirt. Great shirt. Okay, it's a great shirt. It's great. Oh, I want this. Oh, this is... Hi, Jake, darling. Oh, he's in chinos. He means business. He's wearing chinos. He's in his chinos. Hello, darling. Are you excited? Well, I'm mega excited. Reunited and it feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> right. 29.95. These are blue, beautiful topaz. Oh, my word. 16 pounds, 16 pounds. Do you know the first gemstone that I ever, um, that my husband ever bought for me was a blue topaz from Gem TV. Yeah? Yes, that will be the Drew. That will be my husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> IHRU27, one and a half by two millimeters, 30 centimeter strand. Isn't that stunning? With the 925 cent silver. And I think that those 925 cent silver crimp covers as well are going to really work nicely with these. Well, actually, the rose gold. Oh, yeah, I'd get the rose gold with those. Okay, moving on. Do you know what? I didn't think. I just, I just didn't think. I thought that was ruby zoocyte when I first saw it. The reason being is there's tones of ruby in there. Yeah, and the reason you'll have that is because they're discovered pretty much, pretty much next to each other. Ruby zoocyte is found um, in on the Sabri, uh, sorry, on the Kenyan and Tanzanian border. As is this. Morning, you lovely lot. Good morning, you fabulous JM addict, you. Day 23 of isolation, and we have been put onto a new line of work. My head is frazzled, and it's not even nine yet. Mandy, are you all right? New line of work, you all right? Is there anything we can do to help? Mwah. So new love, darling. And your head is frazzled. Not good. Uh, Nikki, hello, my darling. Can you please say hi to my hubby? Hey, yeah, absolutely, darling. Um, oh, the company he works for supplies Tesco with all their beef and lamb. He is exhausted, I bet he is. Easter weekend. Yeah, I bet he is. I bet he is. Mm, mm, mm. What have you got planned? I'm with you on um, over the Easter weekend. I've got tomorrow off, and then I'm with you Saturday and Sunday. I've got some plans. I'm going to decorate. Pardon? I haven't finished that. No, shall I take a picture of how I decorate my house for Easter? We've all decided to go to town a bit for it. Um, these are amazing. These are They're usually, how much? They're usually 49.95, we've only got three. Oh my word. These are epic. 1995. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Go for it. They are enormous, aren't they? They are seriously enormous. ZQJN09. I've got so many people wanting that. I'm so sorry. Oh, can we do. Oh, yes. Oh, it's just, oh yeah, this is it. Do you know what? Wayne has put together a cracking show for you today. Cracking, cracking, I tell you, it's cracking, cracking. He is a good boy. <laughs> I'm sending you a virtual pat on your head like a little chihuahua. Like the little chihuahua you are. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Oh, these are beautiful. Natural Nigerian 
tourmaline. 39.95. Flipping heck. Because if you think about each of those as loose gemstones, if they're in their individual boxes, I'll just do a count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 30, 31, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 70, shut up, Wayne. Eighty-six, eighty-six on the strand. Eighty-six approximately on the strand. Eighty-six on the strand. Do you think you'd be able to get them for less than, what, less than eight pounds a stone anywhere else? It works out at how much? 46 pence a stone. They are. Oh. I tell you what, if you love your tourmaline, I have got Paraba tourmaline in a special with Jake at 10 o'clock. Where's this from? Is it Zambium? These have got to be some of the finest Zambian. Oh, I'm so sorry, we've only got four of these. These are some of the finest that you can see. This is some of the finest that would be available, isn't it? Okay, this is ridiculous. Remember, Amethyst is our pretty much the number one go-to for people shopping from us for the first time for gemstones. Eight pounds and 45 pence. It's so easily recognizable. It's so easily price comparable as well. So you can really see the benefit of shopping from Jewelry Maker, where we're one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in the world. And that's really going to be proven. And we're going to be going on um, a real learning and bargain journey between 10 and 12, maybe a bit later, with Jake coming up a little bit later on. It's going to be amazing. Um, I've got more people with those in the baskets and we've got stock available. Check your baskets out. Okay. Oh, these are lovely. I've only got four. Now, this is the few light stone. It's... I... Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, do you know what? Yeah, just grab them. I love these with um, Tibetan turquoise. Mm hmm. Eight pounds and 42 pence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go for it, Julie, my darling. Well done, Karen. Check your baskets out. Eight pounds and 42 pence. That's 12 centimetres from gemstone to gemstone. Massive price reduction for you. Um, people multi buying, wanting. Oh, hang on. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, we've only got, oh, we've got one. Check your baskets out. Now, just to reiterate again, we're moving on when stock might still be available, so then check your baskets out. Oh, this is so paparazzi-esque. Oh, my word. Wayne? Oh, my word, that is amazing. Does paparazzi sapphire have to be from Sri Lanka? It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's just ages since I ventured into that world of, um, yeah. That, don't you think that is really paparazzi-esque? It is, isn't it? Um, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Beverly, my darling, well done. I've got, again, more people with these in the baskets than we have got stock available. All right. Chunky, 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 chunky gemstones. I don't know why I felt the need to do my chicken dance, but I did. <sighs> Shut up. He's, do you know what? He's, he's, he's gobby today. He's not just sassy, he's gobby. I like it. I like it. I like it when he's like this. He's happy. I like it. Happy Wayne. There's only four of these left. £8.95. E-L-R-U-5-1. These are just absolute. These are your staple essentials, aren't they? Look at the size of them. 14 mil rounds, ready for the winter months, ready to go. Corkers. I quite like the idea of having some groups of maybe five or seven gold jump rings between each one. Yeah? Yeah? You with me? Yeah? Yeah. A yellow gold with those. They're an absolute staple essential. They're a corker, 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 and 18 centimetres from gemstone to gemstone. Could I see the call screen, please? What's going on? What's going on? 
Okay, we've got more people with these in their baskets than we have got stock available. The graphics didn't want to change. Marvellous. Okay, this is the lapis. This is natural lapis. Look at that natural lapis. That I love the shape of those. Good size drill hole on these as well. Maybe a really slim leather cord. You could possibly pass through those. And I'd have just one of those on a slim leather cord, slider bracelet. I think unisex piece of jewellery. Seven ninety five. I can see you wearing these, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. VN VR29. Good luck. And then final one. Oh no, the oh bridal, bridal, bridal. But we don't do a close-up on the head. We know this. Oh, yeah. Anyone getting married? Oh, apart from me and Adam, yeah. Adam, will Ruth be watching? Will Ruth be watching? No, she's working. No, she's working. Are you going to get married to me or Ruth? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that thought with you. He's torn, he's torn. Just so you know, we're only jesting. <laughs> well done, loads of people getting a six. Come on, white topaz for 6 95 We have gone absolutely bonkers. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we are going to be joined by the absolutely divine, I could just snuggle his little face so much, uh, Mark Smith. Seriously, though, he is so talented. He's prepared kits for us, and he's coming up on the other side of this. Join me at 10 o'clock every morning live on YouTube. Simply go to Primal Living's channel and you'll see our new Food Bank Show. Now the Food Bank Show is basically what it says on the tin. We're trying to raise money for food banks across the UK that more than ever need our support. At the same time, in every show, I'll be joined by doctors and nutritionists that are going to help us reshape the food that we eat because maybe there's a bit of a silver lining for our health right now. All of the restaurants are shut. The McDonald's, the Subway, the Greggs, they're all closed. So we've got to change our eating habits anyway. But with the advice of the world's leading doctors and the world's leading nutritionists, I'm gonna help you reshape the food that you're consuming and hopefully boost your immune system to get through this very difficult time. Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewellery Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Buying with Jewellery Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewellerymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24-7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. 
You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. A strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our project page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity, is even more incredible. 
Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. We're about to do kits and found out the prices. <laughs> They're going to be amazing. If you've just tuned in, good morning. I'm Lucy with really dirty glasses. Amy Specs, I tell you. But it's not about my glasses this morning, I get that. It's about the fact that we are being joined by my glasses. Me. Amy Specs, I tell you. Oh, but, oh. <laughs> oh, well, we were. Uh, whilst we're waiting for that technological moment to be fixed, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Now, Mark has made these incredible kits for us um, and done fabulous designs and the first kit is going to be this one so if you've never shopped them as before this couldn't be more perfect for a new beginner of jewelry making and for those of you who are more advanced you'll know what to do with it straight away but if you're just starting out and maybe you've never shopped from us before we're going to send you with your first purchase a free dvd with all your basic techniques so you don't need to be intimidated we're all going to send also going to send you two genuine gemstone strands chosen at random as well this kit has got everything, everything you need because you get 50 meters of bean thread, 6 meters clear elastic, 8 meters of monofilament. You get all your findings, which are the components that actually turn strands into jewelry, which, uh, which is 50 centimeters of chain. Um, you get five, one, two, yeah, five crimp beads, five um, jump rings, five head pins, two toggle clasps, and shepherd hooks. And then you get Four, this is, how much is this kit? This is ridiculous. Four strands of genuine gemstones. We'll get all the details up in just a moment. They are extraordinary, including appetite in here as well. These are fabulous. How are we doing? No, we can't speak to him just yet. Um, this, is, this is fab, 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 and a bit more fab. Okay, do you know what we're going to do? Just have a look at that for a second. We're having a technical moment. I'm just going to go and get my mobile. I can talk to you while I'm getting it, actually. I'm just going out the studio. Here we go. I'm going up the corridor. Oh, I feel like Challenge Annika. I'm going to my handbag. Hang on. I'm getting my phone. And here we go. Hang on. Let me just put it so my mum doesn't try to call me. Oh, we could try and call the Dinkster, though, couldn't we? That'd be fun. Oh, my battery should be fine. OK. Mark, I'm going to FaceTime you, my darling. We just FaceTimed before. I do need to take my phone out of its case for me. I'm not being funny, well, but you look really handsome. Went to Lake District on holiday, and... Um, this is Mark and Bunny. Andrew likes to, on the last day of the holiday, he likes to not get in the car and go. He likes to do a final walk, and it absolutely killed me, this final walk. So I decided enough was enough, and I had to do something about it, and uh, this is the result. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really fit and healthy, and uh, yeah, all good. Do you know what? You look at you look so much younger. Look at your skin. It's not like you've had a bit of work done. No. <laughs> I know you have, but you do seriously. Very handsome. No, you do. You do. You, you know, look. Hey. We're, 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 we're getting a bit jittery with the hair clippers at the moment, so I'm going to have a go at Andrew's hair this afternoon. Are you? Yeah, so um, I'm just thinking just going for it and just doing it. No. No, don't do that. No. How are you? I'm really good, thank you, darling. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, been, I've been a bit wobbly. Uh, I cried on air yesterday. Um, I'm a bit emotionally wobbly. Oh, we're just going to get my phone mic'd up. Um, and, uh, yeah, but no, good, good. Um, yeah, dealing with it in the same way as everyone else is, really, just... Yeah, 
getting getting through and doing what we need to do and looking after. I, I think I'm getting quite anxious in there, but what I think is seeing me through, can you oh. hear me all right? <laughs> yeah. You can hear me. It's, it's, the, it's how appreciative everyone is. You know, just, just dropping a pint of milk around to a neighbour yeah. and, and seeing the, the joy on their face, it's just it's just quite overwhelming and it just it just puts everything into perspective a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. absolutely it does. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, just um, I feel that there's a real neighbourly bond, and it will yeah, be a case, yeah. you know, when we go out. And again, I believe it's eight o'clock tonight to go out and, and clap for all the key right, workers. Yes. And just yeah. seeing all the neighbours coming out and going, "Hi, are you all right?" And just things across the road. And and yeah, I've got um, a couple of elderly neighbours and my mum and dad as well that we're we're getting bits and pieces for. And it is, it's just a sense of community which. Absolutely. It's it's nice to sort of get perspective and, and get that back in amongst such yeah. just travesty yeah. going on as well. Um, so in terms of what you're doing with your day, are you are you? I was thinking about you the other day. Oh yes. You know all of the most ridiculous thousands of hordes of gemstones, chance of distinction that you've got. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to start using them? Why are you like keeping me so busy? I'm not. I still haven't <laughs> time to even touch my lot yet. Well. Well, I've been working on the kids for today's show, which, which I dropped off yesterday. So I had a drive out yesterday at the crack of dawn. I got up at five, left at quarter to six, and dropped it off with Adam at seven, and then legged it again and came home. Um, and every morning I'm doing my rounds. So we're doing the neighbourhood bits and popping to the shops and getting any bits with that people need. And then um, starting the day job. And um, I don't know if you know this, but... I've recently taken delivery of samples of my brand new bead, which we're going to be launching at some point in the future. So that's what I'm working on as we speak. I can't show you any of it. It's still a bit top secret. How exciting. But but that's what I'm working on at the moment. And I really shouldn't say this yet, but next Wednesday, I'm launching with Carol, I believe, unless it's you next Wednesday. I'm not sure who it is. I have a day off on Wednesday. It'll be Carol. Then. It'll be Carol. Um, I am launching. It's going to be all bells and whistles. A brand new check glass bead to jewellery maker called the Gecko. So it's going to be a massive show. I've got, I believe, about ten kits. Uh, it's going to be huge. So that's next Wednesday. Oh morning. wow! Okay, so you really do have no time to do anything. No. And, and the garden's coming into its own at the moment as well. So we're pottering around in the garden in the late afternoon. So um, it's nice. Yeah, it's, are you in your lounge? No, I'm in my workroom. This is your workroom. You do like that duck egg blue, don't you? It's yeah. also there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> so because you're such a fan of the blue tones as well, this first kit must have been an absolute... Oh, it's incredible. Uh, um, now, we get... Um, I don't know if you knew, but as guest designers, we get sent a kit and we get one sent in a different colourway and it's up to us to decide which of the two kits we want to make the jewellery for. But as you can see, I couldn't decide, so I made jewellery from both of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Mark, just so you know, yeah. you're going to be a bit cheesed off. Why? Um, because you know how you think we devalue the kits by taking them to the most ridiculous prices. Can I just check what I've got here? So, yeah, you're going to be really cheesed off. Um, this kit has yeah. Neon Appetite Nuggets. So I'm just going to tell everyone at home what you've been working with. So, okay. Neon Appetite Plain Nuggets, 2 by one up to an 8 by 3 that's 84 centimetre strand. Yeah. Ah, you are getting the gold colour wire as well. Oh, oh, yes. It gets better. Ooh, okay, you get the wire with the corresponding findings. So that's 50 yeah. centimetres of chain, five head pins, five crimp beads, five jump rings, um, yeah. two pairs of shepherd hooks, two toggle clasps, 50 metres of bean thread, six metres clear elastic, 80 metres of monofilament. Then you're also going to be getting Chrysoprase plain nuggets from 4x1 up to a 9x3, Amazon night plain nuggets, 5x1 up to a 12x4. They're all 84 centimetre strands. And then you're also getting the most incredible 38 centimetre strand of blue stripe agate faceted nuggets, yeah. 13 by 18. Right, so I'm going to hold this out for everybody at home so you can see. This is going to be quite possibly, if you haven't yet started dialing, how many? Oh, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. How many have we got? Oh, we've only got 58. This is oh. irritating. Oh. Could I see the call screens, please? Look at everything you get. You won't believe the price of this. Sorry, Mark. Oh, apparently the picture on the website is wrong because it doesn't have... Um, 
The colourway is the opposite colourway. We're going to be getting that one next. Um, so if you're shopping on the phone lines, it will do this right now. This is ridiculous, 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 ridiculous. Chips with everything. And um, it's £19.95. It's, how is this £20? So the jewellery that you've made, Mark, this one here, um, the two long ones here. I'm just going to take that one off for a moment. So Mark has actually made loads. Oh, Emma, could you pass over those earrings just at the front, please, my lovely? But keeping that two metre distance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Right, these have all been made from the kit, and Mark could have made so, so, so much more. But he's also made the other uh, colour option for you. So just to reiterate, if you're shopping on the website, the picture is incorrect. The code is correct, and you will get for the code IAX C83 this incredible collection of these amazing blues. Now we're down to really, really limited stock on this. 19.95. Over half stock's gone. Unfortunately, my call screens have just gone. That's ridiculous, slow, isn't it? You, did that, you see that necklace there with the with the white white cones on? Yeah. I would sell that on my store for sixty pounds just for that one necklace. It's mad. And I, I love this I love this kit because it's real old school because you've got yeah. five things on your threading pack and you've got your wire and the gemstones, no seed beads. It's, it's really good. I love little kit. I love the fact that you don't need anything other than no. the kit. You don't. You don't. And no, you can make no. tons. No. This for me is if anybody said to us, what would you have in a dream kit? This is it. Because you've got everything. And I yeah. do think for anybody who is starting out for the first time, what a comprehensive kit because you don't need anything else. Um, can I ask in terms of people who are watching for the first time today, Mark, and they're yes. going to get a free DVD and two genuine gemstone strands with their first mm. purchase, completely complimentary, and it's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases. If they don't have any tools, what tools? Do we have any of the basic toolkit in stock? If we don't have the basic toolkit, what tools do people need for this so kit? So for, for the entire kit, all I needed was a pair of flat nose pliers, a pair of round nose pliers, a pair of flush cutters, and a wax white cone tool. That's it. That's all you need. That's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. And the wax wire cone, really, if you're just starting out, is possibly a bit more of an indulgent tool, and you can get away without doing the wax wire cone just to get started. I'm just thinking to keep things really simple for you if you start out, but if you can go for it, go for the lot. Right, that's now sold out. Um, we're going to move right. on to, in a moment, Mark has prepared for us um, recorded demonstrations, but as well involving some of the techniques that you're seeing. So we're now going to move on to... Just while I shuffle these things it's around. This, the amethyst one next. Yeah. This, I've had oh. so much feedback on Facebook about this colourway. So I think this is... Have we got a similar amount again, a small amount? How many have we got? 50, yeah, two less of this, and we've got 56. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to go even quicker. <laughs> yeah. This is... Um, oh, what? And this is a rose gold colour as well, so it's beautiful. And it's worth saying as well, the rose gold colour wire that we've got, it took us a while to get there, it took a couple of years to be able to find the best suppliers, but we now have absolutely matched up exactly the same colour of findings to the wire, so it's completely coherent, it makes absolute sense, it's a complete set. Right, best of luck everybody. Um, here are some examples of what Mark has made. Um, and we're, we're going to do the same price again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's my auntie back hand gel. I'll just move that to my nail oil. Lovely. Um, good luck, everyone. 19.95. You've got uh, Rosa Franz Amethyst, Zebra Jasper, Zambian Amethyst in the, the purple stripe I gave. This is, this is absolutely stunning. Those clusters, I, to be honest, if anyone would say... Oh, look at this jewellery. Who do you think's made it? That is screaming you, isn't it? <laughs> it's so nice to have chip strands again. I've yeah. waited so much for this. It's been do you lovely. Know, I love that. that is, that's Rose de France, I think. We need All to... Um, that's yeah, that is the Rose de France on that one. Yeah. And we need to address your um, DVD situation because if you do want Mark's Chips and Nuggets DVD, there's only four in stock. Oh, no. There's only four available. Um, there, is, there is a brand new one in the pipeline, can I just say? Yeah, this Sorry. line of pipe we don't know how long it is that's the annoying no. thing isn't it um the line of pipe the pipeline of yeah uh rlx c83 
I can't believe our first show together in like forever and it's through the power of my phone. Uh, it's dreadful, isn't it? Oh, but that's no. lovely to see you. Yeah, well, you I, too. I, I, I recently watched your little your little birthday video with your little boys with your last papers in your living room. I thought that was an absolute joy. Did you did you get the fact that we'd done it once and that was a replay? Yes. You never a guess though. I was. I was you an admit, absolute Oh my word. I've been crying for about an hour and then I finally oh. stopped like being snotty and weepy, and then we could really, yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Dal. Uh, right, now we've got another kit which is completely different, completely different feel. They are. No, this, is, um, this is a gemstone that I had really difficulty in, in saying, and I, so I'm not even going to attempt it, I'll leave that for you to, to, to say. But it, it, it's a beautiful gemstone, I've never ever had it before. What? Ruby Seaside? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Fusite. No, it's not, is it? It's something else. No, it I isn't. Think. It is Fusite. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. um, no, I looked into it um, because, um, yeah, you would in, it would, yeah, but you you do pronounce it Fusite. That's bizarre because, because I, on my little graphic bit, I had phosphosiderite. So maybe. Oh. That's all right. That's fine. That's fine. Fusite, I think it is Fusite. Yeah, it is. It's really yeah, a few sides. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, um, sorry, Emma, we've got those as well. This is an absolute... Oh! That, this is beautiful! It's that got a real... bracelet using the, uh, using the seed beads and the oh. dark I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the fluidity to that. Yeah, you're going to love this, everyone. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, I can see that you've made some beads as well. So have a look. I know that sounds bizarre that he's made some beads, but he has made some beads. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is absolutely lovely. You don't get the magnetic clasp. Um, you do, you do, oh, you, you do. do. You do? I haven't got it here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. That's why. I'm looking at the wrong kit. You do? Oh. <laughs> right, yeah, okay, the value of this is just going to... It's a rose gold findings pack as well. Oh, my word, this is so you. This is such a mark kit. It's um, beautiful. It's Beautiful. So, can I just, I know, I know it's probably, oh, look, oh, oh, that is like a be, oh, gosh, what does that remind me of? It's cradling that stone. Gosh, that's a, that is stunning, Mark. What's that particular design that you've done there? Is that a particular stitch or? It, it was, I had one stone left out of the strand and I thought I want to make a pendant with it. And normally what I do is I, is I stick it onto backing foundation and do a bead bezel around it. But I wanted to um, just do something without the backing foundation. And it was just a happy accident, but it looks like a, very, a sort of a fancy handbag, doesn't it? Yeah, that's probably why I really love it, because I love my handbags. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. So, um, And then there's so many different looks. I love the fact that you've made your own beads as well. They're, they're, I've actually put a demo on YouTube to make those little beads as oh, well. Oh, fabulous. This is twenty seven ninety five. It's oh. so incredibly high end, and you've got ninety five cents silver in there as well. So you get two head pins, you get the toggle clasp, you get the um, pair of shepherd hooks, you get the crimp beads, crimp bead covers, and jump rings, and that incredible magnetic clasp, which is beautiful. You will then also get seventy five carats of the ruby fusite, which are the rough nuggets nine by six up to a fourteen by eleven. That's a fourteen centimeter strand, and then you'll also get the two tubes of seed beads. One of which is the um, silver lined olive ABC beads, size 11 O's, 24 grams. And the other is the, uh, are the Delica transparent topaz ABC beads, size 8 O's, 6.8 grams. And I do like to always reiterate for anybody who's watching for the first time the size of seed beads basically means if you were to put them next to each other, how many you would fit in an inch. Um, this is flying out again. Can I just show you these, a close up on these? I think these are gorgeous. So, Mark, what's the best way for people to be able to find the tutorial for these beads? Lovely. Well, I believe the, the demo that Wayne is going to show in this hour is for the um, Amazonite necklace using the chips and nuggets. Okay. And then, and then after the show, um, I will oh. put them onto my guest designer page, but I think also marketing are going to be putting them onto our YouTube channel. But, it, but um, probably the quickest way to find them is, is on my guest designer Facebook page. Amazing. Okay, thank you so much. Um, these are, are stunning. Say that again, sorry. Oh, now, 
Mark, while you're there, yes. there's some other things. Yes. Before we go to your demo, there's a couple of other things that I just want to bring your expertise in. I'm very aware that we may well have a lot of people watching us for the very first time. You've channel flicked, maybe you've just found us by accident. What a happy accident that is, because now you're going to be addicted forever. Um, what is wildfire? So we do um, quite a lot of beading threads. And um, when we introduced seed beading, which was nearly four years ago now, mm. um, we needed a thread that you could be so used successfully with the, the seed beads. So we scoured the market and the two brand leaders are Wildfire and Fireline. And they come in five or six different colours and they're specifically made for seed beading. Um, so, for example, um, if you use diamond nuggets, which have such a, such a fine drill hole that you can't even get a needle through, because the structure of the beading thread is so stiff, you can actually use the thread as the needle and go straight into the drill hole. Um, they're thermally bonded, which means it's quite difficult to knot, and it's quite difficult to actually pierce your needle through the thread. So it, it, it's, it's the, the best thread for seed feeding. I know I use it all the time. I use it all the time. In fact, I'm using one. I'm using a fire line now. So. Um, these, are, these are flying out. It's brilliant. So what are you using one for at the moment, sorry? I can't show you. <laughs> what? What are you saying? It's a, it's a top secret. I can't show you yet. Yeah, but you could... Yeah, go on. I dare you. No, I can't. Honestly, Victoria will throttle me. Yeah, but, you know, she's not here. And the thing is, you're physically distant from her, so she can't <laughs> actually throttle you. What are you doing? Oh... Can okay. we just give... It, just little tiny heads up. You don't have to. It's not like I've got my hands around you. So this is, no one has ever, 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 ever in the entire world, apart from the manufacturers, myself and Victoria, seen this bead. This is my brand new. Oh, then, then keep it. Then keep it. Don't, don't, don't show us. Don't show us then. Oh. Do you want me to? <laughs> Go on, maybe just a little. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A world exclusive. <laughs> okay, okay, and hide it again. Hide it again. Take it off. That's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. How, I bet you should be prouder than a proud thing about that. I'm very, very, Your very excited. Your own product coming to the, yeah, gems, yeah, yeah. to the jewellery market. And it's going to be exclusive to us for a whole year. Nobody else in the world will be able to, to sell it other <gasps> than us. And when are you hoping to launch that? Well, it was going to be birthday week, but with everything going on, we, we put it back a couple of months, so it'd probably be July time, we went, we're thinking. Okay. And it's, going, and it's not going to be a single DVD, it's going to be a double, it's going to be a box set, because the, the, um, the projects are... I've already on about 12 projects, and I've got so many going on in my head that um, it's going to be a double DVD at least, maybe a triple. How exciting. How exciting. Well, Mark, thank you. Um, we are going to be joining you again um, after your demo, I believe. Oh, OK. That's um, right. Oh, no? No. No, we've done everything. OK, um, so I just want to let you know, Mark, that coming up yes. after your demo, we are I going know. to be doing the most ridiculous Swarovski bundles. Have you seen the massive bundle? Yes. You're going yeah. to literally salivate and palpitate. <laughs> We're going below staff cost on all the Swarovski, so, so grab them as soon wow. as you can. Um, we've got... 40 items in one of the bundles in just one bundle which um wow. and if i can just show you when i say 40 items i mean 40 packs so um wow. they're not individual items because some of the items have got loads in brilliant oh you just got to see a lovely part of my arm there <laughs> well the sarovsky is coming up but first of all mark would you like to give us a heads up what are we about to see in your demo so we're about to see um Back to my roots, as I mentioned on the, on the little DVD, and I'm actually going to show you from start to finish how we make the Grecian-style Amazonite chip necklace with the little gold wax white cone. So we actually give you a demo on the wax white cone as well. Amazing. Thank you so much, my darling. Pleasure. Keep nice safe. To talk Keep to you. well. Um, just one little bit of advice. Yeah. Please don't shave your head. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, and if you do want to do some hairdressing on your husband, yeah. can you please maybe follow some instructions? Because oh, well, there are some oh. pretty disastrous disasters <laughs> out there. All right, my darling. I love you very much. Love and I will too. speak to you bye soon. Bye, bye darling. Bye. 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 So, everybody, without further ado, let's go to, or you can see everybody, I've FaceTimed in the last few days. Let's see Mark's demonstration. 
Let's go to, or you can see everybody on FaceTime from the last few days. Let's see Mark's demonstration. On how to create and construct this amazing Grecian Let's go to, or you can see nugget necklace. Isn't it lovely to, to go back to my roots to have some really good chunky nuggets? Now, th this particular necklace is using the most amazing strand of Amazonite and some blue banded agate. So the other materials you're going to need, uh, as I've just stated, we need some chips. Now, I'm, as I said, I'm using Amazonite. We're going to be using two mediums in this particular piece of jewellery. We're going to be using wire. Now, this is a 0.8 millimetre gauge, and we're going to be making these little wags Y cones, which I'm going to show you. Then we're using some gold beading thread, which is part of our basics threading pack. So we're going to be using two materials. Then we're also going to be using the banded agate. Now on the strand that you actually get with the kit, you get these little spacer beads, and we're going to be using those as well as stoppers to the ends of our y wags Y cones here. So don't throw those away, we're going to be using those. Then you're going to need a toggle clasp from your findings pack and then you're also going to need some crimp beads. Okay, so that's all your basic equipment. So let's get started. I'll just move this to one side. And the first thing we need to do is we need to take three pieces of our beading thread. So three separate pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the clasp to the three ends. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to take one of our little crimp beads from our findings pack and then one half of our clasp. So I'm going to go for the ogle. This is known as the ogle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the three pieces and this is probably about two foot long. Obviously depending on the size and the length of the necklace will determine the, the, the actual length you need but two, two feet is a good, good actual length. I'm going to take the three pieces of the beading thread and I'm going to feed them all through the crimp bead at the end. And then on top of those three pieces of thread, I'm going to attach my toggle clasp. And then I'm, with the three ends, I'm going to reverse them back down through the same crimp bead. Now you have space for probably nine or ten threads in that crimp bead, so there's plenty of space. I'm going to slide it up and I don't want it too constricted, so I'm just leaving a little loop at the top and then using my flat nose pliers I'm going to give a little squidge okay and then what I'm going to do these three little tails here I'm going to cut those off using my flush cutter pliers so I'm just going to go in and cut those off so you get a nice neat finish your clasp is attached and you have your three threads ready to go so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to separate our threads and what we need to do, we need to pop a little Y cone on the end here to start. So the first thing we're going to do, do you remember I mentioned those little spacer bees that you get in your kit, in your strand? We're going to take all three ends of our thread again, and we're going to place one of the beads on all three threads. We're going to slide that down, and that ends acts as a nice stopper. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add one of our cones. So I'm quickly going to show you how we make a cone. So this is the tool, this is the WAGS Y cone tool, and this is perfect for making, funnily enough, cone endings. And if you're doing things like Kumahimo or multi strand necklaces like the one we're making today, this is one of the top, it's probably in my top three, this amazing tool. Now, to make a cone like this, you'll probably need a good I don't know, 30 centimetres of wire. Now, 0.8 is fine. One millimetre is better. I wouldn't go any less than a 0.8 millimetre because you want some strength and rigidity. So as you can see with the tool here, we've got the wooden handle and then we've got the actual cone. And can you see right at the very end, we've got a tiny little hole. Now that's really important because that's going to attach our wire to make our cone. So the first thing we need to do, we need to prepare our wire. So using my round nose pliers, about an inch from the end, I'm just going to make an overhand loop, okay? So when I take it off, you can see we've got a right angle with a little loop. I'm going to take that short piece of wire and feed it through the end, through the hole. I'm going to push the tail up out of the way and then holding the tool in my right hand and the wire in my left, I'm simply going to start 
wrapping nice and tight all the way down. Now depending on the size of cone you want, I wanted a cone just under an inch long but if obviously if you wanted a longer cone you, too, you, you cut off a piece of wire a bit longer than they actually need. I'm just going to continue that down and as you can see this, this tool is absolutely ingenious. So I'm just going to feed that down, okay, and then what I'm going to do to, to take it off of the cone, can you see where the wire, we've got the loop, and it goes through the hole and comes out to the other side. So I'm going to cut the wire to the left, just where the loop is. That little tail drops off, and then the cone slides off. So I'll put that to one side. So to finish off our cone, all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the last little section, and then I'm going to cut off the loop. And you want to cut as near to the loop as you possibly can, like so. So there we have our perfectly made cone. There might be an idea for this necklace, I need M246810 altogether. So it might be better before you start your piece, making those 10 cones so you're ready to rock and roll. So then what we've got to do, we're going to go back to our threaded piece of work. So do you remember we've put all three pieces of thread through that little seed bead. Then I'm going to take the three ends of my thread and I'm going to take down through the cone, pull the cone down to the bottom there and you'll see that the cone sits nicely around that spacer bead at the bottom. What you don't want is you don't want your cone going off the end and getting attached to your clasp. So any type of bead or gemstone just to pop on the end of the, of the cone there just to finish it off. Right, so next we're going to separate our three threads and on each of our thread we're going to put, now I, on my necklace I had four centimetre lengths. So before you, you um, take them off your strand just measure them up against a tape measure or your macrame board which is a really nice little tool to use. And we're going to pop on, as I said, between four and five centimetres. So the first thing you do when, you, when you've got your little four centimetre pile is you want to take four of the smallest chips that you can find. Now these are going to be at the one end of the thread and at the other end of the thread. You want to go for the small. So I'm just simply going to thread on my two small chips first of all and then we're just going to pop our rest of our chips on. Now it doesn't matter any particular order, it doesn't really doesn't matter. If you can, try to be quite random. Um, the brain plays funny tricks on you when you're using gemstone chips like this because you tend to pick up all the larger ones first and then you're left with a small and you get sort of a graduated effect um, which in some cases is, is nice but we don't want that on this particular piece of work so I'm just going to continue threading and uh, this Amazonite has got really nice good sized drill holes in so it's absolutely simple for threading so let's put a couple more on as I said you would have measured this out off the strand first of all before you started and then we're going to put our little ones on to finish the end. Okay, so once you've done one thread, so you can see we've threaded our little chip section, you're going to repeat the same with the other two sections. So if I just pop that to one side and bring over one that I've prepared. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. You have your cone at the end, which we've got our clasp attached, and then I've got my three threads with my four centimetres of Amazonite chips on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's called the chip squidge. Now, as you can see, these um, chips, they're all different sizes, they're completely organic, completely, completely different, and there are spaces in between. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that those chips tessellate nice and neatly together. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold them nice and tight, and we're just going to squidge. We're going to push down on our thread, and we're just going to manipulate them so they all sit and slot in together. As you can see we've got three nice little sections there. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our three ends of our thread, we're going to pop on our bead stopper. No we're not, we're going to pop on our cone first of all. So we're going to pop on our cone, we're going to slide that down, and you can see then that our cone hides the ends. Then we're going to pop on our stopper bead like so. And then we're going to put a bit of a decoration in between. So we're going to choose a couple of our 
amazing banded blue agate. So I think I'm going to go for this one with all the stripes. It's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to slide the agate on. So as you can see, all of the strands in the kits fit beautifully. They've got really good substantial drill holes. So that is our decorative stone. And then what we're going to do is we're then going to pick up another of our little spacer beads. So one, two, three, slide that down. Then we're going to take our next comb, which we've prepared earlier. We're going to slide that down. And then we're going to repeat this section here. So we've got our three threads, which we're then going to attach our chips to. So if we're just going to continue that now. Now on my necklace, I had five of these beaded sections with four of the agates in between. So 10 of the cones, then obviously you have the same number of the little space beads in between, and then your chips. And I had plenty to make this whole necklace. If I just bring it back across to show you, I had enough to do the whole necklace and I had spares. Okay, so you can see here, we've got uh, our toggle, which I've attached to the second side to exactly the same way as we did the first. So you finish off your necklace, you take all three threads up through a crimp bead, up through the second part of the clasp, down through crimp, and then cut off your, your rough edges. And, um, and as you can see, it makes the most beautiful Grecian style necklace, especially using the gold against the blue and the amazing Amazonite. So this is your, let's call, let's call it the chip squidge necklace, shall we? And as I said, it's very, very simple, but what I definitely recommend doing is just make a little group of your wire cones just to start and then you can just make your necklace and you can you can continue. So obviously I've done four centimeter sections on my on my chips here but there's nothing stopping you doing five or six you could have maybe a 10 centimeter section at the bottom and then five and then three at the top you can you can really experiment with it and as I said I've, I've done groups of three if you wanted something slightly larger, you could do groups of five, but then you'd have to make sure you had larger, longer cones. So it's all about experimentation, but um, I love this kit so much. And because we've got amazing Amazonite chips, we've got these huge agate boulders, we've got thread, we've got wire. It's a real old school kit. And I'm absolutely overjoyed with the, uh, with the outcome. So I hope you enjoy it too, and I uh, look forward to seeing your makes. The brand of Swarovski is known worldwide and it's really respected by the fact that no other company on the whole entire planet has ever been able to achieve a simulated gemstone in the way that Swarovski have. Now, did you know that there's about nine different areas of the Swarovski crystal? As in, it goes through about nine different processes and did you know that no one from each department knows what the other one does. It is that closed secret. Only the hierarchies of the management know the process. This makes it so exciting. It is elsewhere a costly stone, and rightfully so, because it's a quality. And also, even just with the brand name, going into a Swarovski shop, we know what those costs are like. And they are beautiful products, beautiful. So what we're about to do is utterly ludicrous. Now, all of the items that you see here within this bundle, these are last chance opportunities, and we bundle it all together to give you the most incredible savings. To buy them on their own, you would not be able to get them anywhere near what we're about to do. My first section here for you is our absolute feast of a mega deal, mega bundle. It comprises of 40 item codes, and I want to use terminology item codes rather than items. Um, oh, sorry, some of them are, are doubled up, so there's 40 items, but when I say items, I basically mean um, packs, because within some of the packs there are 20, twos, fours, sixes, so oh, flipping heck, could you have given me a longer list? Okay, 
This is going to be the most crazy deal. I'm going to start with the two cup chains, okay? Um, and the... Oh, the two, okay, so I've got black diamond with gunmetal casing. And then I've got the Tiffany in the gold brush with the smoky quartz. Now, they're both 50 centimetres in length. You're going to get these. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, can we get even closer on that one, please, Emma? Look at the prong setting on this. You've got three prongs on either side of the stone. The quality of these... And what I love is the fact that you look at that and you know that it's not any other simulator gem. So that is... Swarovski. With it being the cup chain, it's so incredibly easy to use. You can chop it up, you can glue it, you can then sew it. It is an absolute beauty. I did say earlier on that if you're genuinely interested in this, or you know people who perhaps do um, costume making, or ball gown dresses, or um, wedding um, designs, or anything, for, this is occasion. This is to make sparkle. Okay, are you ready? We're now going to go through 38 packs, but don't delay. Call right now. The saving on this is excruciatingly good okay is that what we're supposed to be at we're going straight down <laughs> we're going to start getting you excited and we're not gonna stop there okay um good luck everyone good luck good luck good luck good luck good luck okay we're not gonna be staying at 149.95 okay I'm just that works out at three pounds 74 an item and um, I think we're going to just have to get really close and see what they all are. My word. Look, 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 look. £3.74 per pack. I'm going to go with all of these ones first. How about I do it that have got all the backing on first? Okay, so you can hot fix as well. You can just glue. Okay. How are we doing? We've got so many people showing interest. Okay, we haven't got that many of these deals available. Um, so I'm just going to keep showing you the ones that are... So these are the ones that you can glue, that you can set. Okay, oh, can you imagine how you're going to feel when these arrive? I think I, I think I feel sick. I think I feel sick with excitement. I know what this is going to work out per pack and for the chains. Okay, I'm just separating it out. So you're seeing all of, you're getting everything, you're getting everything. I'm just separating it out to beads to, look at that. Oh, oh. Can you imagine that set into a sterling silver setting and how much that would, that would probably be about £60 on its own in a Swarovski shop, wouldn't it? Oh my word, don't delay, check out! Ah! They keep on coming. Keep on coming. Um, where am I at now? Oh, flipping heck. Flipping heck. Okay. Then we've got the dinky ones here. Um, dinky. And then some more as well. And these. These. Some of these are drilled as well. These just all the ones with the backing. And these, and then I think I've got all, oh, and then these ones here, and these, okay, and then the larger drilled, got these, these ones I had in my wedding dress, and then fasted rounds here, oh my word, they are insane, oh, look at those, double sided, oh. two packs of those. Okay, are you ready? Um, before we drop the price, before we drop the price, before we drop the price, if you're genuinely interested, dial now. Put these into your baskets now. Free phone number on 0800 644 655. That is 38 packs, two cup chain chains. This is all the brand of Swarovski, and it's going to work out for 40 items. Including the cup chains, it works out at two pounds a pack. Whenever did you get this opportunity? How many of you out there buy from us and sell on? You could literally buy from us and set up your own. Um, yeah, selling on the Swarovski. It's all in the Swarovski branding. It's here. You could, yeah, you can sell these on. 
and you would not be selling them on for two pounds a pack. They're genuine Swarovski's well done. Oh my goodness, the phone lines have gone absolutely bonkers and the website is bonkers as well. We're going to sell out of this. It is incredible. Do you know what? I quite like to get Mark Smith back and see what he thinks because he would literally salivate and palpitate. Should we FaceTime him back quick? Hang on, I'll have to be quick because my battery is going. Right, I wonder if he's watching. You better not swear. <laughs> I've never heard him swear in my life. Um, right, hang on. It works out at £2 a pack. I'm loving this. I mean, might be making a coffee. It's like, I know he's stopped drinking coffee, hasn't he? Are you watching this deal? Sorry? Are you watching this deal? Yeah, isn't it good? <laughs> <laughs> we do something like that. It's ridiculous. I know. Hang on. I'll put you here again so people can see you. Um, for anybody at home who's thinking, should we get this? Just so you know, this was not a scheduled phone call, I can assure you that. Um, I just, I was literally salivating and palpitating, thinking, well, what would you be doing? So you get sent this whole collection. Oh, my Lord. I'd... I would have to, well, I'd lay it all out first of all and just, just look at it. Because you, you do know that I am the biggest advocate of Swarovski. Yeah. On the planet. And, um, and why is that? So people who don't really know you, Mark, why are you such an advocate of it? Well, I've always, I've always liked a bit of bling. I've always liked, I've always liked sparkle. And, um, and when, we were part, when Steve Bennett owned us originally, we were part of the genuine gemstone company. And all we would, would sell would be gemstones. Yeah. And, and then um, when we were taken over by Immediate Media and they decided that uh, for all hobbyists we were going to venture into the world of seed beading and Czech glass and Swarovski, it was the most incredible day. I remember it because I came off a morning show with Carol and I was invited into the conservatory where we hold the workshops and we had the Swarovski rep. And on the table in front of her were laid out all of these swags of sample stones to choose. Oh, from. you mean like this? It's just like this, and it was the most. I, as I said, I remember it was over yesterday. It was, it was incredible, and uh, and I just love Swarovski. And I've, I've actually got. If I excuse me a second, I'll reach up here. You get all of this, folks. You get all of it. You get all of it. You get all of it. Look, 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 look. You get all of it. You get all of it. This is one of my most pre treasured possessions, and it's it's the biography of Swarovski and all the pictures and fashion pictures. And clothes and Oscar curtains and all sorts of things. I mean, there's Lady Gaga there. It's just. Uh, I mean, if it's good enough for Lady Gaga, it's good enough for absolutely. us. You know what I mean? And, um, and I, I just absolutely love it. And um, the, obviously, the uh, the A B Swarovski is the the most famous of all, and, and so many people try to replicate it, and it's, it's, they're never going to they're never going to manage it. And but it's the fact that um, they, it's just the sparkle and the vibrancy of the colours and and the name behind it, and I, I just love everything about Swarovski. I absolutely love it. It is just stunning and I do think for the fact that it can overlap into the world of dressmaking, costume making, but any any opportunity to to yeah, to get that bling, to get that amazing pizzazz. And like you say, it's because the brand is is so unique. Absolutely. No, it's absolutely incredible. Do you know, I don't know if you knew this, but um, do you know who invented the A B coating for Sorovsky? No, you I don't you may have heard me mention it before, Christian Dior oh, yes. responsible for the AB coating. So, and that was 1953, and it's still world-renowned even now. It's, it's incredible. And the AB yeah. coating, that is um, because of the comparison to the Aurora Borealis um, in the Northern Lights, of course. Um, this is extraordinary. Take advantage of the, of the deal while you can. We've got more than 20 of you with these in your baskets. And I just want to touch on something that Mark said, whereas before, you know, when we only had gemstones, well, the... We've now obviously gone back to the Gemporia group and there's a real appreciation of seeing how we've developed and this is not going to be changing. We are going to be maintaining the, the sea beads and the Swarovski and for anything we're developing those relationships further and again increasing the buying um, power and which, you which know, is just I'm fantastic. Secrets, you know I'm not very good at keeping secrets. Yeah I love it. Um, Steve Bennett and I are in talks at the moment of something rather special happening with us and Swarovski late summer, early autumn. And that I really can't say anything about, but but watch this space. It is just incredible what we're gonna be what we're gonna be doing. I love the fact you're rubbish at keeping secrets. That's amazing. Mark, <laughs> thanks for answering my random call. Pleasure. Oh, Absolutely. actually, stay where you are, stay where you are. Yep. We're gonna do the cup chain. Hang on, hang on. Just going. 
Oh, now we've got, did you say number six? Yeah, okay. These here, this is, happens to be, um, thank you that we can do this one because it's my favourite. Um, these are the three mil rounds. Oh my lord, okay. And look at the, is that, is that right? We're getting all of those. 96 in total. So can you please just explain to people, so this one's got the drill hole in, but yep. these ones, so you've got the, um, that is the, the, so this is the light turquoise, we've then got the jet hematite, we've got the jet black, and then we've got the emerald as well. Now, if we can get even closer on those, please, Emma, um, they've got these sort of coated backs. What do we do with those? So these are predominantly for what we call hot fixing. Have you had hot fix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, you can use them for your hot fixing, but you'll need the hot fix tool, or you can embed them into Ceralume. You can pop them onto the back, or you can simply glue them onto to shoes, onto fabrics, anything like that. I was going to say, I, yeah. I've glued because I don't have a hot fix gun, so I no, have used these. Right. Yeah. Um, and they just make for the most incredible sparkles. So you've got the beaded versions here. And then just to be able to... So I have a pair of black satin evening shoes, and I was just thinking, up the heel... Just a line of those yeah. up Very the simple. heel. Yes, darling. Well, that's made that the morning. <laughs> Very sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, where I'm going to wear them, probably wear them with my onesie at home in the garden, chilling out with the kids at the moment. But, you know, it's an opportunity to dress up in my nice shoes. Uh, IP, look, 7 seven ninety five. In fact, I wore them. Do you remember you made me the... Um, the black, um, the black onyx and pearl jewellery for that award ceremony. I wore them yeah. with the dress on that night. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, IPX C six zero seven pounds and ninety five pence. You get four packs of genuine Swarovski. This is incredible, and it's sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Talking about incredible. Oh, you are going to love the next couple of hours. Jake's with us. Oh, brilliant! I love his shows. Yeah. Yeah, really don't, don't say anything too much more complimentary because no. he's in the gallery, he can hear you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seriously, though, we've, we're in for an absolute treat for the next couple of hours. We really are. Stay glued to your screens. Mark, thank you so much again for taking an impromptu Pleasure. call. Yeah. OK, yeah. let's love. Bye, darling. Bye. Oh, I really do need to charge my phone because I just spoke to my mum in the break. She's got her rollers in. She said, oh, I could come on screen if I just maybe jewel encrusted them. Uh, £7.95. So we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, though, we're getting geared up for something completely different. We're going to venture into the world of gemology. We're going gemstone hunting. We're going to find out the nitty gritty of the deals, the most incredible bargains to be had. But the integrity of the stone is going to be key to the foundation of this next couple of hours. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to grab another quick cup of tea. I'll see you. Get ready. And just a bit of advice, have a notebook and a pen at the ready because you're going to learn loads. See you in a moment. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me at 10 o'clock every morning live on YouTube. Simply go to Primal Living's channel and you'll see our new Food Bank Show. Now the Food Bank Show is basically what it says on the tin. We're trying to raise money for food banks across the UK that more than ever need our support. At the same time, in every show, I'll be joined by doctors and nutritionists that are going to help us reshape the food that we eat because maybe there's a bit of a silver lining for our health right now. All of the restaurants are shut. The McDonald's, the Subway, the Greggs, they're all closed. So we've got to change our eating habits anyway. But with the advice of the world's leading doctors and the world's leading nutritionists, I'm going to help you reshape the food that you're consuming and hopefully boost your immune system to get through this very difficult time. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. 
You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Who's that? Darling. Hello. I, oh, I had to naturally hug you I then. Know, I thought, no, we can't. We're we socially apart. Social distancing. Physical uh, distancing, <laughs> socially together. Um, if you've just tuned in, good morning. I would like to introduce you to Jake if you've not met him before. Um, Jake, could you please say to our fabulous, gorgeous friends who are watching us right now, um, who are you? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, it, it's wonderful to meet you if we've never met before. Um, I hope you're staying safe and you're staying home and your loved ones are all, all well and good as well. And if I've never met you before, my name's Jake, and my role here at Jewelry Maker and the wider Gemporia group um, isn't the same as the lovely professional Lucy's. Um, I'm not a presenter, I'm not a host. Um, my role here in the group is I'm the lead gemstone investor. And what that means is it's my job and the wonderful team I get to work with 
It's our jobs to go direct to the mines, to cut out the middlemen, to go to those gemstone shows and really navigate the gemstone market buy the deals that traditionally we've said into jewellery on Gems TV and then now as a result of Jewellery Maker coming back into the wider Gemporia family we get to be buying gemstones on your behalf as well and um, so really I want to just start off by saying a huge thank you thank you thank you thank you because um, I'm a gemstone geek that's what I am I'm not ashamed of it I love it I'm a geek of gemstones and I absolutely love them and that means that I get to do what I do as a hobby Professionally, I, I, I love buying stones, I love looking at stones, selecting stones and picking the very best and meeting the miners, finding out what's going on in the wider gemstone market and now I get to do that on your behalf so thank you for, for entrusting me in that position and thank you for letting me on the show um, to, to really share the, the, the stories of these gemstones share what's happening in the wider gemstone market as well And it really is exciting, we have had some Incredible, incredible. I've not heard any negative feedback about you at all. Oh, thank Jake. you. Um, no, you've been really welcomed to into. More. <laughs> to well, yeah. It'll um, be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> no, seriously, we've had um, so many exciting things. I think I, I said this earlier. If you want to text in any questions for Jake, yeah, please feel please. free to do so. Six zero triple seven. He's here live right now. So if you're currently watching and it's the 9th of April. Yes, it's the 9th today, yeah. It's the 9th of April. If you're currently <laughs> watching live, um, it's 10 o'clock in the morning of, on the 9th of April, then do text in your questions. We're going to be venturing into the world of some different gemstones, touching on some that Jake's previously ventured into with us before, um, and really getting to grips with some stories, knowing where... Have you brought your magazine again? Uh, your well, magazine? so yeah, I've, I've, brought, yes! I've brought a whole host of, of, of things with me. Because okay. I'm a professional gemstone investor. That's what I do. Uh, and I'm one of the biggest coloured stone buyers, probably the biggest coloured stone buyer here in the UK and one of the biggest globally because of, I get to buy for all of Jewelry Maker, I get to buy for Gems TV. Um, I, I sell into the wholesale, I sell back into the trade. Um, so I'm one of the biggest coloured stone buyers in the world. And as I, I've been doing this for a decade now, and when I first started being a gemstone investor, it really struck me how most of the gemstone industry worked. And that was essentially, it was a, pe a few people in the know, and they knew everything, and they jealously guarded the knowledge. They jealously guarded the secrets, jealously guarded the access. And they were the big brands, they were the people in the know, and essentially they exploited everybody else. They exploited the ignorance and the lack of knowledge that was out there mm. throughout the rest of the jewelry mm. market. Now I want to flip that on its head. Um, I'm now in a privileged position of being privy to trade journals. Um, to literally, I'm going to introduce you to a book. I don't think we actually explored this book in our show last time, no, did we? No. So this is a book that is literally the secrets oh. of the gem trade. I mean, that's literally what it's called. Who's that by? This is by this is Richard by uh, a, a, a really a, a mentor of mm. mine, Richard Wise. Um, there are only a hundred copies of this. Um, I'm going to be opening it up and sharing it with you live on the show, literally Lovely. sharing these secrets of gem trade. So this show is really about, I suppose I looked at the industry 10 years ago and I saw the likes of Tiffany & Co. I saw the likes of Harry Winston. I saw the likes of Boodles and they are incredible jewellers and what they do is fantastic. But I passionately believe that the only difference, they aren't superhuman. Lawrence Graff is an amazing gentleman, but... He's not a superhuman, he's, he's just like you and I. And I really passionately believe that the one difference between you and, and Lawrence and Harry Winston and the likes of those is simply access. It's access to the market information. It's access to the, it's access to the gemstones, the finest caliber. And I believe that if I can be that bridge, if I can get you access, then there might be at home right now a budding, the next budding Lawrence Graff, the next budding Charles Lewis Tiffany. And that's what this show is all about. So every Thursday from 10 till 12, it's supposed to finish at 12, but you inevitably we end up, we end up carrying we'll on. We'll keep it. Which is fine, I love it, I don't mind. And from, t from 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning, this show is about giving you access. Giving you access to stones you've never seen before, giving you access to quality of gems that you've never seen before. And crucially, and for me, this is, if anything, this, I think this is the most valuable part, possibly more valuable than the stones themselves, giving you access to the knowledge of mm. what, that market insider information because the gem market is changing all the time. Later in the show, I'm going to introduce you to this, to this book. This is, called, this is called The Gem Guide, and it's a completely independent 
market-driven pricing information for pretty much every precious gem on the planet. And you'll notice just here, it says March, April. It changes every two months. They republish this every two months. Why? Because the gem world isn't like anything else. It's not like buying pots or pans or, 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 or scarves. You know, there might be a new trend every 12 months or something, or they might f figure out a new, more advanced form of Teflon every 10 years. It's not like that. The gem market is constantly evolving. You've got market mines opening, discoveries made, mines closing as they run out of, uh, of gems. You might, you, they, they might suddenly discover something about a gem that makes its market value soar. It's constantly evolving, and every two months they republish this. Because it's constantly changing, because the market is this moving animal, it can be a little bit complicated. It can be a little bit hard to access. So I'm here Thursdays from 10 a.m. to really be your gem guide. I'm going to hold your hand and we will together navigate the constantly changing gem market. And whenever I've got an opportunity, whenever I've had a particular opportunity to buy, then we're going to share that with you. We're going to share that deal with you. And, but I'm also going to introduce you to my friends in the gem trade. Remember, I said access is key here. And if I can cut out the middlemen and introduce you. So in one of the first auctions we're going to be running today, one of the first pieces we're going to be offering you, um, I'm going to introduce you. If you watched our show together, then you know Mario, but perhaps you didn't. Mario um, and Adam, uh, if, you could, if you could show us that, that's fantastic. Uh, Mario is this wonderful gentleman. We'll show you in a moment's time. He's at the heart of everything Sleeping Beauty. Now, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is this incredible gem. It's a gem that has literally transformed the gem industry. Turquoise has never been more popular as a result. And yet it's a gem that has so many myths and legends surrounding it. Mm. So, many, so much misinformation. Did you there. see um, Queen's speech the other night? Did I did. Did you see her turquoise brooch? I did see her turquoise brooch. Um, I, 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 I was like... And, and Queen's on trend. And, and, well, I immediately I thought, my goodness me, if, if, if the price of turquoise was as expensive before, the value has just jumped up. And that's a, that's a yeah. classic case in point. Yeah. Queen gives a speech, she's wearing a turquoise brooch. Guess what gem starts gathering more headlines, more demand than any other in the last week? It is turquoise. That's just a classic case in point. Mm -hmm. The gem market is not static. So I'm here to help you. And if you've got any questions, message them through live. I'd love to answer. This is really, it's, it's your show. Um, and I know you can message live or you can text it as, as the details are here. Yep, six zero trouble seven, and start that message at JM Studio. So we've got a cabochon. Yes. So we've got, we've got two. That's it. Two offerings of Sleeping Beauty turquoise. One is a strand. One, one is the largest cabochon we have ever brought for you. I can't believe I was Both of these you. are incredibly, incredibly limited. Now, these are the facts. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine closed back in 2012. I literally, oh my goodness me, this is what Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is famous for. No, other, there are other turquoise mines, there are other turquoise mines in Arizona in the United States, but no other turquoise on the planet is completely matrix free like this material. No other turquoise on the planet can offer you this solid robin egg blue. And that colour, by the way, is 100% natural. This is not dyed, this, this colour is 100% natural. That robin egg blue is exactly as Mother Nature intended. And that's why the Matrix Free and the robin egg blue, that's why this gem became the most valuable turquoise, the most valuable opaque stone on the planet. So I'm just going to ask a quick question. Yeah. I'm sort of a viewer watching right now. So with that being completely natural, when it says treatment eye on there, what, what are we what looking at? What does that at? mean? So the treatment means it's been stabilised. Because the turquoise itself is very porous naturally. Mm -hmm. So the colour is completely natural. Do you know what? For my next show, I'll try and bring you some rough to, in, to show you what I mean. Yeah. So the colour is completely natural, but the turquoise itself can be quite porous. If you've ever been down to Cornwall, uh, we, ha we are actually the producers of the most porous turquoise that, on the planet I I've ever discovered down in, down in Cornwall. It can't be used in jewellery because it's too porous. Mm -hmm. So the Sleeping Beauty turquoise material, they stabilise it. And, and, and it's stabilised using a method. It's a proprietary method been patented and everything. It's called the Zachary process. And what that does is it essentially 
preserves the colour as it was as it was mined so that there's no water that can get into the stone. Amazing, it won't it? crack as you're setting it. That's a really key point because unstabilised turquoise, as you're wearing the jewellery, as you're making the jewellery, you're crafting the jewellery, that's actually the most sensitive time when you're setting the stone or wire wrapping the stone. As you're setting it, that's when, the, the, if it were to crack, that's when it would do. And that's a treatment that's done in the world's most expensive jewellers in the world. Okay. That is just what happens Tiffany to turquoise. Co in their blue coffee book, they had an incredible Sleeping Beauty turquoise piece of jewellery. That had the exact same process. Exact same process. All Sleeping Beauty turquoise must be, done, must be done with it. And it retains its Sleeping Beauty. Now, if you were to dye the stone, then it would lose its value. Yeah. But this is 100% certified Sleeping Beauty turquoise. The colour is 100% natural. <laughs> the mine closed seven years ago. So how have we got one of the biggest pieces ever to have been mined? Well, I want to introduce you to a good friend of mine. His name is Mario Cimino. He is at the epicenter of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise trade. And I'm not going to tell you how we got this stone. I'm going to let Mario tell you. Take a look at what Mario has to say. Hello, everyone. I'm here from the Valley of the Sun, Scottsdale, Arizona the place of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. The mine is situated a few hours from north from Scottsdale. Uh, that's the reason why I moved my family from uh, Italy to here. Um, my family story, it's uh, kind of a long story. I'm the third generation of cutting uh, uh, turquoise and Mediterranean coral. So um, my father came here 40 years ago to buy uh, one bucket of turquoise from Globe, Arizona. And since then, we never stopped to cut this beautiful stone. Um, obviously, uh, four years ago, the mine closed. And uh, since then, there has been a big lack of this beautiful stone on the market because everybody wanted to have a piece of it. It's the most beautiful American stone in the world, very well appreciated in Europe, in uh, Asia, Japan, China, and of course here in the United States. And, uh, uh, England. Uh, since the mine closed, the price uh, got crazy. You know, it started to raise every month more, 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 more until the end. It was almost impossible to buy the the, the last of it. Uh, the only reason today we're still here selling Sleeping Beauty is because uh, uh, the owner of the mine, the guy, the man that uh, mined this uh, a beautiful stone for 47 years, he obviously. Uh, you know kept his treasure he didn't want to sell it he kept it but finally after everybody was gone including me including my family even though we cut thousands and thousands of, uh, of pounds of this beautiful stone he came out with this treasure so I was able to uh, get a little bit more and uh, and that's the reason why today we're able to um, we're still able to to present uh, the stone that I always say the lucky stone the blue stone, the lucky stone from the sky. Thank you very much. There you have it. I promised you access. I can't give you more direct. Mario Cimino, the head, uh, the global, essentially the, the center player of the global Sleeping Beauty turquoise trade, telling you not second hand, not third hand, first hand. Look, the mine closed back in 2012. Even his family vault, and that's what, over at Gems TV, that's what we've been bringing you for the last few years. Even his family vault is now closed. The mine owner himself, the mine owner himself waited until every other gem dealer had run out of this material. So that this material was valued more highly before, and only then did he release his miner's pick material. That's why we're bringing you a size of Sleeping Beauty turquoise we've never brought before. A quality in terms of its matrix free, its complete textbook, Robin Egg Blue. We last last two weeks ago we had over a hundred of these available. Yeah. We have not got we've got hardly any. This is literally we are closing out our vault. This is the key message from Mario, and then we are going to open our Sleeping Beauty auction. If you have one takeaway from Mario, from what Mario said, this is it. Be sure this is going to be the last year we're going to be able to supply this beautiful stone. And that's just because I was able to convince my good friend, the owner of the mine, to sell his treasure. Thank you very much and have a good day. Last year. 
last 12 months. That was recorded in October 2019. We are now six months away from the disappearance of the global supply of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And do you know what? Frankly, I didn't save the best till last. The mine owner saved the best until last. Take a look. This is directly from the mine owner's vault. We have hardly any of these. We have one. We, I, I, asked, I asked Wayne, who's producing today, I said, Wayne, put every piece of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise we have in today's show. We are now counting down to when we have zero pieces in our vault here at Jewelry Maker. We are counting down from two. We have one cabochon, we have one strand, and then that is it, Lucy. This, we say goodbye to Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, goodbye to the legacy of the most precious turquoise on the planet. I desperately want these. I want two of these, one for each of my children. Yeah, uh, it's absolutely the right thing to do. Um, my, my little girl this morning, um, I, I, I set off to come here, and, and just as I did, I woke her up and put, put her into bed with, with, with her mum. Um, and, and I said to her, right, Daddy's got to go to work now, and she was still like half asleep, and she just went, Daddy, Bring me gemstones. Because <laughs> she's obsessed with gemstones at the minute. I, I've got my daughter addicted at two and a half to gemstones. What have I done? Uh, but no, seriously, this is the gem. These are the gems, the gems that we know supplies disappearing. So that by the time your, 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 your little boys, by the time my daughter um, come to go, right, do you know what? I want to get these kind of stones in our collection. They won't have the opportunity. Mm. You've heard from one of the big direct... You know, Given what's happening in the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise market right now, this price is not unfair value. This is good. From the miner's own collection for one of the biggest pieces of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is at its most valuable when it's completely matrix free. Now, getting a 6 by 4 millimeter matrix free is challenging. But can you imagine? I mean, look, look how even at the back of the gem. Yeah. Look at the quality even on the reverse of this gem. Getting a 6x4 that's matrix free in robin egg blue, incredibly difficult. Getting an 18mm by 13mm Sleeping Beauty Turquoise matrix free, well this is the preserve that only the mine owner is able to deliver. Now, when, when we did this two weeks ago on my launch show, I wanted to make a lot of friends with the pricing that we did. £249 for a Sleeping Beauty Turquoise of this size is still incredible value in today's market. But I'm still in that learning, I'm still in the getting to know you phase. I'm still in that, I've got to buy your trust phase. I've got to earn your trust. Wayne, we're going to match that price. Not £100. Dial now. 94 95 for today. Dial now, dial now, dial now. And get it valued. And I really want to stress to you that we've yes. extended that money back guarantee until the end of June. And we've said on the show last time, if that would need to be extended, say the lockdown yeah. goes on, then that is a... Look, we're, we're, we're back in the Gemporia group now. We're working with you. I appreciate that right now the world is a crazy time. And if that means that you can't get to the post office to, 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 to send this back, if you want to. And do you know what? I'm going to say, if you like this, send it back. If you like it, send it back. Because this is for collectors who are going to love, love it. This love, is for people love. who want yes. to make yes. jewellery of incredible value. What is the difference between jewellery and the kind of fine jewellery that Tiffany & Co make? It's access to gems like this. Yes. Access to Robin Egg Blue, matrix-free Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And I'm telling you now, I've got you access for, at the most, six months. That's it. And I would like to stress as well that when we are back in full operation, we've got our guest designers here, I am going to ensure that we have shows that are about making fine jewellery, that yeah. take these stones and how we then, as jewellery makers, use them and set set them because there are techniques that we haven't even had the opportunity to embark on yet there's the elements of some soldering and some silversmithing and some argentium we're going to really take it to another level that's really being um, looked into so if you're looking at it and going oh i don't know what to do with it doesn't matter doesn't matter because get it now bring it to one of our workshops and we'll teach you how to set it and you'll have the guidance of our designers there and we will do fine setting of gemstones we will do those workshops so buy the stones now knowing that you can bring them and I am going to personally make sure that we have days that are purposely for um, what handful of people you bring your precious stones and you leave with gem set jewelry no, I, I'm telling you now I will be going to those I'll be going to those I'll be going to learn those same techniques with you because I can bring you the gems but I don't know how to make the jewelry out of them yep. myself so I'm gonna I want to learn with you 
I, I and I want to meet the next. I want to meet the next Charles Lewis Tiffany. I want to meet the next Harry Winston because these are the stones that their designers and their jewellers are working with. Mm -hmm. And I see no other reason. Now that you've got access, I see no other reason why you can't do the same. This is just breathtaking. And um, just have a look if you want inf inspiration. And I must say as well, they do come with a certificate of authenticity. Yes. That is key. That is absolutely Lucy, key. Lucy, you've just reminded me. I'm so sorry. Everything in the next, well, while I'm on screen, everything is going to have free authenticity certificate again. Brilliant, um, brilliant. Everything again, and that's on me. And the reason for that is because as a gemstone investor, do you know what I'm going to do for our next show? Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to find a, a chart that is, that is essentially from pe the people in the gem guide. They've just released it and they've just worked out where does the value of a gem come in? 60% of it is down to its color. And this is classic Robin Egg Blue. 15% of it is down to its country, its provenance, and this is certified Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. All of the information that builds the value is on your certificate of authenticity, and I'm going to say, I'll, I'll, I'm footing the bill for that for while I'm on screen with you. And that, I mean, they're also very impressive certificates. Just putting it out there. Um, right, okay, so we do have an opportunity of um, a lower price, um, which is the Nugget Strand. Yeah, and these are just Can I just say, I'm beautiful. so sorry, but I've got this parade bus sat at the side of me here, and it's so distracting. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Um, <laughs> and and I love the, the throwaway way you just said that. That is what we're bringing you this show. We are going in for the first time on certified Pariba tourmaline coming up in this show. And we're going to be exploring exactly how much the market is demanding for this material and why we are so much lower. <laughs> Amazing. In the meantime, we've just got this only strand remaining in the business if we do have the odd one or two come back in it's literally because people have changed their mind now no returns are being made at the moment um, so this is nothing has left the building and come back in again you have got the right to change your mind and um, so if people change their mind the odd strand may appear but the last one of any quantity I mean, the, more than about four the, is this one th this is the final strand in the jewelry maker vaults right now and as we come in take a look really study the colors that you've got mm. here because you've got literally the complete palette of the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise mine. We are about to go to a price on this, which when you look at it, and this is why I need to draw your attention to the colour right now, because as soon as that price goes on screen, you're not going to look at the colour anymore, you're just going to look at the deal. But I need you, as a jet, from one jet buyer to another, study the colour, study the quality of what you're getting here. You are getting robin egg blues, you're getting that material yeah. in this strand. So that yes, it's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, you've got the certified provenance, but you're also getting the colour that put this mine on the map. I don't want you to look into this and go, oh, well, okay, I get it. I've got to pay £100 for this, the Robin Egg Blue, but I don't get to get any Robin Egg Blue in this. You see them. You can see those beautiful tumbled nuggets there in, in, in this material. You can see the Robin Egg Blue piercing through. And mm -hmm. then you get some of the lovely other, the more seafoam shades um, working through as well. Now, I'm not a jewellery maker. I, I need to know the techniques to do this. But one of the best looks I've seen in, in, in the jewellery world recently has been taking a strand of these and you either, you, 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 uh, there must be a name for this technique where you twist it round, you almost create like a helix I mean, it. you could do various different ways of so, achieving so, that. So Kumihimo style, or you could do it lazy um, with a lazy daisy. You could simply twist. Uh, or, so there's lots of different ways of doing it. You know the look that I'm talking about. And then at the bottom of that, they, they, they will then put an enhancer bale, create a pendant, you could wire wrap it, you, however you might do it, you create an enhancer bale that you can either then wear the simple strand or you put the enhancer bail on so that you've got the chips running all the way through and then at centerpiece you've got the finest Sleeping Beauty turquoise that money can get its hand on. There's so much you can do with this material and um, exactly like that. Yeah. Exactly and do you know like what? That. That just because we've got a couple of these cabochons left, you just said the finest. Look at it. It cannot get no, it doesn't, better than that. It doesn't. It doesn't. Get better than that. It doesn't. Wayne, this is the final strand in the jewellery maker business right now. Let's take this. I'm really nervous. I don't want to look at you anymore while I'm saying it. Uh, £20, £19.95. Oh, oh, oh. down. The final certified Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And you will, get, you will get the certificate of authenticity. Are, and that's why I keep saying certified. You are yeah. going to get this yeah. material certified by us here at uh, Jewelry Maker, sleep, certified Sleeping Beauty Turquoise for £20. 
Now, I would be terrified of letting Mario know that we're doing this to the gym. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I'm so glad he's over in Arizona. And the reason I love these shows early in the morning, by the way, is because it means that all, all, the, all the dealers in America are asleep. <laughs> so because of the way time zones work, it's currently about 3 a.m. in Arizona. And I know Mario would be in bed. If he were to see what we are doing right now in Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, I don't think he would have opened up access to the miner's pick of this material. I'm going to throw a challenge out there right now. So... The Hong Kong Gem Fair is cancelled. Yeah. Um, as, you, as you may or may not know, that's the world's biggest gem We've been fair by volume about that. of business yeah. that takes place. Cancelled. So they're already talking about cancelling September's. JCK, that's the that's the biggest gem fair. September's might be cancelled as well. So they're already talking about cancelling September's. Oh. The JCK Fair, held in June, the biggest show in terms of trend setting, is almost certainly going to be cancelled. That's held in, in Las Vegas in June. We here at Jewelry Maker, my mission in these shows, Thursday from 10 a.m., is to make this the Absolutely. biggest gem show on the mm. planet. To help, not, not just to help you at home, but also to help my friends in the trade. Is that, already, is that the last strand of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise in the business? Gone, right, okay. That's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, gone, our little segment on Sleeping Now, you just mentioned the Pariba. I've got all excited about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I know it's not the plan. Can we do the Pariba next? Is that okay? Excellent. I'm so sorry. It's only my third show and I'm, I'm, I'm dictating producing to the floor. Producing on the floor. Apologize. Producing on the yeah, floor. No, it's, it's a big it's no, amazing. no, that producing on the floor. Um, <laughs> Rude. That being a der derogatory. Um, what I want to introduce you to is a gem that, before this gemstone hit the world, there were four gems. There was diamond, ruby, sapphires, and emerald. There were others, but there was... Precious gems. If you ever wondered where that term came from, precious is semi-precious, that is a pre-1989 phrase. There were precious gems and everything else was semi-precious. This gem exploded mm. onto the jewellery scene in 1989. And when it did, it didn't do what Tanzanite did and just everyone went, oh, hang on a second. This could be, a, this, we might not talk about a big four anymore, we might talk about a big five. That's what Tanzanite did, it opened the idea. Let's open up this realm of aristocracy and introduce Tanzanite to it. So now people talk about the big five. When this gem exploded onto the scene in, the 19, in 1989, the jewellery world just turned around and said, forget precious and semi-precious, it doesn't exist anymore. It didn't just enter the, the, the big four and the big five. It blew it away. It, it shattered the jewellery aristocracy at the time. And so this gem really is responsible. The legacy of this stone is in many ways responsible for the explosion we've seen in value of spinels, uh, of garnets. All these other stones owe it to the fact that this gem was so highly valued, so incredibly precious, that this gem exploded onto the scene so much that actually it, it, it broke everything. Now, I promised you, and Lucy, I'm going to share this with you for the first time as well. This is... When I started in the trade um, just a, around a decade ago, um, I, somebody really took me under their wing um, from afar, and his name is Richard Wise. Now, Richard Wise is this award-winning jewellery and gemstone author, and this, what I've got here, is his seminal work. It's, called, it's literally called Secrets of the Gem Trade, and you can start to see where this idea I have of... Of, of really bringing you behind the curtain, letting you see and, and lifting the veil on the secrets of the gem trade. I owe a lot of that to this gentleman here. Now, I want to share with you, um, perhaps if you watched last week's show, then you, saw, made, made, you had a brief introduction to this book. Um, I'm going to show, take you in a little bit further this week. This is Secrets of the Gem Trade. I'm just going to open it up. Now, the structure of this book is that every gemstone of note, every gemstone where there are trade secrets, has a chapter dedicated to itself. So there is a chapter in this book dedicated to Pariba Tourmaline. Now, this particular copy, there are only a hundred of. I'll show you that. It's, uh, it's literally certified in the book. Um, bear with me one second while I find that. Sorry. Because I think it's really important for you to realise just how limited this access to information is. Here you go. Secrets of the Gem Trade, limited edition. Just down here. This is number 30. I can't work out because his, his handwriting is not the neatest. It's either 37 or 39 I say, I, oh. of 100 copies. Signed by Richard Wise. And you can see here, he writes me a little note. Um, and he says, Jake, with my best wishes, Richard Wise. And I think that the legacy, if anything, the homage I can pay to Richard Wise is that I'm sharing these secrets with you. He shared them with 100 people. And then now today, I'm sharing them with, well, thousands of people right now. Now, I'm going to go to the 
chapter on Pariba Tourmaline. And I've never shared this with you before at home. Chapter 36, Cuprian Pariba Tourmaline. Now, I'm going to explain what that phrase means for you. Cuprian just means copper bearing. It means that it's got copper in its, in it, in its makeup. Uh, it's, what, it's the element that gives it its neon glow. Pariba Tourmaline. And he shares, actually, the thoughts of another award-winning author. This is David Federman, writing just three years after the discovery of this gem. And David Federman met with a New York gem dealer called Ari Reith. And Ari Reith said, asking $1,000 a carat for tourmaline is outrageous. No matter how beautiful it is, grass New York dealer Ari Reith, just as prices for Pareba goods hit $2,000 a carat in Brazil. Reith refused to stock the gem until its prices, in Reith's own words, came down to earth. They never have this is a gem where $1,000 a carat, it broke through that and just continued to soar. $2,000 a carat in 1992, and as David Fiddleman says, they never have come back down to earth. Now I'm going to share with you one more bit before we open up this next section, because all of these Pariba Tourmalines are facet quality. All of these Pariba Tourmalines have been cut to perfection, and if you are crafting a piece of jewellery out of this, if you're making, you might be setting it into Argentium, you might be, uh, you might, you might be wire wrapping it, you might be, you might be using prongs and setting it more traditionally. However, you're working with this, make no mistake, you are making fine jewellery. We just heard from David Federman, the value of this stone is up to two thousand dollars a carat back in 1992. As I stand here today with you, the value of this gem. According to the gem guide, in the trade, this is, this, is not, this is not to the final collector, this is dealer to dealer in the gemstone trade, the value of this gem is up to, in the sizes we're going to be offering you today, take a look at this, you can see, this is the gem guide, up to $10,000 a carat. Up to $10,000 a carat. This is the inherent value in the trade of Pariba Tourmaline, dealer to dealer. We have a handful of stones for you today. If you aspire, and maybe it's not right now, maybe right now you think, well, I'm just beginning my jewellery making journey. I don't know if I'm capable of making fine jewellery that's, that's featuring stones worth such high volumes. Then don't worry. Still acquire it today. It's the kind of piece you lock away, and when you are ready, mm. when you've perfected the craft, that's when you go and make your finest piece of jewellery. And make no mistake, when you are setting pretty between means, you are talking about some of your finest pieces of jewellery. Also, though, just to interject there, because even if you then are still intimidated, go, oh, I don't know if I ever would, there's always access to people who can do that for you. Yeah. Or you simply take on, as I have been buying gemstones for a few years now, we'd ne I will never make jewellery out of them, but I will give them to my children. Yeah. Well, I, I talk to a lot of collectors who do the same. I talk to um, one particular collector, her name is Zeneb, um, and she, makes, she buys stones and has them set to jewellery for her daughter, but she doesn't want her son to feel left out, so she buys stones and just gives them him the stones, mm. and then he can go and do them as he pleases. Make no mistake, whatever the reason is, this is your access to one of the finest gems on the planet. Mm. It's from a particular parcel I bought just over three years ago now from the Hong Kong Gem Fair, the show that has been cancelled this year, we have never, ever been able to replicate this kind of a deal. This, these are the last few pieces we've got. I wanted to just do a little mini section before our deal of the day. Are you ready for the finest Pariba Tourmaline no. jewellery maker has <laughs> ever, ever featured? Are you ready for Pariba Tourmaline that can elevate and can command up to 10 thousand dollars a carat? Take a look at some of these. Okay, so where should we start? Okay, with number one. Brilliant. Um, okay, so this is a huh, a 65 carat yeah. Pareba. This is 65, car uh, 65 points. 65, Sorry, 65 points. points. So that's points two quantities. thirds of yeah. a carat. Two <laughs> 65 thirds of a carat. <laughs> <laughs> two, thirds, two thirds of a carat. I don't know if there's even been a 65 carat <laughs> Pareba discovered. Uh, but, but this is two thirds of a carat. This is big size. You can, sort, you can see before, mm. anything over half a carat jumps in value, immediately soars in value. Are you ready to see the finest Pariba oh, Tourmaline jewellery maker has ever 
featured on the show before. These are, look, there are hardly any of them. We're talking a handful of stones, but a handful of you can acquire certified Paribas Tourmaline. Take a look at this. I mean, it's absolutely textbook. You've got a seafoam green there. Remember I said it was copper bearing and that gives it a neon glow? This is what we're experiencing right now, that neon glow. Now, Lucy, on, the, on this auth card that they're going to get, you get a certified authenticity certificate. Does it tell you the measurements of this material? Yeah. 4 by 75 um, up to a 7.75. So 7.75... By 4.75. We're talking a Sorry, huge... Sorry, 6.75. Oh, so 6.75 yeah. by 4.75. A huge gem here at Peruvia Tourmaline. We're currently looking at the pavilion. You can see right the way around. Look at the clarity. Yeah, amazing. The clarity of this material is absolutely extraordinary. Out of 10, Lucy, how much would you rate this out of 10? Well, 10. <laughs> 10. Okay, you're, you're, you're saying 10. I'm going, to, I'm going to be quite a harsh judge because that's how, that's how I am. This, uh, this is how I, I'm going to value this stone live on air for you according to the dealer-to-dealer -dealer prices. Okay. This is a different valuation to the one you get when you go and get it appraised because they're talking about a, a, a replacing state, uh, replacing it, it yeah. that kind of thing. I'm, not, I'm talking dealer-to-dealer. -dealer, okay. What is the value of this gem? So you're saying 10 out of 10. Wayne said 10 out of 10. Adam, who's directing, said 9.5 out of 10. This is how harsh I am in my valuations. I'm going to say today 8 out of 10 for this gem. Why? 8 out of 10. Um, why? Because I've got, to, I've, I've got to take a few marks off somewhere, just because this is how... I want to try and make this number as low as I can. I'm trying okay. to get this number to okay. be as low as I possibly can. Okay. In the trade, this material trades for seven, eight, and a, 8 out of 10, trades for $7,500 a carat. So $7,500 a carat times by the 0.65, you are looking at $4,800 of gem in your hand, dealer to dealer in today's gemstone market. And that's how low I could get it. Hang on, say that again. How many dollars? Four thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. So in pounds at the moment, that's probably what uh, about four thousand four hundred pounds. Yeah, about four thousand pounds. Okay, about four thousand pounds. All right, I'm off. Bye. <laughs> I'm taking this. With this me. is the kind of deal that we're taking taking right now. Wayne, let's open the phone lines. This is your Pariba Tourmaline segment. I'm going to tell you, the only problem is that we don't even have tens of most of these gems. These are incredibly, incredibly exclusive. Wayne. We, we, we value this together conservatively at about £4,000 according to the Gem Guide valuations. Um, go and get this appraised by your own jeweller. Um, Wayne, we're not going £4,000. You know, I'm not even going to go £1,000. Not even £400. Let's put this into the kind of bracket that Ari Reith would have been happy with 30 years ago. £150. This is what? how... Yeah. This is how we make this the biggest gem fair in the world. You can go to Hong Kong, you can go to Bangkok, you can oh. go anywhere in the world. My promise for, to you right now is you're just never going to get this product. That's it's sold out, sold out, right. Let's do another one. Um, Certified Prima Tourmaline. Certified Prima <laughs> Tourmaline here today. It. What are you doing? And yeah. Wayne, has, Wayne has brought Prima Tourmaline to the UK market before. Never before at that kind of price. Okay, so this one now is a 60 point. Uh, this is measuring 5 by 6.75. So it's a 6.75 length, 5 millimeter on the width. Beautiful size to work with here. It's beautiful. Again, certified Pariba Tourmaline. Oh. I can't wait. This, this material, like I say, once it's gone, it is gone. There's no replacing it for here. Oh, gosh, I hate... Picking these up. Oh, I love that colour. Well, well, Wayne, do you know you're such a connoisseur? I know Wayne's got experience with lots of this material because the bluer it gets, the yeah. more valuable. Yeah, um, yeah, that's sold out. Wayne, one four nine again. I know it should be more. I know it should be. It should be more. One four nine. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving on. We've got some more. Okay, so this one now is um, five by six, and it's a fifty-five pointer. Is, is it exactly six by five? Yeah. Five, five. Okay. Five, five, so six, this yeah, is what's exactly. called calibrated in the gem world. <gasps> when it, it's when you have the millimeters exactly. There's no half point five or calibrated means it's easier to set for you. So there's definitely value in that. There's a calibrated gem for you. Calibrated Pariba tourmaline. I don't know anyone who's able to do this. Look. at... Look at the fasting on that. Look at that. Look at wow. that. Wow. Look. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Copper, copper, copper. 
Do you know what? We're going to match the price on this. 149 straight down. <laughs> Look at the neon quality. <laughs> do you know what? And in my head, I'm thinking, actually, this is 9 out of 10. But do you know what? I'm going to go. Do you know what? I'm going to match the Sold price out. for you. 149. Right, we've got literally so many people missing out. Just be as quick as you can, as quick as you can. Well um, done. If you're on the phone, if you're wanting, if you're thinking I want one of these, call up right now and just get ready. Press your option one as soon as you see it. Or just, oh, all right. Lucy, if you just, I hope you're not just dropped 4,000 pounds worth of gem in the trade right there. <laughs> no, no, I just temporarily put it suspended in the world. Um, it's four and a half by 6.75 and wow, it's half carat. Huge exact. length, 6.75. Oh, the, no. oh, the colour, the colour, colour, the colour of this. Check this out, check this out. Yeah, get this, get this gun. Get and this, this is one. still, you are still looking at half a carat wow. of oh, Pariba God, it, tourmaline here. Oh, oh my word. Oh my, oh flipping heck. It's, it's sold out. Oh, okay. Let's weigh in. 149 again, please. Look at this. So, uh, I, I find oh, it easy, Lucy. This. If you flip it onto its table. Yeah. So, that's the, the, that, that table yeah. there. And get it from there. And then pick it up there. Oh, thank you. There you go. All Little, these years. Uh, a gem dealer's <laughs> tip right there for you. Beautiful. Look at the stunning colour. That's already sold oh, out. Oh, my Huge word. What are you going to make with these? I'm so excited for you. I can't wait you. to hear. And, it, you know, if you're multi-buying them to match them into pairs of earrings. Um, I, I oh, love, love, love this material. But it is. We are literally at the end of our collection. If you do watch on Gemporia, you'll know. We used to have Pariva Tourmaline shows with, with remarkable frequency, um, really, across our whole history. Uh, about 12 to 24 months ago, we have not had any for a very, very long time because our vault is simply empty oh now. my word this one has this i'd have this as an engagement ring this is um do you know who's got one like this ruth lynette take a look has at got this one just like that um half, half a, a carrot, carrot. pariba tourmaline again weighing 149 for for, for, for collectors tonight well tonight this morning <laughs> It feels. It, do, you know, do you know what that is? <laughs> that's, that's my little children not giving me much sleep. <laughs> huge, huge congratulations. Okay. Now, now this next one. This is one of the few one. stones we've got. Uh, uh, I, I say good quantity. We have still got less. We've still got less than thirty of these. This is ridiculous. Still got less than twenty of them. But if you've been missing out so far, make this your chance for one of the few, few remaining half carat pieces. Remember, half carat is the magic price per carat weight. It's the magic carat weight. So above eight, half carat or more, the price soars. Look at this material. You've seen how quickly it's going to... So, and, and you're going to get, by the way, stiff authenticity, giving you all the details of this material, this incredible Pariba Tourmaline material. Half a carat gems. We're going to match the price for you. If you've missed out on everything so far, this is your chance. Certified Pariba Tourmaline here, £149, please, Wayne. Oh this my is the word. material. So the I'm just putting them on oh, flipping heck. This is, I'm literally, I'm palpitating so much. <laughs> now, if you are multi buying on these ones, folks, um, just make sure you are checking out your baskets now i'm just gonna i'm just playing devil's advocate for yeah, a second please go for we it. have got some people multi-buying and this sometimes happens and people will then change their mind so if you're missing out right now please check the website later today because i would expect some of these are going to be coming back into stock simply right, okay. because people i've got a lot of people who are multi-buying each one fair enough and if you're keeping them absolutely fab uh, and you've got the right to change your mind. So it just means that if you are missing out right now, it's worth checking on the website again later. Okay, going on to the next one. So the next one is, oh, hello. Hello, it's a pear cut. Yes, so we know that pear cuts are from more wastage. What that means is that you're fastening away weight. So to get a half carat pear cut is a big deal in the gem world. Um, oh, really? I'm, I'm just going to... We'll just, just quickly show this one then. Through... And this is, this is the one that you're going to get. Look, you could do um, that design. Weigh 149 pounds. This is exactly, this is my Larique diamond. Well, there you go. Um, and I would do the exact design. I, I, and, and I'll be honest, 
Am I allowed to say this? No. Okay, I won't. It was my uh, birthday present from Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Only no because idea. I'm a coloured stone geek, I'd take the Pariba. <laughs> There's just five I knew more him, I know him so well. Um, okay, now this is a 0.45. It's a pair cut again. It's a 4.75 by 6.75. So this is a 0.45 carat. So take a look at this one And this here. has got a little bit more of the blues. Look at this. You, the blues you're getting are, are amazing. And yes, okay, I'm, I'm going to address this. We have just dipped below the half a carat mark. Yeah. But the size, Lucy, would you mind giving us the millimetre dimensions again? 4.75 by 6.75. So 6.75 is right up there in terms of face-up view is, is, is just as incredible. It's it, it, it size. When would you let us know how? I can't remember what, what, how exactly how much this cost us to the penny to, to sort. Okay, Wayne, I'm going to do something crazy here today. Um, ninety nine, ninety nine. What? And and, and I'm I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to I'm going to address for you exactly why we're doing that. Wayne's yeah, going why? why? Because for why? the millimeter, the millimeter dimensions are as big as anything else. But remember, in the trade, in the trade, there is a difference. There is a difference. You can see here, just over this side, this is how you read this document. In here, a quarter of a carat to a 49 point is one price, and a half a carat to, to a carat is another price. Now, over here, if we come to this fine grade material, look, you can see there is a difference. There is, that mag there is that magic carat weight. So I'm reflecting that difference. I told you, if I get a great deal, you get that great deal. This is now One the left. world's biggest gem Hong show. Kong. Forget Hong Kong, forget Tucson, because I know I've been to them every single year. You can't go to those gem shows and get this material for this price. This is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. Ning, this is my favourite one so far. Um, 0.45 carats, 4.75 by 6.75 wow. overcut. I mean, the, the the saturation here is exquisite. Now, if you've been missing out, we have got a few more here, and by a few more, I mean we've not got two or three. We've got. Wayne, remind me, how many have we got of this one? Four. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know what then? We started with 17, we've got just four of these left. Look at the colour, absolutely beautiful. Certified Sleeping Beauty, uh, certified Pariva Tourmaline, sorry. Uh, Wayne will match the price, 99.99. 99.95. I'm literally seeing so, so many people miss out on each one, I'm so sorry. I'm just uh, grateful that we've got a few. <laughs> I was expecting maybe we'd only have like three different lines or something. Uh, and, um, and please, whatever, uh, if you take nothing else from today, Please do not expect me every Thursday to be coming here from 10 a.m. with Pariba Tourmaline or even coming here with Pariba Tourmaline at this price. Because if I bring Pariba Tourmaline again, it won't be at today's prices. Because you, So you got this three years ago? This is a three-year-old parcel, yeah. Yeah. Three-year-old parcel. And um, it's, still, it's still widely regarded as the best deal we have ever negotiated in Jamporia history. I'm not surprised. And thank you that that saving is then being passed on to us. We've got a couple more of these available, folks. Go for it. I mean, oh. I mean, this is the kind of material when you know that there are pieces that you make and you're just making them to fill time or to fill out your, your, your store shelves or whatever it might be. And then there's those pieces that you make to, to, to really drive interest to drive the value of the jewellery. You, you, I remember talking to once to a very high-end cruise ship jeweller. I, I, I can't say who they are uh, because I don't want to embarrass them. Um, but they once told me, they said, your jewellery is worth, the type of jewellery you are, the jewellery is worth whatever your most expensive piece is. So if, if, if all of your jewellery is worth, the most expensive piece okay. is, is £100, they said, you, you're a £100 jeweller. If you, all of your jewellery um, is, is selling at £100, but you've got one piece that you sell for £1,000, you're a thousand pound jeweler and, okay. and this particular person yeah. said you know what most of my jewelry sells for about 500 to 800 pounds because they, they work on cruise ships he said but we make one piece that's a quarter of a million pounds because then we are a quarter of a million pound jeweler and i think you know that there's going to be those pieces that you make for your bread and butter and then there's those pieces you make that elevate your entire jewelry offering now this is your pick of the show isn't it this yeah. is your this is the one that you've you've literally well, you, you've not let it out of your sight, <laughs> and you highlighted this as the best one. So th th this is uh, this is why Lucy. Remember when this I asked like you at the beginning? This is like fifteen out of ten. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> you go. You knew where I was going. This is why I'm so hard for my grading because there's always a stone. There you go. Oh, that is just a yeah. shade nicer. This is Lucy's favourite of the show. 
45 points and, and you just love the colour on this. I've actually got goosebumps on this one. Yeah, I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed. So uh, I don't actually want to show it to you. How many have we got on this, Wayne? Okay. I mean, I'm really wow, nervous. okay. Lucy's favourite, we, we have got... Oh, this okay. Is, this is, um, uh, Wayne started amazing. with 17 and I said, wow. In that short period of time, he said, sorry, set five have gone, seven have Look gone. This it. is Lucy's <laughs> pick, 45 points. Wayne, even though it's Lucy's favourite, even though it's 15 out of 10, according to Lucy, let's go straight down, 99.95. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Mark, you know you're our managing director and you love me. Can I have this as my bonus for Christmas, please? This stone. Thanks. <laughs> that is... I've, seriously, though, I've, I've worked with Pareba um, for... Oh, golly. I remember the first piece of Pareba jewellery I ever sold when I worked for a hugely expensive jewellers before I joined Gems TV. So um, many people know, so I was prancing around in the West End in shows in the evening and then during the daytime working for one of the world's most expensive jewellers. I remember a Pareba ring... And I remember the colour of it. I think it's because I remember the colour of it, and it really, this really reminds me of it. And it was over £200,000. But, Lucy, that's not... That, that is the market value of this gem. I mean, we, consider, we've seen this stone tra trades for, the size we've been bringing you today, up to $10,000 a carat, mm. dealer to dealer. Mm. Then by the time you put that into, into, into somewhere like the West End, t typical retail markups are between three and five times. Mm. If you get to tie it up in a nice coloured box, say a blue one, seven times... That, that, that is the mark, you know, so yeah. you can see how a one carat Pariba Tourmaline, the stone alone, is suddenly trading for yeah. £70,000. Yeah. Then you do the mounting, say, say it's slightly bigger than that, you can see how £200,000 yeah. is not isn't an extraordinary amount of yeah. money for this stone. Yeah. Huge well done if you're acquiring it this morning. It well, is, well done. I, poof, got, oh, I can't believe I got... Did you get it for me, Mark? Did you get it? No. 20, 20 people missed out. One of those was Lucy Nichols. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, oh, oh, you, oh, oh, no, no. Colour saturation in this one. Colour saturation yeah. um, is, is and, and okay, yeah. The, yes, reason yeah. You, the reason you have such colour saturation with this gemstone is it's the only gem I know of on the entire planet that is able to... There are three elements that drive the colour in this. There's actually gold atoms in the, in, the, in the structure, the crystal structure of this gem. So gold atoms go into I this gem. Manganese atoms go mm. in. And manganese is a huge, huge colour exhibitor. Mm. And, and we'll come on to that with other stones. But essentially, when you hear manganese, you're going to look for a bright colour stone. And then you have copper in, in the natural crystal structure of this gem. And the copper gives it the most incredible neon glow. Take a look at this. This is extraordinary. It's a calibrated stone, by the way. It's five by six. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is one of the easiest stones to work with that we've offered you all show. Calibrated stone. Oh, my word. Okay, this uh, is my pick of the show. Uh, yeah, that's a 16. Wayne, you know how I was so harsh with the other one? I said eight out of ten. I mean, this you're knocking on the door here of ten out of ten. I mean, how do you improve this gem? How do you improve the gem? Wayne, um, it should be. We know that there's a huge price jump between the 8 out of 10 and the 9 out of 10. Um, but we will match it, 99.95. And I can't believe I'm doing that Can I see the call screens, please? Because I just love being nosy and I want to know who of my, um, who of my friends out there are getting them. Thanks. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm I don't like seeing how many there. people are missing out. <laughs> I'm looking at what you're looking at right now and regretting what I've just done. I mean... Oh dear. It's done, isn't it? <laughs> You're going to lose, lose quick. Um, Wayne just told me how much it cost us a source. I should have asked that question first, shouldn't I? Yeah. Oh well, it's done. Yeah, that's okay. Last, uh, last Prima Tourmaline. Excellent. And then we're going into a deal of the day, which is really exciting as well. I can't wait to bring you that one. Okay. We've not even talked about it. And the reason we've not talked about it, by the way, um, I will address in a moment's time. It has been deliberately not talked about this morning. Um, just so you know, um, I think this one might be 17 out of 10. <laughs> oh, Final Pariba Tourmaline of the show. Oh, I think we might have saved the best till last. Look at this one. Oh... Flipping heck. 99.95, and I, that really hurts. But we're doing it. 
<laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably never going to bring you pre again. Let's just—it's been a wonderful morning. What a, what a fantastic, exciting. It's been nice half an knowing hour. you, Jake. Been nice knowing you. Um, um, totally devalued. <laughs> yeah. Um, we, we've got the deal of the day coming up next. Now, I've I've only been here. This is my third show, so thank you so much for welcoming me. I really do appreciate it, and I'm humbled by all of your messages. Uh, the, for the last two deal of the days we've done, we did the Spinel sweets together. Yeah, you we and did. I. Yeah. Um, and over, over over 500 of those um, instantly gone in, in about f half an hour. Um, then we did the... Um, last week, we brought a similar Tanzanite suite. Oh, wow. Um, as our deal of the day. And again, over 500 of those immediately gone. Today's deal of the day is rubies and sapphire. A parcel of rubies and sapphire... The bad news, and I'm going to tell you this right now, just before we go to the break. The bad news, and wait, are we able to open the phone lines before we go to the break? Let's open the phone lines. Ooh, check them out. We're going to open the phone lines for you before we go to the break. <laughs> I'm going to talk all about this deal of the day. I'm going to tell you now, first, first deal of the day, over 500 gone in, in about 20 minutes. Second deal of the day that I've done with you, over 500 gone in a couple of minutes. There are less than 200 of today's really deal of the day. And I am genuinely... Really, really sorry to the hundreds of you that are going to miss out on today's deal of the day. But I told you, this is about access. It's about being transparent and candid in my shows. I can't be more transparent of the day, uh, more transparent today with you than, than just telling you that people are going to miss out on today's show. Um, deal of the day. We're going to be bringing the price. and going to be telling you exactly what you're getting straight after this. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me at 10 o'clock every morning live on YouTube. Simply go to Primal Living's channel and you'll see our new Food Bank Show. Now the Food Bank Show is basically what it says on the tin. We're trying to raise money for food banks across the UK that more than ever need our support. At the same time, in every show, I'll be joined by doctors and nutritionists that are going to help us reshape the food that we eat because maybe there's a bit of a silver lining for our health right now. All of the restaurants are shut. The McDonald's, the Subway, the Greggs, they're all closed. So we've got to change our eating habits anyway. But with the advice of some of the world's leading doctors, some of the world's leading nutritionists, I'm gonna help you reshape the food that you're consuming and hopefully boost your immune system to get through this very difficult time. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. 
Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Deal of the day. The deal of the day is always an opportunity where we go beyond the expectation of a jewellery maker price, which obviously is incredibly low comparable to the industry price anyway. And then today for today's deal of the day, we're joined by Jake. If you've just tuned in, um, Jake is our in-house gemstone investor yeah. for the whole group. And... Um, to be able to do these loose gemstones as part of his time with us today is a real, real treat. Now, if you've just tuned in, I don't want you, because so much of what we do here at the channel is about beading, about drill gemstones, I don't want you to be intimidated by these. I want you to be excited and think about what techniques you're going to learn in the future, not even in the immediate, maybe come to workshops, bring them here, or just be able to get these gemstones to probably do what Mark Smith, I know he'll be watching right now, will probably just buy these and never do anything with them, but take us a pleasure in looking at them yeah. and enjoying and collecting. I mean, th these are, are, these are for me, I think these are the most versatile deal of the day I've given you um, so far, because 
You don't get one ruby and sapphire. You don't get well, you don't get two, one ruby and one sapphire. You don't get three. You don't get four. You're getting five between the rubies and the sapphires, five rubies and sapphires. And Yay. you're getting the whole plethora there. You're getting fancy sapphires in some cases. You're getting rubies galore. I mean, look, look at the beautiful rubies. All of the rubies there, a fifth of a carrot, 20 points in the ruby. Absolutely extraordinary. All of them independently certified for oh, another you. Another one, I can't fit it on. There's so many. And you're going to get, you might think, oh, well, I won't get royal blue sapphire in this. Well, that's exactly what, what Lucy's showing you. So it's going to be a mix. The things I'm guaranteeing you are this. I'm guaranteeing you natural gemstones. What do I mean by that? These aren't synthetic rubies. They're not synthetic sapphires. These are genuine gemstones that you're getting here. Five of them. You're going to get three rubies and two sapphires per, per, per deal. Now, the sapphires will either be blue sapphires or you might get fancy sapphires. So in the, it, and we, we've taken one at random there, Lucy. You've got a, you've got a beautiful blue sapphire. That is extraordinary. It's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And, and then, and again, it's, it's weighing in around about that fifth of a carat mark, um, this one in your hand right now. That is a saturation of colour, isn't Look it? Look at that. I mean, and this, this blue, this midnight blue, this is almost very reminiscent of the Kanchanaburi sapphire. A, 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 a now closed mine. Absolutely extraordinary. And then you have a fancy sapphire as well. So you get a real lottery of this. Now, the great thing, what I love about rubies and sapphires, for, for, from a jewellery making perspective... Shall, shall I show the other sapphire? Would that yeah, be absolutely. Yeah. Go for it. I'll what I love about rubies though. and sapphires from a jewellery making perspective, they're incredibly hard wearing. So you don't have to worry. You know, if, you're, if you're working with molten silver or you're working with argentium or silver clay that you have to put in the oven, you can set this into the clay, put it in the oven, ah. and the stone is completely unharmed. So when... when, when for, for Gem TV, what we do is we will often use um, a process called lost wax deposition, but we will put this into kilns up to 800 degrees. So far hotter than your oven's ever going to get at home. And, and, and the stone is completely untouched by this process because it's incredibly hard wearing stone. So you can set this into your clays. You can set this however you want to do it. It gives you more options than either the Tanzanite or okay. the, the Spinal Dillon okay. days. So this is incredibly versatile. I've seen a lot of jewellers right now who are literally, they're making their band with their clay, they're just studding the sapphires and rubies straight into it, putting it into the oven, and out comes a beautiful, oh, a beautiful piece yeah. of jewellery. So Ooh. they're really, really easy to use. That's the great news. Yeah. The bad news is we have had, over the last two weeks, I've got, this is only my third show here with you, and thank you so much for welcoming me. I really do appreciate it. The deal of the day in, the, in our first week had over 550 sold in 20 minutes. The deal of the day in our second minute, in our second week, had over 500 sold in 20 minutes. We haven't even got 200 opportunities here today for you. This deal of the day is the most limited deal of the day I've ever done here at Jewelry Maker. Now you're thinking, you must be thinking at home. Okay, we're talking big size rubies here, a quarter of a, a fifth of a carat each size. We're talking similar size rubies and sapphires. Essentially, it's a parcel around about a carat in weight of ruby. Certified Ruby and Sapphire. This is going to be well out of my price point. These are the two that... We talked about the precious gems earlier. Mm -hmm. This is two of them in a single parcel of gems. Not today. Wayne, we're not going to mess around today. I'm not even going to try and stagger the phone line. So call centre, I do apologise. If you are able to help support our call centre, who are all socially distancing, they're, they're two metres apart, which means we've got less of them in. So that if you're waiting on the phone a little bit longer, I'm sorry, please try and deal with, please try and uh, bear with us. If you're able to shop online, even better. We've got the app that, as well, you can shop on the app. Great, yep. another great way to buy. Um, and and, and, and you, you just skip all the queues, but also you're helping to keep our call centre safe. And I really must say thank you for that. Um, Wayne, we're not going to mess around today. Um, a parcel certified rubies and sapphires Five of them, £20, £19.95. That's today's deal of the day. Certified what? rubies, certified sapphires, you are getting five of them. <gasps> and this is really, this is for the jewellery you don't even know you're going to make yet. That is absolutely in... insane. <laughs> uh, look... I, I made one promise. What? I, I, I really have a dream for this show. And this show, what I want to do with this show, my, I've got a lot of friends in the trade and um, dealers who are struggling right now. You know, Hong Kong's been cancelled. JCK's been cancelled. Hong Kong September's probably going to be cancelled. The jewellery supply 
around the world has dried up literally overnight because of what's happened around the world. I'm saying this is now the biggest gem show on the planet. We're getting more new dealers coming into this show than we've ever had before. And it's deals like this that's attracting them. It's deals like this. You could go to a Tucson, to a Hong Kong, to a Bangkok show, the biggest sapphire show, ruby show in the world, the Bangkok show, and you still won't find a deal like this there. I've lost Lucy. I've lost her. <laughs> I need you with me, Lucy, on this. <laughs> It's amazing. Now, uh, some people have known me for many years. Um, I've, yes, on Jewelry Maker alone for 10 years and within the Gemporia group for about 14 years. I genuinely don't know what to say. It, it's, it is. When have I ever not had something to say? Don't answer that. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Huge congratulations. If you are getting involved, acquiring a parcel that literally the trade can't compete with. In the trade, people are looking at this right now. This, this really is... It, it, it's a deal of the day, isn't it? This is, this is how I... This is how I, I want this to be a regular feature. Thursday yeah. mornings from <laughs> 10. And this is how I cement it. This is how I earn your trust. By bringing you genuine gemstones at values that the trade just can't even get close to. I love it. Let's do more. <laughs> let's do more. Let's do more. Right, where to next? Oh, is that gone already? Is that sort of, okay? Oh, oh there's oh, ten left. Um, uh, would you like to see how many people? Oh, wow. Huge, huge congratulations. Um, I'm Not all of the names have been I'm people. so sorry because we have less than half of the deal of the day quantities that we've been bringing you recently. Um, I'm so sorry to those of you who are missing out today. Yeah, they don't, they don't fit on my screen. Well, well done, huge congratulations. Um, I, I'd love to explore the sapphire world a little bit more, um, explore the ruby and the sapphire world a little bit more, yeah. because there is a reason these gems are so, so highly prized. There is a reason. We've almost done it backwards today. We've brought you the most affordable rubies and sapphires, and then now we're going to talk about why they're incredibly valuable, and it's the opposite way around, really. Um, but I want to talk to you about the sapphire that is making more headlines than any other type of sapphire right now, because... For years, for, for, for literally for millennia, the blue sapphire has been where it's at. And then mm. there, was a, there was an explosion of interest in the fancy sapphire when East Africa started producing Ilakaka, Songia. So, Please come um, on. yeah, just uh, again, um, just thinking for, uh, for questions. So, what is a fancy sapphire? Why is it Great called question. fancy? Um, a fancy sapphire is any colour sapphire that is not blue or red. So, what is red sapphire? Well, a red sapphire is a ruby. They're essentially the same gem. It's just if it's red, it becomes a ruby. Sapphires traditionally are blue. Now, there is a scientific reason for this. Um, pure sapphire is actually white. Pure sapphire and um, pure corundum, which is the gemstone group, um, it, it is, it is completely, completely colourless. It's see-through. Um, so pure, and it's incredibly rare. So um, I actually commissioned for, for, for the godmother and, and godfather of, of my little boy, um, I commissioned their engagement ring, and they have a white sapphire in their engagement ring. Incredibly oh, hard to get hold goodness of. Goodness sake, you them. are worth knowing. <laughs> um, and so it's incredibly hard. But most sapphire in the world, even though pure sapphire is white, most sapphire in the world is blue. And that's because the chemical composition, without getting too, too geeky, the chemical composition of sapphire lends itself to bonding with iron. And iron is what gives sapphire, sapphire its blue. Um, so, so that's why most sapphire is blue, even though pure sapphire is white. Any other colour of sapphire other than red and blue is known as a fancy sapphire. Um, and so we had this explosion of interest in the trade a about a decade or so ago in fancy sapphires because mm. there were new deposits coming out of Ilakaka, out of, uh, in Madagascar, out of Songea, um, in, in Tanzania. We had this explosion of colour in the sapphire world, so there was a lot of interest. But blue sapphire continued to set the pricing records. Now, today, we have one, one strand of sapphire, which, and that's all we have in the business, one strand of sapphire, which is the hottest colour right now. So I talked to you about the gem guide um, earlier on in the show, and if you've just tuned in, what is this? This is an industry publication, a trade publication. It's released every two months, and it essentially 
it, it, it's there to inform dealers and investors like myself what are the stones that are driving demand? What are the stones that are driving things forward? This one here is from March, April. I want to share with you. I want to share. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'm going to share with you the teal sapphire, which is absolutely making records, making waves in the gem trade. Because a graduate gemologist just last year identified this material, and I'll show you the article itself. Um, I'll show you the article, it's not in this one, it's in the previous edition. I'll show you the article itself. It, ja graduate gemologist, Mr. Stuart Robertson, who's literally the director of research over at the Gem Guide, he wrote an article on the current state of the gem industry, and you can see that here. Coming out of the Las Vegas show, which I told you earlier on, is the show that sets the trends in the gemstone market. And this is what he says. Optimistic expectations uh, missed the market this year at Las Vegas, so it was a slower show than they were expecting. The new venue in size, and that's because they changed hotel where they hold it in, so no one could find their way around. I was lost as well for about half a day. Um, found it too difficult for year one. Sourcing fine quality ruby at affordable prices has become very challenging in the gemstone market. But here's the really important thing for you, because if you want to be making jewellery that is in trend, that is very sellable, that is driving value here today, right now in the gemstone mm. market, this is the next part that you really need to pay attention to. Sapphire strength is in the teal and the blue-green colours. Doesn't mention Papadasha, which we will talk about later on in the show. He doesn't mention the royal blues, which everyone knows Sapphire to be. He's saying the biggest growth in value in Sapphire, you saw it there, black and white, is in the teal and the blue-green colours. Mm. What have we got for you? We have one. One strand. I want to do, I want to, I just wait, I want to do a whole show of this. I wanted to do, I came here with, with the research, with Stuart Robertson's article. I wanted to do a whole show so that you could have incredible levels of, uh, of opportunity to make jewellery with teal green and uh, with teal and blue green sapphire. We don't have it here for you today. We have one strand in the business. Mm. This is it. But my goodness me, what a strand it is. 15 carats of literally certified, and I, I've said, Throughout the show, while I'm on, you will get an authenticity certificate with every single piece you buy. So including this strand, it's not just the loose stones, including this strand, because you want certified teal green sapphire. That's what Stuart Robinson identified as the hottest material. Now, let's come into the sapphire because quality is what matters. Look at mm. the clarity. This is... This is they happen to have been faceted drops, but this is top, top gem grade material. Do not look at this and say, oh, well, okay, well, you know, is it a tumbled nugget grade? You know, is, 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 is it a bead grade? Absolutely not. This is top facet gem material and big sizes as well. If I came to you with a loose stone that was 4 by 4.5 by mm. 3 millimeters, everyone would be saying, for the hottest sapphire in the world, wow, here we're getting that throughout the entire strand over 15 carats of the most marketable, the literally it's noteworthy in the gem, grade, gem guide by a GIA trained gemologist. It's almost as if Stuart Robertson is describing this very strand. Approximately 60 on the strand. We haven't got anything else like this in the business. This is the only teal green, and, and, and I looked. <laughs> I wanted to do a whole show of this, and I looked. I've looked everywhere across the business, across the whole Gemporia group. This is the only strand we've got. You'd think for 15 carats, I mean, even if we said £10 a carat, even if we say £10 a carat for the sapphire that is making waves in the industry, that would be extraordinary value. Mm. That would be incredible. This is coming from the Ilakaka mines I just mentioned before in mm. Madagascar. Mm. Ilakaka teal green sapphire weighing even 10 pounds a carat would be incredible value at 150 pounds we're not doing that today thank you so much to those of you who've trusted me I'm, I'm i'm new to your screens i appreciate that this is only my third show i've got to earn that trust not 150 pounds at 10 pound a carat today it's day only Wayne. 49.95 take 100 pounds off it take 100 pounds off Ten pound a carat. Do you know i'd want to put with it as well the um, burmese spinel oh that we had. my days what a marriage that what we had on the show that would be if you managed to get any of those strands of the Burmese spinel that we've had. Um, oh my word! 
Remember what I said at the beginning of the show? I said, this, what I want to do in this show is I want to give you access to the finest gems of the world. Yeah, The yeah. access that the likes of Lawrence Graff get, the likes that Tiffany & Co get, the likes that these incredible jewellers who set the bar so high, the likes of stones that they get access to. Well, you heard from Stuart Robertson of the Gem Guide, him telling you, sapphire strength right now, what is the type of sapphire that's driving mm. demand, pushing the industry forward? It's in the teal and blue-green sapphire. He's describing the strand on screen. Huge well done if you're successful. It is. Absolutely. That would not look out of place on royalty. Well, it wouldn't. And, and, and that's my point. You're making... Whatever piece of jewellery you craft with this, it is going to be, by virtue of the gems that you've got access mm. to, it is automatically fine jewellery. Mm. In the jewellery world, go to any, go to the likes of Piaget or Van Cleef and Arpel or, 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 or Bulgaria, whoever it might be, go to the likes of those brands that push the boundaries and you'll see they have jewellery and then they have fine jewellery. Yeah. And it's their fine jewellery that's the pioneering jewellery. Their, their jewellery, their regular jewellery might be diamonds or whatever it might be, but their fine jewellery is where they push the boundary. That's where they use the stones where access matters. When you make something out of this, and I'd love to know what you're making out of this, you're going to be making, by virtue of access to the stones you have here, fine jewellery, and that's such an exciting thing. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, what, sorry, which one? So that, 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 was the, that, was the teal, that was the teal green, and huge well done Absolutely if you're successful. Beautiful. Now, the other sapphire, I really want to shine a spotlight on. And again, I asked, I asked here today, I said, okay, I want to do a whole show of this because it's that newsworthy, a whole show of just one sapphire from one country. We've never, ever done that before here at Jewelry Maker. One sapphire, one country. They said, okay, well, you can do a whole show, but we've only got one strand. So I can't do a whole show. I could talk about this for an hour, but, but after about five minutes, they'd all have been sold out. This is, I want to talk to you about the legacy of Australian sapphire. Now, this, this is a gem which is, has had such, a, such an interesting past because you might be thinking, oh, Australian sapphire, that's incredibly new. I've never heard of that before, mm. or it's only a recent addition. Yes, but it's also an incredibly old source of sapphire. If you've ever been to a museum, um, a gemstone or a jewelry museum, and you've ever seen, in fact, the legacy of this gem is so interesting. The GIA themselves, that's the Gemological Institute of America, the foremost authority of gemstones, they did a whole field survey, a whole field survey, and this is the report, you can look at this online, see, literally seeking the legacy of Australian Sapphire. They sent their best people on this. They sent Andy Lucas, who's the, who, who is, in my view, the finest photographer of gemstones on the planet. And they also sent Vincent Pardieu, who is the most cutting edge gemstone explorer, um, right up there with the likes of Yanni Melas. Now, why are they having to look for the legacy of Australian Sapphire? Because if you've ever gone to those museums and you've ever seen the really fine grade sapphires from Cambodia, from Pailin in Cambodia, mm. or from Thailand, you've ever seen those really mm. museum worthy mm. sapphires? Well, this is what was happening. As you read that GI article, they will tell you in the 1970s and 80s, Australian sapphire production was happening. It had been happening for, before that, but it really hit its boom in the 70s and 80s. And all the sapphires in the world today, almost all of them, 99%, are cut in Thailand because Thailand is where the traditional center of cutting has been in the industry. Mm -hmm. And in the 70s and 80s, two things happened. Thai production, the mines production of Thai sapphire completely collapsed. They, were, they, they ran out, they were exhausted. But the Australian sapphire production came online. And Australian sapphires were, were being exported from Australia to Thailand to be cut. And we know that all this rough was going over to Thailand. And yet none of it was finding its way to the finished jewellery. None of it was cut. We're like, well, where are all these sapphires going? And the GIA article explains that actually all the material, all the fine, fine grade, the top grade. Now, you know when people talk about Thai sapphire and the quality that that associates, the Thais were renaming the sapphire. They were saying, no, no, this came from Thailand. And it didn't at all. So you go to your yeah, museums, you look around the jewellery industry and you see Pilin sapphire from Cambodia. You yeah. see some of the finest Thai sapphires. In museums, the chances are they're actually Australian, Australian sapphire. And it's only now, it's oh. only now, in literally the last few months, that Australian sapphires actually be getting the recognition and wow. therefore the value at appraisal, at sale, it's only be getting that recognition 
now. And that's why it's such a buying opportunity. We're going to open the phone lines for you. This is your Australian Sapphire. This is a brand oh. new strand to you. 25 carats mm. of, of certified Australian Sapphire. Certified, faceted Australian Sapphire. Wait, this is brand new, isn't it? No one's ever seen this before. Okay, so you might be thinking at home, rubbing your hands, going, excellent. I've, you know, there'll be a hundred of them. I've got chances. This is how rare this material is. For certified Australian Sapphire, and we have this because we literally went to the mine, by the way. We literally went over to Australia to the mine. It's called the Capricorn Mine. Um, we went to the mine. We have less than 30 of these. Less than wow. 30 of these. And it's strands. a brand new strand. It's never been seen it's before. It's never been seen before. It's brand new. This is your first chance to get certified Australian Sapphire. The quality of this material is absolutely extraordinary. It's also probably going to be your last chance. Because we went to the Capricorn Sapphire Mine 18 months ago. And that's how long it's taken us to acquire the stones to put this. We went all the way to Australia and only came back with 30 strands. So you can see how rare this gem is immediately. Wow. But the owner of this mine, the reason we were able to get such a good deal, this isn't your price, by the way, we are going again. Um, the, we got such a good deal on this material because the owner of the mine is a good friend of mine. His name is Anthony Brook. Um, he's uh, very famous in the ICA. That's the uh, International Coloured Stone Association. And he used to own the mine. He's just sold the mine to one of the biggest mining corporations on the planet. They're called Führer Gems, not in terms of like the, 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 uh, the leader of Germany circa 1940, Führer, F-U-R-A, Führer Gems, um, and go and do your own research. Whenever Führer Gems get involved in a stone like Mozambique Ruby, the price of that material soars every single time. Fewer Gems have just completed the acquisition of this material. So I can't go and buy it from my friend Anthony Brook anymore. I haven't got access. Remember, I told you the whole, whole reason we do this show is to give you access to certain gems. Mm. I haven't got access anymore. So that means that this really is such an exclusive strand. Buying this today, we probably would have to sell this for, if we buy it from Fiora at around £160. Because we have not bought this today, because I bought it from my friend Anthony Brook, because I had access, we're going to take £100 off that. And that's the difference wow. knowing the right people can make. £59.95 for the wow. first and possibly the last Austra certified Australian sapphire strand you're ever going to get. The code on this is MOS F30 5995. And again, you've got your certificate of authenticity yes. that oh, I'm looking over here um, that Jake's promised you on all of these items. And you've got the extended money back guarantee. I love the idea as well. I'd be really excited about feeling a little bit, yeah, smug's not a great word, but feeling smug um, and taking it to a jeweler to get it valued yeah. go and get it appraised with a certificate of authenticity that proves this australian sapphire well, that, that's absolutely right lucy you know jewelry ju typically 15 percent of the value of a colored stone lies in its provenance if it's got a particularly noteworthy provenance say that provenance happens to have been the subject of gia articles say that provenance happens to have the legacy that this stone does then that value is going to climb even more so when you make your piece of jewelry out of this or your pieces of jewelry because you're getting 25 carats here mm. your pieces of jewelry out of this and you do want to go and get them valued or you're talking to your clients tell them about the australian provenance tell them about how that adds value if you're going to an independent appraiser show them you don't have to pay extra for your for authenticity. It adds so much value here to this strand. I've said today, it's on me. I'm paying for that authenticity certificate for you. Take this to your appraiser. Take the authenticity and say, look, this is certified Australian sapphire. I know that makes a difference to the value. Tell me, how much is this piece of jewellery worth? Those are the kind of questions. When you know the provenance, when you have that, pro that origin like you have here, those are the kind of questions you can challenge your appraiser with. Mm. And just the fact as well, I mean, immediately from a jewellery making point of view, I'm thinking about the channel set rings. I think Alison Terry would do a stunning job of these, Claire McDonald, setting these into those beautiful channel sets. Um, but even just being able to space them out, getting perhaps some of the flex right sterling 95, sterling silver wire um, or the beading thread and utilising the finest quality of materials to use alongside this fine quality material of this incredible Australian sapphire. I just want to stress to you again that this is it. This is this is it. Yeah. This is it. This is it. This is what is it, Emma? This is it. This is it. This is it. Um, and we had less than thirty. When yeah. did we come here? With, 
When did we come here with a brand new strand and say we have less than 30 yeah. of them available? Amazing. The reality, that, that just tells you everything you need to know about how rare this material is, how irreplaceable it is. There are gems that I hope, as you're not, as gem investing on your behalf now and, and acquiring for you, there are gems I hope to bring to this channel. But this is not one of them moving forward. And uh, Well, I hope to. But I realise how much of a dashed hope that is. Huge well done mm. if you've got those. Mm. I'm really happy for you. Amazing, amazing. There are a couple of those still remaining if you want to um, confirm your purchase. Is that number eight by any chance? <sighs> oh, oh, my word. See, I love these. I absolutely love this. And the reason mm -hmm. for it is, well, take a look. And then we, I'm going to explain to you why... Everything you think you know is absolutely wrong, because you, you think this <laughs> is right. orange, you think this is orange sapphire. We're looking at this and saying it's orange sapphire. In fact, actually, we should bring the graphics in. We're certifying it as orange sapphire. But I want to introduce you to a stone that we've never had here on the channel and explain to you what the definition of that stone is. And then I'm going to ask you, with that information, to judge this strand. I'm hoping you're going to say what I think you're going to say. 20 carats here. And there is a gemstone. There is a sapphire, a type of sapphire called Padracha yes. Sapphire. <laughs> now, if you have never heard of this sapphire before, do not, do not beat yourself up. It is the most rare, the most, the most expensive sapphire on the planet and so few people ever have an opportunity to even see one of these sapphires. Do you know that is so uncanny because this morning Wayne and I were having a conversation on air about how we would love to be able to work with Pad Paracha Sapphire because well, we both have a history of it in fine jewellery. And, and you, you, you've hit the nail on the head that word. Paparacha Sapphire is fine jewellery. Yeah. Now what does Paparacha mean? It means the colour. Because this colour, paparaccia colour, now I'm not saying this is paparaccia or not, we're going to judge that together, you and I together. Paparaccia sapphire means it has to have one of two things. It has to have orange and pink. So it either has to have an orange body colour with flashes of pink, or it has to have a pink body colour with flashes of orange. Remember what I said? Orange body colour, flashes of pink. <laughs> Can you judge this material yourself? Now, you might be asking, well, hang on, is that enough pink? I'm going to again refer you to the secrets of the gem trade. Because this, is one, this gem is one of the biggest secrets of the gem trade. I'm going to show you literally one of the finest examples, a textbook, literally a textbook example of what Papadasha Sapphire looks like when it's faceted. So you can see how much pink you need for it to be Papadasha. And then I'm going to show you this incredible strand. And you tell me which has got more pinks in it. Here is two images of Papadasha Sapphire. One here and one here. Mm. It is literally a hint of pink that kicks it into Papadasha territory. That's all. It's just You're a not, warm orange, it, it, it? Literally, <laughs> it's just a hint of pink to kick it into. It's a secondary hue. Pink, a hint of pink to kick it into, into an orange. Now, take a look. Tell me, what has got more pinks in it? Orange body colour on both of them. Which has got more pinks in there? These or this? For me, it's an, abs it's an absolute... It, it, it's a stone wall for me. Um, and, the, and, the, and the reality is, I mean, you can literally see these flashes of pink coming out. Yeah, you can. The, the you reality really can. is that the buyer who bought this, I didn't buy this material, the buyer who bought this did an incredible job because they bought this as orange sapphire. And you've just never had someone... Look at the pinks there. Look yeah, at those sorry, pinks there. This is what I'm talking about. This, this is what I'm talking about. This material right now today... If I bought this as Papadasha strand, I can tell you now, we probably even wouldn't put it on there. We probably wouldn't put it on here. I can't buy a strand of Papadasha sapphire. Somebody has bought this as orange sapphire. They've paid an orange sapphire price tag. Wayne, how many of these have we got? 
nowhere near enough. We've got less than 50 of these strands available. I'm telling you now, your, your Cifical Authenticity is going to say orange sapphire because that's what these were bought as. 20 carats of orange sapphire. But as we judge this today, this morning, you can see it's got the secondary pinks and therefore, it, in my view, I'm looking at this and I'm judging it. What do you think? What are you judging this as at home? Now, if this were bought as a Papadasha Sapphire Strand, you're looking at thousands. I'll say, quick question. If you then go and get this independently valued, yeah. I, do you, you know don't what? have to take your certificate of authenticity. Say, on this, don't take the authenticity yeah. certificate. This is one of those few times I'm going to say it. Don't yeah. take the authenticity certificate. Let them judge. Yeah. Let the yeah. appraiser judge. They should see, if, they, if they're worth their salt, they should be able to pick up those secondary pinks for you. Yeah. That, no. is, that is absolutely astonishing. I remember when I first saw my first ever paparaccia sapphire and um, I was told about its, gets its, name, its comparison to a lotus flower and it's those colours of the, of the oranges with the flashes of the pinks and it is. I, oh. Wayne, can you bring 39.95 on the screen <laughs> for orange sapphire that has a pink hue and now you know the difference of what... That means. Now, we have previously bought this strand for you as an orange sapphire strand, not explaining the true value of the stones, not explaining the true value of the gems. We brought it for you at $39.95. We, we've essentially just infinitely raised the value of the stone by pointing out those pink hues. I'm going to go one further. Let's take another £10 off as well. So not only do you now know the true value of the strand, you're getting it for a better value than you've ever seen before. Less than £30 for what is orange sapphire strand with a pink flash. And those in the know, well, when you know, you know. And look. I can tell you, I'm not going to bring you Papadasha sapphire strands. Because if I buy it as Paparasha Sapphire, I'm paying thousands and you're paying thousands. This is as close as we are going to go. Who, do you know what, who's a savvy buyer? That's the question right now. Who is getting the same deal that our buyer did at home? And we've got Yvonne, lots of anonymous shoppers, Gillian, Stuart, Ted, hi darling, um, Catherine, Anne, Jackie, Dawn, Carol, Antoinette, Sujay, Amanda, Kim, Alan, Mary, Joan, Marilyn, Anne, Patricia, Glenda, Rebecca, Susan, Annette, another Annette there as well, Tracy, Susan, Jonathan, Fiona, Angela, Tracy, Paula, Lynn. I haven't even read out the amount of anonymous collectors that we've got there in Nottinghamshire in West Midlands, um, in Kent, in, uh, oh gosh, in Leicestershire, in the West Midlands, in Suffolk, in Nottinghamshire. I don't, we're not going to have enough to go around everybody. If you've got this in your basket, you need to check out right now. We've got 24 people with these in their basket, then we've got four left. Good luck. This is, it's the pinks that push the value here. An or orange sapphire strand at £30 is amazing, amazing value. An orange sapphire with secondary pink hues, and now you and I know what that means, listening to the secrets of the gem mm. trade, it means pad paracha. That is what drives this. Mm. It takes it from an incredible wow. value to an impossible deal. Huge Sold well out. done if you're successful. Sold out. Well Sold done. Out. Where to next? Now, sticking with the fancy sapphires... Oh, I adore this. I, we, we, that's what Papadasha Sapphire is. It's a fancy sapphire. Take a look at this. I love this next one because this is, a, just, this is exploring the whole range that you can get in the sapphire family. Love, love, love this strand. You've got here beautiful pinks. Look at the saturation of the pinks going right up, just stopping. If you've ever wondered, okay, well, at what point does it cease to be a pink sapphire and, and start to become a ruby? Well, that's the point right there on screen yeah. for you right now. But I love this because you're getting everything. You are getting here pinks, both the neon pink and the baby pink. The baby pink is what brought Yanni Melas onto the world stage, by the way, so that's an incredibly important colour. You're getting beautiful blues. You're getting the teals. Yeah. You're getting the canaries. Can you see those bright yellows? We're going to come yeah. on to it. We'll talk about those a little bit more later on. I've got a stone for you that's going to match those to perfection. You're also, by the way, you are getting more pad paracha here in this strand. Yeah. Um, if you want to know where they are, um, take a look just to the right of the MasterCard. You can see almost a teal, teal green, blue hue. And then work your way, the next oh. block. Uh, let's stop there. Yeah, right there. Those two rounds there, I, I'd be happy to certify right now today as pad paracha hue. Straight off the bat. Um, and they are all faceted material. You are getting 20 carats the full range of what 
sapphire can do for yeah, you. Yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. AXRU56. That is a stunning strand. So they go from a 3 by one up to a 4 by one and that's eight centimetres from gemstone to gemstone, excluding the uh, strands there. I love the cut of those as well because it, it goes to show how sparkly sapphire can yeah. be if it's cut pr correctly. Uh, absolutely. You know, we are talking here about fine gems. You've got in this strand, you've got your teal greens, You've got your pad productions, you've got your baby pink, you've got your neon pink, you've got your blues, you've got canary, you've got everything. You've got the full rainbow of what fine sapphire can offer for you. Mm. The faceting really pushes the grid here. You've got natural purple sapphires coming through as well. Absolutely oh, wow, yeah. exquisite yeah. to see those. Now, previously, collectors and crafters have paid $39.95 for this strand. But I appreciate this is only my third time here. I've got to earn your trust. I've got to work hard for your trust, and thank you for welcoming me on the show. Um, so, for today, today only, and I'm not going to come back and do this again at this price. This is genuinely just a, a, a close-out deal for you on the Sapphire Strand that gives you everything. That gives you your Papadasha, gives you your teal green, gives you your blue still, gives you absolutely everything. Wait, we're going to half the price. $19.95 for this morning only. <laughs> It just that, and it is the huge variety of being able to use these stones. And maybe think about if you got the loose stones from earlier as well in the deal of the day, how you could incorporate those to be set perhaps as little pear drops or something. Um, tinkering around in that design, they are absolutely sublime. My friends in the trade. Um, who, who are watching this show because Hong Kong shows cancelled mm. too soon. This mm. is the only now. This is now the only show in the world that you can get things at trade prices. This is this replaces Hong Kong. It replaces Bangkok as the biggest gem fair in the world. They have never seen sapphire at literally one pound a carat. One yeah. pound a carat doesn't yeah. happen anywhere in the trade. Um, if I if I come to come to the gem guide. Um, and I take, I, I take, pick, pick a colour. What's the most prominent colour? Probably the pinks here, I'd yeah. say, yeah? Would that be fair? Okay, let me show you the lowest, the lowest say, pink sapphire has ever traded for. The lowest pink sapphire is trading for in today's market is 35 US dollars a carat, and that's for commercial grade material. Personally, I don't grade this as commercial grade material. This no. is much more, um, I'd say, upper commercial or even this here. Three, and this is conservative valuations. $300 a carat. What other colours have we got in here? We've got some beautiful greens. Let's come over. If I flip it round, you've got here. For green sapphire, again, of that kind of similar grade, you're talking $100 a carat for this material. We're at a pound a carat today. Orange sapphire. We just had an orange sapphire strand, didn't we, as well? Mm. It's really had pink flashes, so you know what that means. Um, here, we've got some oranges in this one, though. 225 a carat. This is what we're talking about here. We are at a pound a carat, and that is why this is the biggest show in the world in terms of trading stones right now. We don't have a trade show. The jewellery trade's lost its trade show, so I'm doing this to help out my friends in the trade. Well done. We've got a lot of anonymous uh, collectors buying today, Jake. <laughs> I wonder how many of them um, are my buddies who don't want to let in that they're, that they're now getting involved. We, we've well, well got done. a lot, a lot. Um, okay, which one's so lovely? So we've just, we've just had some pink sapphires there. Mm. I want to offer you an opportunity to get a certified faceted pink sapphire next. Now this is from, this is from my vault. This material is absolutely top, top gem. Hardly got any of these. Hardly got any of these. Rain, remind me how, exactly how many came out of our vault? Less than 20 opportunities for you for faceted top, top gem pink sapphire. Just beautiful. Third of a carat minimum. It's a calibrated pair as well. Six by four millimeters. Why, why does calibrated matter? It means it's much, much easier for you to use, much easier for you to set. So that's, that's why I wanted to share that with you. Calibrate, and you do pay a little bit more for calibrated stones in the trade, not today. And it's a calibrated pink sapphire. What I'm going to share with you is exactly the trade value of this gem. Okay, so, this material, Lucy, can I get a 1 out of 10 rating? You're looking at it in the flesh there. 10. You're saying 10 out of 10? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit more harsh. <sighs> I'm going to say 9 out of 10, okay? And, if, sorry, if we come over here, sorry, I'm darting all over the place. If you've, never, if you've never seen this book before, this is the Gem Guide. This is the Independent Market Information, Dealer to Dealer Pricing, Corundum Pink Sapphire. 
Now, yours has been heat treated here. Yeah. I'm showing you the right table. Because if I look, come down here, there is a corundum pink sapphire unenhanced. Okay. Okay. So I, you, I, I'm not trying to tell you, oh, this is it. Well, this is, this is I'm not giving you the pricing for 100% for natural. I'm yeah. Saying, and, and the reason we heat it, by the way, that turns it from almost, it, it drives away some of the lavender hues. So it can have, it's lavender and pink, and it drives away the lavender hues, giving you a much more pure pink. Okay. Uh, and that's why, so two different value tables for two different stones. I'm taking the table that literally, I'm over-disclosing here, literally tells you exactly the value of this gem. Now, carrot weight, we're looking at a third of a carrot, and you said 10 out of 10. Well, I'm going to say 9 out of 10. So we're looking around 8 hundred dollars even if you, you know what, even if we say seven out of ten which absolutely isn't seven hundred dollars a carrot so that makes this around about a 225 pound stone two three hundred pound stone i'm gonna say 29.95 today for a certified third of a carrot there are hardly any of these available we started with 17 i can tell you We've got 10 of these already spoken for. Thank you so much for your trust. It means the world to me. Look at that. Did I say something? Right, I'm going to revise that. <laughs> um, I'm going to revise that. This is nowhere near a 7 out of 10. I even feel 9 out of 10 is really harsh for this material. That's amazing. Right even by my standards, 9 out of 10 um, is incredibly we harsh. We have an anonymous shop. We've got one of our regular shoppers in New York. We have an anonymous shopper in New York joining us, Jake. Ashish, is that you? Ashish is um, one of the biggest Tanzanite and Sapphire dealers in the world. Ashish, if it's you, uh, it, it's great to have you. Good morning, buddy. Um, you're an early riser, 7 a.m. So it's not even 7 a.m. in New York. Early bird catching Got the deal. Got one of our regulars in New York. That's, that's gone. That's gone. That's well gone. done. Huge, huge congratulations. Now, this is our final faceted sapphire of the show. Final cut, complete cut faceted sapphire. We're going to continue exploring sapphire because I love this gem. and We know the value and worth of sapphire. We are going next to a huge, probably the biggest canary yellow sapphire I'm ever going to be able to source for you. And again, I'm going to talk you through what the gem guide valuation is. Now, these valuations, in fact, actually, since I'm talking to you, I just want to dive into what this book really means. It's an industry, it's a trade journal. And, and, and you can literally see here, they say it is the industry leader for pricing and market information. It's, it's market driven, that means they research what the stones are selling at the time in the gemstone market. Dealer to dealer, this is not, this is not um, collector's price, this is wholesale price, and it's all independent pricing. This is March, April's edition. So this is what these stones are trading for in the trade today. I'm gonna come over, because there is, there is literally a table for yellow sapphire. Yeah, Here I keep we are. talking jokes, I'm just opening the box. <laughs> Take a look. Corundum, yellow sapphire. And this is a huge, huge gem. We are well over half a carat on your gem. In fact, you're closer to a carat. You're at 90 points, but it does fall into this bracket. Absolutely exquisite. So we're going to follow that yellow, that white line across. And as we work our way through our qualities, now this grade is kind of your cabochon grade around here. Typically cab grade. Possibly cabochons up here. Faceting will start to happen around this $365 a carat mark. And it can go for up to $600 a carat. Again, there is a separate table for the completely natural material. Um, th th but this one here has been heated, so again, I'm showing you, completely transparently showing you what is, the, what is the market value, not for stones like this, for this stone. And it is up to $620 oh, a carat. I mean... Now, because it's a really valuable stone, it's essentially a lot to oh, involved. Oh, and Lucy was spending that I would time recommend when you get yours home, if you just literally get a pen knife and go all the way around, you'll be in and it'll be fine because then it will release. I just didn't have anything sharp no, to open uh, up the they, seal. They tape it up. They tape it up because we want these stones swapped during, um, during shipping. That's what it's for. Really? So, so, yes, yeah, so, so you know that it's, that it's really secure. That's why we do it. Um, so, so that, and that talks to the value of this gem. Again, calibrated. It's huge in its size. It's 7 by 5 Now, judge this one together. 20 out, out of 10. Out of 10, 20. what are you <laughs> giving this? Out of 10 for a canary yellow sapphire. Oh, my goodness me. Absolutely extraordinary quality here. 
You see, I look at that and I think, does it get better than that? Can it get better than that? And I can't see how it could. Wayne, we're going to go straight down on this. Call me crazy. $29.95. Let's match the price. This is about buying your trust. I'm shameless with it. <laughs> I, want you to be, I want you to be crafting fine jewellery. I want you to be working with the stone, working with this material, learn new techniques and push your jewellery to the next level. Lucy, again, I've gobsmacked you. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, on everything I hold dear to me, I am I'm literally gobsmacked in the show today. I'm so, for, we've got so many people who miss out. So I'm many people who missed sorry out. Sorry to those who missed out. Genuinely, I am. But huge well done these, to those these who are amazing. Oh, do you know what? This next one has been literally like, buy me, buy me, buy me. The whole show. It is. This, this for me, has captured my jewellery making and appreciation of gemstones. Yeah. Part because, uh, you know. But it's a I've, fine strand. It, oh. This is top, top, top gem material. Absolutely exquisite. Okay. Um, what's it classified as? Are we, is this another orange sapphire? Yeah. Do you know what? I think this would really work well with that canary sapphire yeah. we just, we oh, just yeah. brought you, actually. Absolutely exquisite. Um, Wayne, how many of these do we have? 25 strands, that's it. Okay, um, let's go 19.95. First 25 collectors available. Lots of you missing out. This is fine, fine sapphire we're bringing you. 18 carats of graded and different shades. We're saying orange, but you're also getting canary yeah. yellows in there as well. Amazing. But am I not seeing some pink flashes in some of those oranges as well? Am I not? You poss possibly you are. And, and that's, that's the thing about Pampadasha. It's about grading the stone you see in your eyes. It's about, that's the, how, that is the Pampadasha grade. That's how you grade it. Has it got orange? Has it got secondary pinks? I'm blown away with the incredible canaries that we're getting here as well. And I can, there's a strand forming in my mind. There's a beautiful piece forming in my mind that uses this, uses that canary sapphire mm. that we just brought you together, marrying the two together mm. in an incredible concert. Huge well done. Making fine, fine sapphire jewellery. Amazing. To, who, who can say that? Beautiful. Um, we've got... Blue sapphire drops here, um, which I know is going to be so appealing to so many people out there, particularly for those of us who like just very delicate style of jewellery. But also, I know that this is a big appeal to the bridal market for the something blue because it can be a little token, something in your jewellery that then can move into a more collectible piece um, later today. Or people like Linda has expressed with strands like this before, sew it into the wedding dress and at a later date it then becomes a piece of jewellery. Um, and it is so precious. You see, I look at this and I think, what an amazing family heirloom that you could be making. Yeah, I mean, the, the possibilities with this are literally endless. I know a lot of de jewellery designers at the minute are using these to go at the back of a, of a piece of jewellery. Yeah. So dropping it, with, you know, whatever, whatever you've got on the, the back of the necklace chain. or pendant yeah. on the extended chain, pop this on the back of it mm. and, and, and it just looks absolutely mm. exquisite. 52 carats of genuine certified sapphire here. Do you know what? I'm going to just I've not done all show. Let's go 9.95. Let's let's go to 10 pounds. We've not done it all show. Let's open the 10 pound. Let's open the 10 pound barrier. Let's go past it. 9.95 for over 50 carats of blue sapphire. Just go for it. For goodness sake. <laughs> um, and I don't want to sound sycophantic or anything, but how amazing is it that we can give all this information, we've got all this knowledge, and there's absolute true transparency of the lack of greed within the well, group. Well, this, this, is, this is why 10 years ago, when I started Gemstone Investing, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted a lot of people in the jewellery industry, they take this knowledge, they, they buy at the right price, they take this knowledge, mm. knowing what it does to the end market price, and they go, okay, fine. I will then make that margin in a single go. That's not what this show's about. This is about you. If you're a micro business, this is your opportunity to make that margin. So mm. I'm saying, here's all the information. We've bought it at a great price. Here's all the information. We're giving you that information so that you can give it to your clients. You can give it to your family. You can give it to your friends. You know you're making jewelry with certified stuff like that. We, we started with 60 Sold of those. Gone. No? Gone. Oh my goodness me. Wow. Huge congratulations. Which one, sorry? Oh yeah, this is lovely. And I'm just, I just want to hit back on something else that 
um, you just said before that I think is going to be incredibly useful for lots of us out there who make jewellery and particularly for so this is to those of you who have a business with these high-end pieces now knowing what you're learning from Jake have absolute confidence I'm taking what you said about pricing yourself as your highest priced piece of jewelry. If you have an Etsy shop, if you have an online shop, if you have an eBay shop, if you just do a Facebook shop, whatever you have, if you have an actual physical shop, why not create from these pieces a flagship piece of jewelry that people get that confidence, you can photograph your certificate of authenticity yeah. and use these pieces today to set, to set that bar of how you're deemed to be well, as a jeweler. Well take this strand, this strand you're going to have certified Ceylon Sapphire. Oh, wow. This, this strand, this strand here, features Sapphire from the same source as Princess Diana's engagement ring, which is now, Princess, uh, which is now the Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Kate's engagement ring. This is the same source. And remember, provenance matters. If there was ever a, a strand where mm. the value of that authenticity certificate is there, Remember, that's, that's on me today. I'm saying I'm paying for your authenticity certificate. You're going to get that, and you're going to get an authenticity certificate that's telling you Sri Lankan origin. That is Ceylon Sapphire material mm. here. And you know the price tags. I've told you 15% of the value of a piece of jewellery lies alone. Take everything else out. At least 15% lies in its origin. When you have a historical provenance like Ceylon, then that's even more so. Absolutely incredible. How many of these do we have when? 82, okay, um, I, I, I know that everyone's keen to, to go to a break soon. 12.95, literally pricing it to sell out in a couple of minutes. Ceylon Sapphire Blue Sapphires. And you've got the whole shades here. You've got the incredible cornflower blues. You, remember I told you about the white sapphires that I got my friend as an engagement ring? I was about to just say, the white some, sapphire, got, yeah. It's close to pure corundum, that white sapphire here. Yeah. Then we go through the cornflowers, then you've got your incredible ultramarines, mm. through to your royal blues, and then finally finishing off in your midnight blues. The full spectrum of what Ceylon can give you for twelve ninety five. Absolutely extraordinary. It's amazing. It's going to sell out. If you've got it in your basket, check your baskets out immediately. Thank you again for your patience on the phone lines. Just press the option one. You're answered in the order that you've called in and press that option one. Best of luck to all of you. AFRU15 655 is the telephone number that you need. It's a free phone number and we are about to sell out. Well done. Ev everyone who at home today is excited about, and this is something to be excited about, the prospect of making salon sapphire jewelry yeah oh yeah. my goodness me how exciting for you this is really i mean the idea you are making salon sapphire jewelry that puts you in um, in, in the i'll it's tell you a little known fact actually um princess diana's engagement ring actually came out of a catalogue what yeah that wasn't bespoke design and made it was, it was, out, it was out of the catalogue little known fact I don't think it was that catalogue. <laughs> no. Well, goodness me. Yeah. And yeah, a, a little bit of a, a little bit of jewelry trivia there for you. Well, on that bombshell, we're going to go and <laughs> brew up, and we'll see you for more bombshells on but the other side of this. On, yeah? on the other side of this, we've got some incredibly, incredibly special stuff lined up for you. Um, I, I, I want to stick around because I'm not going anywhere. Good, I'm not going to Knowing go what there. we have got coming up. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be really... The next 55 minutes, um, someone messaged in last week um, and said, um, oh my goodness me, thank goodness one o'clock's come around. Jake's going and I'm breathless. Um, I hope... Uh, I, 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 because of the deals. Um, oh my goodness, what have I just said? What have I just said? Roll the brake. Roll the brake. <laughs> Jewelrymaker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelrymaker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelrymaker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. 
If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Join me at 10 o'clock every morning live on YouTube. Simply go to Primal Living's channel and you'll see our new Food Bank Show. Now the Food Bank Show is basically what it says on the tin. We're trying to raise money for food banks across the UK that more than ever need our support. At the same time, in every show, I'll be joined by doctors and nutritionists that are going to help us reshape the food that we eat because maybe there's a bit of a silver lining for our health right now. All of the restaurants are shut. The McDonald's, the Subway, the Greggs, they're all closed. So we've got to change our eating habits anyway. But with the advice of some of the world's leading doctors, some of the world's leading nutritionists, I'm gonna help you reshape the food that you're consuming and hopefully boost your immune system to get through this very difficult time. You're watching Jewelry Maker this afternoon, and this is Jake Thompson, who is our um, in-house, because we're part of the Gem Poria group, once again. Sorry, I'm all tangled up with my wires. <laughs> Meant to eat a piece of chicken. Um, gemstone investor, and gemstone expert, and gemstone buyer, gemstone hunter. He's out there actively in the thick of, usually, obviously in the current situation, um, not I'm so grounded. much. I'm grounded. It's the are, longest I've spent in the UK for years. I know, years. how is your wife feeling about this? She's a bit uh, like, no, come no. on. Off your pot. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's probably getting fed up with me now. <laughs> uh, the kids are loving it. Um, so, no, it's, it's the longest time I've been here. And I want to use this time, really, to, to join you and essentially give you access to the gemstone information I know. So I'm in the trade. I'm operating in the market all of the time. I want to try and use this time to help you, inform you, to give you access to the information about what's moving in the market, what's selling well, where the opportunities to buy are. Share that with you so that you can be making jewellery um, that's of the highest calibre. Because and I've said it before, I don't mind saying it again, I passionately believe, I do believe that the only difference between, between the, you so far and the, and, and the likes of Harry Winston, Lawrence Graff, who's an incredible jewellery visionary, the only difference between, between you and those kind of icons is access. Access to stones and access to the information about where the mm. opportunities lie. 
And if I can bridge that for you, I do believe that, 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 that there's got to be at least one, maybe even two or three of you who can be the next Harry Winston, the next Charles Lewis Tiffany, and drive the industry forward in a completely new direction. That's yeah. incredibly exciting for me. Uh, and and it, might, it might seem a, a world away right now, but that access can give you, can give you potential. Now, so many um, of you acquiring Sapphires, so many of you live in the shaf- Sapphires. We've just had Mark Jackson run down. I've just said to him, look, uh, Mark Jackson's our manager director. I just said, look, scour the vault. I want the best Sapphire deals we can do. We're going to make your sapphire jewellery happen today. Uh, and he's just brought back a, an absolute incredible deal. Even I'm quite taken aback by this one. We've just so far been bringing you one strand at a time. Mm-hmm. Two strands together. Two strands. So you're getting double the carrot weight. Take a look at this. This is just the consistency of the blue throughout this blows me away. I've been to Magok. There are so few people on the planet who can say that. Talking of access and the value that that gives you, I've been to Magok. I've been to the most exclusive valley on the planet where the finest rubies, the finest spinels, and the finest sapphires are mined. Now, when I went to Burma, I was able to acquire some rubies. And actually, we're going to be bringing you some rubies in a couple of auctions' time. I'm going to be bringing you some rubies from my trip to Burma. But I can stand here and I can tell you today, I didn't come back with a single Burmese sapphire stone. The value of this material was simply too high. I mean, I can tell you what Burmese sapphire trades for in the, in, in the gem guide. If you're just joining us, this is a trade publication, completely independent. It's to inform dealers what the going rate, the wholesale price for gemstones are in the trade right now. You can see that there, gem guide, market-driven, independent pricing. Now, as I come, to the, to the sapphire section, what you'll notice actually when it turns blue sapphire like this, they talk about origin a lot. So I told you up to 15% of the value of your jewellery mm. is entirely dictated by where you're getting the stones from. Certain stones, that number climbs dramatically. This is one of them. Because look at this. We just had a salon. We just had salon sapphire a yeah. month ago. Yeah. Salon gets its own value chart. So too... I flip this round and we come down to the bottom, does oh, well. Burma. Burma has its own value chart. And even in the smallest sizes, you get 36 carats of Burmese sapphire here. My goodness. Even in the smallest sizes, this material can trade for up to $4,000 a carat. Well, up to $5,000 a carat. If we take the lowest price in the market today, the lowest price you can get Burmese sapphire for, you'll understand why I walked away from Burma completely empty-handed. $150 per carat. I can't make that number any smaller. I can't mm-hmm. lower the grade. I can't lower the, smart, the size. The minimum price you can pay per carat for certified Burmese sapphire is $150 a carat. So, excuse me, I'm just going to use my phone for the calculator on it. 150 times 36 cert- carats of certified Burmese sapphire, you're looking at over $5,000. Wow. If I put that into pounds, uh, exchange rate today is about 1.25. Over 4,000 pounds of sapphire in your hands right now, Lucy. And that, those prices per carat is why I've got no shame in telling you. I walked away from Burma. I walked away from Burma. Sorry, 72. Yeah, because you get that twice over. I That's thought 36. 36 was between the two. No, 36 per strand. So it's two times. thousand pounds of sapphire. Because that's I'm, I'm all right with that. And that's why I've got no shame in telling you, I walked away from Burma without a single Burmese sapphire stone. Um, Wayne, I could, I could travel literally all the way to the most exclusive valley on the planet and I still can't get value like this. £34.95. What, for both of them? For both, what, oh, both strands. Not, not per carat. <laughs> I mean, if it was 30, but seriously, if it was thirty-five pound a carat, we're still about a third of the dealer to yeah. dealer price. Yeah. You're getting seventy-two <laughs> carats. 
I honestly, I can tell you now, I can go all the way to Burma. I can't get you a deal that touches this price right now. Can I now. just confirm everyone's going to get a certificate of authenticity for these as well? You are going to get a certificate of authenticity. It's going to certify that Burmese provenance. Mined from the Magok Valley in Burma. This is, this is the deal of the show, I think, um, coming in. Per carat, you look at the value in the trade compared to the value on screen. This is the deal of the show. Unbelievable. That is absolutely incredible. And look at the length of it. So it's um, 38, 38. When have we ever had a 38 centimetre strand of sapphire anyway? So 38 centimetres from gemstone to gemstone. And you get that twice over. Look at the depth of that colour, that integrity of that colour. Everything that you've been saying about the deep blues. They are beautiful. And they go from a one by one up to a three. Hmm. I that big to differ. I think some of those are a bit bigger than a three by two. Um... There's only five of these opportunities remaining. I've got loads of you with these in the baskets. Excuse me one second. Oh, sorry, folks. Just struggling with a little bit of the old hay fever today. Sold out there. They're gorgeous. Well, well, done. Amazing. there's going to be lots of you missing. Amazing. Out. Huge, huge congratulations to those who've just acquired. I went very quiet there because, quite honestly, I almost don't want to be associated with that Burmese price yeah. per carat. It's so, so good value. Um, well done. Now, we've hardly got any of these. We're essentially closing out our sapphire right now um, in the vault. Take a look at this next strand. It is exquisite. Absolutely beautiful. 40 carats. Huge in its size. Absolutely enormous. All of them faceted. Again, this is Burmese material. Certified Burmese material. I went all the way to Magok. All the way to Magok for this material. We're going to go straight down on this. Uh, how many do we have, Wayne? 52. Uh, 52 of you can have Burmese sapphire. And I've been to the Magok Valley and I couldn't get this. Burmese sapphire for £10. 9 95 Certified. I don't it will get be it. certified. Burmese <laughs> sapphire. And um, honestly, neither do I. I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't understand I how don't this is get possible. It. I've been to the Magok Valley, but do you know what? It's there. It's 9.95. Um, and if we never do that again, at least you will know you've got that strand. Even if you, even if you just hang it up in your little workshop, you hang it up in your office, wherever you it is you craft. You hang it up in your, your office, and you don't work with this for a year. I can promise you now, in 12 months, I'm not going to be able to bring you a Burmese sapphire strand for £10. It doesn't happen. How do I know? I've been to Magok. I've been to the mine where this material's mined, and I can't get it for this value. So however long it takes you to use that, that uh, however long you store it for, best of luck, because when you choose to use it, very fine material. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It, yeah. Honestly, it is irreplaceable value there. I, I cannot get this material for you at this price. Um, how many more have we got left there, Wayne? That's okay, it's only ten left. Well, what are you going to do with this material? What jewellery are you going to make that you tell your clients or your family or your friends mm. or you, you tell your appraiser, look, here it is, this is the wonderful piece of jewellery I've crafted for you. They're blown away by the quality. And then you go, okay, here's the certificate of authenticity that testifies to that Burmese provenance that testifies to this being one of the most fine pieces of jewellery crafted. So, I've got a question. Yes. Um, when you go into a jeweller's, yes. will the jewellers have that magazine? Quite probably, yes. So they many, will then be able to value... I would imagine any appraiser worth their salt is using this. Okay. Any appraiser worth, okay. worth their salt. Because they've got to be asking themselves, OK, well, the, Burmese sapphire, to get certified Burmese sapphire, most, de most jewellers don't stock that. You'll notice that. Most jewellers won't stock that. Mm. And so they'll be asking themselves, OK, if you ask the question, how much to make a like-for-like -like piece, they'll have to go, OK, Burmese sapphire. I've never really bought that before. Let me go to the industry trade publication. How much is Burmese sapphire a carat? OK, the minimum I'm going to get it for is $150 a carat. And then they have to work out their labour and everything mm -hmm. else on top of that because provenance has value. That's the end of our sapphire. Now, I promised you, I promised you um, we're going to be talking about fine jewellery. I promised you we're going to be going, working our way through the big three, through those precious gems. We have one opportunity and one only for emeralds today. There's not lots of opportunities. There's not lots of cut stones coming up, no faceted stones coming up. We have one and one strand only in the emerald. Um, 
This is it, but my goodness me, it is stunning. From the Kajem Emerald Fields of Zambia, this is the emerald that really has recaptured the world's love affair for this gem. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. And I just want to tie a few things up and different thoughts that are going around my head that you might be thinking as well. Um, so we're talking about valuations. I'm very aware some people out there are thinking and using this opportunity while we're in lockdown to start businesses. And we're talking about then going to take when we can do, we can go out to jewellers and then go and get independent valuations and you'll have your certificate of authenticity. So you'll be powered with that. You'll be powered with the quality of the stone that you're getting from here. And you'll also be empowered and powered by the jewellers having that magazine. And the thing that's striking me when I look at this strand is Jan Dwyer. Jan Dwyer is our pearl and gemstone expert. Yeah. She makes jewellery um, use, usually using pearls and then would insert one of these stones. Pearls, one of these stones. Oh my God. She sells her jewellery to jewellers. Do, do you know what's really interesting? Um, Charlie Barron, who you've met once before, yeah, yeah, a good yeah. friend of yeah. mine, um, who I brought here to, to bring to be your saltwater pearl expert. Yeah. Um, Charlie and I do exactly that same thing. For, for not not necessarily for Gem, Gems TV, for wholesale. We will we will take very fine pearls and we'll interspace them literally an inch apart and we call it Pearls by the Yard and it's top, top, top grade pearl, top, top, top grade gems, top grade pearl, top grade gems, top grade pearl and it's one of our top selling wholesale designs. And um, absolutely, it's the right thing to do. This material, this, I told you before, what is the difference between you and the likes of Carl Fabergé? Well, one, Carl Fabergé is no longer with us because he was a jeweller at the turn of the 20th century. But um, what is the other difference? The difference is the Fabergé jewel house, the Fabergé jewel house worked with Zambian emeralds. Okay. Almost exclusively. Not Colombian, Zambian emeralds. Fabergé the jewellers is owned by Gemfields. This is one of the big secrets of the trade. I didn't know that. Yeah. Fabergé the jewellers is owned by Gemfields. So, Gemfields are the people who mine this. They operate a yeah. mine in Zambia. It's called the Kargem Mine. It's the biggest emerald mine in the world. Where do you think that Gemfields, the owner of the Kargem Mine, where do you think they find amazing quality emeralds? Where do you think they take their best emeralds? They don't sell them onto the market. Okay. They go and take it to the jeweler they now own, Fabergé. And so, all those fine wow. emeralds that you've seen in Fabergé jewellers... That is Zambian Emerald. I promise you at the beginning of the show, access to stones, access to information that allowed you to compete with the finest of wow. the fine. Here you have it. The same emerald, the same source, the same provenance of emerald as Fabergé are working with. So £129 for over 11 carats of this material mm. when you're working with the same source material as Fabergé. That is good, good value. I want to go first of all, I want to take us first of all to 59.95. Because from 129.95, stop it. Those of you who have paid £130 before, I told you, that is good value. Mm. Because this is the emerald that Fabergé work with. This is literally the same emerald that Fabergé work with. I'm stopping here at £60. Because there are those of you who got an amazing deal at sixty pounds, and when perhaps you didn't know that Fabergé thing, so sixty pounds for no. eleven carats of, of Zambian emerald is incredible value. Yeah, sixty pounds for over eleven carats of the same source of Fabergé emerald is extraordinary. But we're not stopping there today. You're not paying one hundred and thirty pounds like some have in the past. You're not paying sixty pounds like some have in the past. Today we're going to go thirty nine ninety five. Less than £50, taking even more off. You could stop at 49 95 For the same source of emerald, the provenance of Fabergé, you're getting here £40. This is just amazing. And I would just like to, uh, well, actually, if I could see the course. Yeah, congratulate. I really want to congratulate everyone who's getting this. Um, it's £39.95. And I, um, also, I've met the Gemfields... Um, Teams, oh, some of the teams. Yeah, it, um, over, in Air Bottle, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, they came to one of the balls That's a few right. years yeah, ago yeah. as so, well that yeah. we'd organised. And we, that is something that Jewelry Maker is going to become a part of again. We're going to be having yes, the balls and things and that. get people to, to be in contact. So you can meet 
these incredible people that are in the thick of the industry and if you're really lucky you might even be able to meet Jake. Oh, um, I'd love to, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> no, I think it'd be great, we're going to be having some open days, we've got yeah. all sorts of things planned, it's going to be incredibly, incredibly exciting. And um, to get that for 39.95, that's absolutely extraordinary, I, again with your certificate of authenticity. I'm, I'm just, a yeah, exactly, certificate of authenticity, mm. certifying Zambian Emerald, so you know, as you craft with this material, you know you're working with the same emeralds that the jewellers of Fabergé are working with. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know what? Let's take another £10 off. We're going to take £29.95. Why am I doing that? Because I've got lots of things I want to bring you. We want quick auctions. Two minutes or sell out. Absolutely incredible. £30 for the same emerald that Fabergé get to work with. This is, uh, this is ludicrous, 29.95. Can I just stress to you as well that we had um, a pure nine carat uh, yellow gold chain on this morning. Just a few of these on that, on a solid gold chain. Just and that's in the, uh, the, yeah, absolutely. Space it out through these, or like you say, set these, set pearls in between it. Set, work with this however you can, mm. but knowing that you have the opportunity to work with certified Zambian Emerald of the highest grade. I mean, we're looking they in, looking in at the saturation. They've all been faceted. They've all got incredible saturation of colour. And Zambian is one of the few sources of emerald where the colour comes from vanadium rather than chromium. That's why jewellers like Fabergé are picking up on this material. That's why they're choosing. They take this top colour. They take this incredible neon green life that this material brings them, and they're making jewellery that is literally creating headlines around the world. Can I just say a particular hello to, we've got two brand new people that have just joined us who've never shot from us before. The warmest of welcome to you and we are going to send you, um, for everybody who's new with us today, we're going to send you a complimentary DVD with all the essential techniques for jewellery making and also two complimentary genuine gemstone strands that have been chosen at random. So not only for £29.95 are you getting a Zambian Emerald, it's only one post and packaging price for if you purchase all day. For new shoppers you're also getting your DVDs and of course you getting those genuine gemstone strands additionally as well have a look on the website take advantage and keep adding on to your order because i would say if you're getting that have a look have a look around on the website and see what pearls um you'd like to work with yeah well um, done huge congratulations and and i think it's amazing if you bought in that one you've literally saved a hundred pounds compared to where we've seen it, previously seen that strand so amazing amazing opportunity um uh, we've got now two. coming up next um <laughs> We've just seen how quickly when we offered you two strands of Burmese sapphire, how quickly that sold out. We are going to do something very, very similar with two strands of, we've seen sapphire, we've seen emerald. Let's finish off the big three. Let's see, you've got the full color palette of the big three. You fine, fine jewelry that you've now got the ability to craft. A double strand of no less than ruby. Ruby is the most expensive colored stone on the planet, bar none. Every record that belongs to coloured stones is owned by Ruby. Really? It, it, per carat, per stone, every, every record of price that, 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 that exists in the gem world belongs to Ruby because it is the most expensive gem on the planet. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to take 36 carats times two of Ruby. So you've got set, over 70 carats in total. I'm going to go straight down on this. The most expensive coloured stone on the planet. Let's do two strands, £25 each. £49.95 for the two strands. Faceted, <sighs> faceted ruby. And do you know what? Looking at the quality of the ruby here, let's really come in close. Look at the reds that you're seeing. The saturation of the reds is beautiful. It's got mm. this lovely secondary hue breaking through there as well of blue. So you've got a bluish red. Absolutely top, top, top material this. All briolette cut as well. Do you know what's a real wow factor for me as well is having been on the channel for so many years to see rubies of this size that aren't filled. Yes. Well, that's an amazing point you make. This is the old, this is the old, um, the old Indian source of ruby. A lot of estate ruby. If you look, um, there's actually been a massive series of auctions, record-breaking, called the Althani Jewelry Collection. So the ruling house of Qatar, um, the Althanis, they spent decades building together a collection of, of jewellery, old Mughal jewellery, so 200, 300 years old, um, old Indian emperor's jewellery. And all of that jewellery featured rubies exactly like this, even down to having briolette cuts wow. in, 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 in the ruby. 
the Artani collection. That went on sale last June um, in New York. It's the most highest ever jewellery collection to sell on in, 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 at auction. It achieved over 100 million US dollars across the auction. Um, and ever since then, Briolette Indian cut rubies have never been valued more highly. They're actually, they're actually calling this material um, now the, 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 um, the, the, there is a name for it. So it's just, you know, something just escapes you. All the time. Yeah. There, there is literally a name for this material. This Indian mined, un, un, unfilled ruby, unfilled Indian mined ruby. In the wake of the Altani auctions, this has never been valued more highly. Can I really draw your attention as well to a huge part of the jewellery industry which I feel we as a company don't address enough and it is something that I am very much looking for the right person to bring on board. Um, I'll just tell Steve that that's what we're doing and Mark, um, they'll be fine with it. Okay. Um, but it's very much, and Jake's like, what is she gonna say? Um, no, um, I'd like to think that they trust my suggestions and that is, there's a huge, 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 extraordinarily beautiful world of jewelry we don't touch on and that is the Asian wedding jewelry. This would be, and I have attended quite a few Asian weddings, and they are the most spectacular feasts and festivals of celebration where colour and rich colour is hugely empowering. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that definitely. is, and so Asian wedding jewellery is something I want us to do well, that, on Jewellery Maker. There's your prime ingredient and right there. Abs there's your prime ingredient, can look completely. Like. Yeah. Okay. Um, these are lovely. These are absolutely lovely. Yeah, I love this. Big, 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 big size rubies here. Huge. Over, ni over 90 carats of ruby across this one strand that you're getting. 95 carats in a single strand. It's from Madagascar. Mm. Um, so so it's, it's probably from southern Madagascar, this ruby here. Absolutely stunning material that, that, that we're used to working with. It, commonly in the trade known as Malagasy ruby. Um, and, and people go, oh, well, what does that mean? It actually just means literally from Madagascar. So, oh, okay. so, so you know how we have English for people from England um, or, or British from people from, from, from the United Kingdom? Um, Malagasy does just mean from Madagascar, of Madagascar. But to get 95 carats of Malagasy ruby in the trade, do you know what, Lucy, mm. let's go £10. Um, over 90 carats, over 90 carats of Madagascan rubies here for the first time ever offering it for £10, 9.95. This is just about filling up the basket, isn't it? This is just it about absolutely is. It and do you know what's slightly different about these compared to other faceted rondelles that we've had of ruby as well, which I know loads of people are going to love, is they actually haven't been overly highly polished. So you get that slightly more um, muted, slightly more... Because some people don't want to wear really sparkly jewellery. But, you know, if the ruby, if it's a ruby wedding or if it's your birthstone, and you want to be able to have that contact with ruby and it's not a... Pazazzy, real sparkly one. I think it's going to be really so what, appealing for lots of people. What we call that at the GIA is that's called a natural. So a lot of these facets will be the natural facets of the gem as it was tumbled in the riverbed, as it was alluvially mined. So some of these facets, a lot of these facets have been plied by hand, so they're cuts, but some of these will actually just be natural facets of wow. the gemstone crystal. So you're going to get a mix of both natural facets and facets that have been applied by, 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 by a lapidarist. Wherever those natural ones you see, like you say, that have got a much more natural polish to them, yeah. and they, they are known as naturals in the trade for... I mean, it just goes beyond saying, I'm not going to say the, the, the £10 thing again. It's there in huge writing for you. Certified natural ruby. What do I mean by that? This is not synthetic material. This is certified, uh, certified genuine gemstone ruby. It's coming from Madagascar, sometimes called the jewel box of the Indian Ocean. You are getting oh, Malagasy nice. ruby mm. and over 90 carats of it here. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. 3 95 you post and packaging all day as well. And I do want to just stress that because I've been doing a little bit of channel flicking over the last few weeks. You know, we've had uh, more time in our homes. And um, I'm still blown away by the fact that some people charge so much on postage and packaging per item. And we have maintained 3 95 for postage and packaging all day. And you could have a whole fleet of trucks come to your house and deliver it. It's 3 95
that's it. Fit. It's quite that's amazing, it. really. Yeah. Uh, it's just, look, some people in their business model, um, they, they, they hike their PMP up, they charge it across multiple items, and that's how they go and make their money. We're much more transparent. We say, look, it, it, we're, we're taking the complexity out of it. It's one price. You can see the PMP there. It's one incredibly low price in, in the rubies. And instead, we just negotiate incredibly hard to bring you amazing value on the gemstones themselves. I want to come with you to a gemstone hunting expedition you should do. or something. You definitely okay. should. Yeah. Definitely I've never should. have. I've always whenever the opportunity has arisen, um, well the two major ones, I was pregnant both times uh. and it just wasn't appropriate. So now I think it's fair to leave my husband at home. He's done lots of ex you know, you know, investigating and gemstone hunting all over I the world. I thought you were going to say lots, so. of exhibit, uh, lots of exhibiting then. Well, I, ne I nearly did say that, actually. Uh, he's, <laughs> he is, no, no, he's not an ex is he an exhibitionist. I'll leave you just, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but no, I would love to. No, he's not. I know he's not. Oh, anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Now, this oh, hello. is, we, we've had a bit of fun. We've had some incredible rubies. I'm now going to show you the king of rubies unquestionably there's no doubt if you want to know which rubies are breaking those records i told you it was a record breaking gem it is rubies from the magok valley this material look at this this is a certified magok ruby certified magok ruby what does that mean it means it's coming from burma you are getting that certified material i brought this back with me from my travels to the burmese B burmese land that most incredible inaccessible thing and what i want to show you here is how much this material can trade for look take a look this is the gem val this is the gem guides valuation for you can see ruby attributed to burma mm. now you are looking at a quarter of a carat piece. Here it starts at half a carat. I'm being really transparent with you here. It starts at half a carat, but you are looking at a quarter of a carat stone. But even at this, this size here, it can trade up to, for a half carat gem, 15,000 US dollars a carat. Doesn't say what, what a quarter of a carat could trade up to, but if you're saying 15,000, even if you just say a third of that, $5,000 a carat. You're still looking at about a thousand pound gem in your hand there. We've hardly got any of these. Um, Wayne, for the last few of these, let's take it to 20 pounds, 1995. I don't know what the gem guide values this material at. All I know is that when I went all the way to Magok Valley, when I went to the miners themselves, I got an amazing deal. And I'm passing that deal on completely completely to you. Wow. I don't know what the gem guide will say for a quarter of a carat, because it doesn't give me a table. But I do know one thing. They don't get to go to Magok. They don't get to cut out that many middlemen. They don't get to see deals like that. And that's why this is right now the world's biggest gem fair. Um, quick question for you. Yes. Um, just because I'm nosy. So when you got the stones, yes. were they already cut? Yes. Okay. So these had already been cut, which means that they've already, either the rough had already gone out of um, out of Burma, went over to Thailand and then went back into Burma to be traded at the Magok gemstone market or they had been, be they had been cut in the Magok Valley already. Oh, okay. um, so one of the two, one of the two, um, one of the two alternatives or options there, um, but this material had already been cut. We're looking here at a quarter of a carat for value that literally is direct to, direct to from the miner. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Gillian Allison again. A lot of anonymous uh, collectors there. Uh, Tanya and Alison and Elaine. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Um, I know that there have been an extraordinary amount of questions coming in. Um, we're just simply running out of time. What I'm going to do, though, is we spoke about this briefly before. Obviously, things are changing all the time here with um, who can present. I'm going to be on screen a lot more, so we will schedule some time in. And I am going to dedicate some time um, when things have settled down like it's normal. And I'm going to have a Q&A session with wonderful. Jake, and we're going to put it on YouTube, and we're going to That'd put it on great. our website. So I will make sure, I will personally collate loads of those questions that have been coming in, uh, and we will make sure that those questions 
questions are answered and addressed, if not in the next show, um, they certainly will be then put forward um, and we'll, we'll be able to do regular updates. That would be brilliant. I love hearing your questions. Yeah. Um, and we've got a couple of bigger auctions coming up, so maybe we'll intersperse uh, a couple of those, just a few of them, um, Wayne, if you can select a few for, during the bigger auctions, uh, coming up to, as we come to the end of the show, and I'll try and answer those live on the show for you. Um, I love, love, love hearing from you. Thank you so much. Those of you who are acquiring certified Burmese ruby at £20, um, that's just amazing. Well that's done. Incredible, incredible. Um, right. Um, just, just tell me which one it was. 30... 30... That's the... It's just, just there. Yeah, the, the one that I got, yeah. Incredible cabochon. Uh, this is coming up. This is coming up in a few moments' time, probably about 10 minutes or so. This is top gem. We, have you ever heard of George Frederick Kunz here? Oh, we talk about him a lot. Okay, so George Frederick Kunz became the lead gemology, gemologist of Tiffany Co. off the back of this very gem. We talked about access to stones that make you a fine jeweler. It doesn't get better than this. It is a huge, over 10 carat, beautiful cabochon. You can see how usable it is. You can wire wrap, you can prong set, you could do many, many things with this kunzai. This is, and this is also, what I'll, I'll come on to why, one of the most collectible Brazilian mm. source. Massive news there, and I'll tell you that when we come to that. That's in about 10 minutes time. Okay, um, now, where am I, sorry? Oh yeah, 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 now, big look here. Big, big, big look. So big some of the look. looks, because we're dealing in really fine gems, some of the looks we've brought you so far have been, have been more delicate. This one here is not, it, it, it's for those of you who want to have fun. Big looks on a stone that is breaking records right now. This is Australian, Australian chrysoprase material, and we've kept it in its raw, natural mm. beauty. Exquisite. So if you've ever heard of aquaprase, yeah. We're going to be doing big things now that we've got access to Aquapraise here at Jewelry Maker because it's come part of, back to the Emporia Group. We're going to be doing big things in Aquapraise. But I can tell you now, Chrysoprase is something different. You do not get the strength of the greens in the Aquapraise material. I love the Aquapraise material, but Chrysoprase offers you the deepest greens. That's why it's literally Chinese buyers have not just bought stones, they've bought the mines for this material. <laughs> so all of, pretty much all of the Chrysoprase mines in Australia are now owned by Chinese people because they want, they use it, they're calling this material the Australian Jade. It's never been uh, valued Do you know what? Highly. I looked at that and I thought, I can see why the Chinese market are loving it because yeah. of its comparison to Jade. Now what I want to show you is what this material usually looks like. Because this is top, 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 top gem. Even though we've kept it in the rough, it's top gem rough. Look how many, look how much matrix is oh, wow. typical. Yeah. This is what Chrysoprase typically looks like. I want to draw attention to two things. One, look how much matrix you get. And two, look how solidly opaque it is. There's no inner glow. There's no inner life. This is what Chrysoprase typically looks like. Heavily matrixed. And really, it's quite, it's almost a dull colour, isn't it? Mm. Now come back to this Chrysoprase. Look at the glow you get. Yeah. Can you see how you, yeah. the, the green you're getting is so punchy? It's almost neon. And the matrix, the material, you can see the colour zoning is incredibly saturated. Mm. And you might get little speckles of matrix. That's celebrating the natural, na natural part. But it's not dominated by the matrix. The matrix is there, but it's there as, as a side note rather than as the centre stage. This, this is Chrysoprase. Um, Wayne, I don't mind telling people this. I'm never going to be able to get you Chrysoprase again. So we're going to try and do a big thing with Acropace. The price is just too high, Lucy. Try and, <laughs> if Lucy, like, Lu Lucy was looking at me then like, almost weirdly, uh, very upset, Thanks. very <laughs> angry. Um, <laughs> and I was like, look, the reason for that is because the Chinese buyers, they're getting such a high price for this in, the, in their domestic market, the Chinese jewellery market, marketing this as Australian jade, that the, the price is just too high for me. Do you know what I'll do? I'll go to Hong when, when eventually when the gem world reopens, there's a booth. There's only one dealer in the whole Hong Kong show. It's one of the biggest booths, and, and I'll take some of the prices for you. Absolutely astronomical. Astronomical prices. I'm just priced out of it. I don't therefore need to worry about devaluing this stone. Okay. Because I, don't need to, I, I know I'm not going to buy it anymore, so I yeah. don't need to worry about devaluing yeah. it. Wayne, 9.95. 10 pounds. Chrysoprase. Let's start that big look journey today. 
Yeah, and it is going to be an amazing look and with antique bronze wires and big statement looks. And you know, I'd love Gemma Crow to get hands on this and see what she'd do with it. Uh, ZMVX161. In fact, all our designers, what Fleur would do with it. We, yeah, it's just an absolute corker. Oh dear. Oh dear. I think we're going to have a set up very quickly. Oh dear. <laughs> Fine lad's gone crazy. You get, um, you get a minimum of four giant looks and you, you, you would use probably one of these per statement piece of yeah, jewellery. So you're, yeah. you've got four big pieces of jewellery. You're going to be crafting these, orientate orientate the matrix that, on the shape into unique set, settings. You see there you've almost got a triangle shape on. That's just the rough there um, that you're looking at. Absolutely exquisite. We want to do some exciting things with, with Acapraise. That's an entirely different gem. To be able to get this incredible, natural, Australian chrysoprase, well, I don't mind telling you, I've turned it before, I'll say it again, I'm not going to be able to get it going forward. This is, it literally is a one-hit wonder, this material. I'm really cheesed off that I'm not getting it, because I... I make jewellery and I would like these deals. <laughs> um, the, it, um, it is a big, big, big... What, sorry? Yeah, 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 I'm cheesed off. Yeah. Why did you not say that? Um, they're, they're just big pieces. I would say as well, but don't forget we've got gallery wire. And the gallery wire, which is, um, you can encase the, the size of the stones. And it's all done for you. Grab these, grab some gallery wire. Put the gallery wire around and a pop a chain on it and you're ready to go. And this is incredibly cost effective. And would you say with the prices soaring, if you did want to sell it, hold on to it for a while? Yes, um, I, I would. I'd also um, recommend, um, particularly if you, if you are selling and you do, try Alibaba for this material. So put it onto Alibaba Crafted Jewelry because that's, a typic, that, that's where the biggest Chinese domestic market is and that's where this material is valued the highest. So uh, sell it on so Alibaba. So sell it on Alibaba and ship it there. Normally they ship their stuff over here, but if you can, if you can make jewelry and, and, and find a way of selling it on Alibaba that, or, or anywhere into the Chinese market, uh, that is where you'll find this material valued the highest around the world. Different stones of different value around the world. Um, this material particularly highly valued in, in, in Great China. Great tip. Thanks for that, Jake. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm back with you on Saturday afternoon. I want to know if anyone's ventured into it. We'll um, have just maybe do a bit of a QA and a on um, where you're selling on Saturday afternoon. That'd be quite cool. Um, OK, now. Now this, this is top, top gem. So there are a few gemstones that have the AAA, AAA grading system. Yeah. Tanzanite is one of them. This is, in the trade, given that grading system. Natural chrysopase of the triple... A quality. I mean, look at this gem material. Mm. Not a single inclusion whatsoever. They're, all, they're, they're not a single piece of matrix, and they are all just like jade. They're all of that almost translucent quality, mm. aren't they? The light going in and then coming back out. This is the highest grade of chrysoprase you can get your hands on. And I know right now, I know that were the Hong Kong show happening, I would probably just take this out of stock take the whole lot of strands, put them on a booth in Hong Kong, and they would sell for far in excess of the price we're going for. If I were to, if, if I, if I were to pop, pop, pop a, a, booth, a little pop-up booth at the Hong Kong Gem Show and stick 99.99 on at the Hong Kong Gem Show, I would not be surprised if all of these were to sell out in day one at 99.95. Such is the value for this material in the right marketplace. Do you know what though? Hong Kong shows cancelled. I'd have to wait at least a year, and that's not what we do here. It's about making more fun shows than that. Um, Wayne, let's go straight down. We're not going 99.95, even though it's triple A material. Not even 50 pounds. We've got a couple of minutes left on show, and I desperately do want to bring that kunzai. Mm. Um, price to sell in two minutes: 14.95. 14.95 for triple A grade. Natural Australian chrysoprase. We know the value. Go and do your research after this show. You will see the value that this material of this grade is commanding is astronomical. And it is stunning. I love the. So again, Alibaba, go on there if you're going to be selling. But maybe just buy it now and, and be using it. But hold on to it. And, and what I'd also say is this is another gem. Look, I'm telling you now, I can't bring you this moving forward. It's not one of those gems. I'm going to bring you Acapraise moving forward, which is more of a blue hue. But I can't bring you this bright green Australian Chrysoprase material. This is a gem you need to be very sure of who you're sourcing it from. 
there's a lot of fraud out in the market. So a lot of people will take um, a cow suddenly, dye it green, and try and market this material, market it as this, because this, th because this is so okay. highly valuable. Okay. We've certified this for you. So whenever you're buying it, make sure you're buying it from a source you trust, and make sure you're buying it with a certificate of authenticity. Another mm. reason why I said to the team here, this has to come with a certificate of authenticity. Put it on me, charge me for it, that's fine. But for collectors who are getting this at home, certified natural Australian price appraise, it's never been valued more highly. Buy it from a source you trust. After this one, we're not going to be able to get it. So that means that if you, if you do fall in love with this material, and you will do, of course you do. I mean, there's a reason they call it the Australian Jade. If you do fall in love with this material, you've got to try and find somewhere else a source for this material. And yes, you're probably going to pay a lot more than that, but at least you're getting it from someone you trust. Mm, mm, yeah, good point on that one there. £14.95. It is absolutely flying out. We've only got about 20 of these remaining. Claire and Gabby, Lindsay and Hazel, Gillian and Alison, Andrew and Susan and Pauline. Then all check out your baskets. Well done. Um, after you've just said that, quite a few people have up their order to more than one. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. Look, this is material. I, I've been really candid with you. I can't get you this going forward. So what that means, and I will try and get, I'm going to get you Acropraise going forward. There's a promise. So it's not all bad news. I'm going to get you Acropraise, which is more blue. But if you want this certified Australian Chrysopraise, which is a pure green, jade-like green, that's why they call it the Australian jade, I'm not going to be able to get you this going forward. And there's a lot, there's a lot of fraud going out there. If you, when you find, not from us, because we're not going to be able to bring it you going forward, when you find it moving forward, you're probably going to pay a lot more for it. Don't balk at that price. If, if anything, it's almost reassuringly expensive. If it's really expensive, it's probably the real deal. If it's, if it's, if it's, if it's cheap, it's probably fake. Buy it from a source you trust, get a certificate of authenticity. If you can't get those two things, I would say avoid. Done. Okay, there's a little bit of a cue on those phone lines. Don't worry, we do know you're there and we'll be answer, answering your call in the order that you called in. Okay. Is it time? It's time. Okay, we've got less than 10 minutes, but I want to explore a gem which... I promise you right at the beginning of the show, this is only my third show, and thank you so much for, for, for welcoming me into your community. I want to help you get access to stones that elevate the type of jewellery you're making, to the type of stones that built the legacies of the likes of Tiffany & Co, of the likes of, of, of really the world famous jewellers, the jewellers that we all aspire to look like, and we go, well, we can never quite get there. They're not superhuman. They just have better access. But this is one of the gems that they have built their legacies on. Kunzite, George Frederick Kunz became the lead gemologist of Tiffany & Co. And this stone is his namesake. There's a reason that Tiffany & Co. have made so many of their, not their, their, their jewellery, their fine jewellery pieces out of this gem, celebrating the legacy of George Frederick Kunz. This is the gem. This is that legacy. Tiffany & Co. do make t Kunzite jewellery, not, not to stock in all of their stores around the world, to put in their flagship, to put in Fifth Avenue. I've been to the Fifth Avenue store. There is mm. high, fine jewellery in that Fifth Avenue store that features Kunzite. Take a look at this. This is top, top, top gem material. Over 10 carats of one of the most workable Kunzites we've ever been able to bring you. It is on another level. Oh my word, I honestly think that is the clearest Kunzite I have clarity. ever seen. The Capuchin Cut is opening this up like a mirror. You have over 10 carats. Now, if you're sat at home, you will get a stiff of authenticity testifying over 10 mm. carats of Minas Gerais Kunzite. What does that Minas Gerais mean? It means that this is from a famous, a famous Brazilian mine. Absolutely world-renowned, this mine of Kunzite. Why was it so famous? Because most of the Kunzite in the world now that now that's traded, um, it actually comes from a different mine out of Afghanistan called the Marwi mine. The pegmatite mm. is, is the Marwi mm. pegmatite. Um, and, and there are various mines on it. There's Petroki, there's Marwi, there's Kalum. Um, this is coming from a different area entirely. And this is one of the few sources that you've... That, and all of that comes out as beautiful, but most of the time it has to be irradiated to get a deeper colour. This is 100% 
natural oh, wow. Kunzo. And it, well, it says it on your certificate of authenticity. Uh, well. We should show you that. This is your certificate of authenticity. You can see that there. Certified origin Brazil treatment, 100% natural, not enhanced. Measuring calibrated 14 by 10 millimeters. This, this is extraordinary. This is your ticket to fine jewellery, but we're not going to charge a fine jewellery price. Um, Wayne, less than £100. Let's go 99.95 for certified it's Brazilian. It, it, it's 10, it's 10 pounds a carat, isn't it? It's £10 a carat for astronomically top quality. I was going to say, can you look in your magazine? Do you want me to have a quick look? <laughs> yeah, I'm, please. I'm not sure they do do um, Kunzite in here, but I'll have a quick look for look you. Look I think it's too rare. That. Sometimes stones that are too rare, they don't... Um... Well, suppose if it hasn't got a mass market. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. They do. Come and take a look. Come and take a look. Spodumene, that's the gemstone family. Mm -hmm. Kunzite is the pink variety of it. It's the only one that they do value here. Mm -hmm. So Spodumene, Kunzite. And you know so far this show... We've been giving you, okay, take a look at this line. Take mm. a look at this line, the smaller lines. Mm. Okay. It's not this one. 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 It's the second largest grade in the market. Because we've been able to hit that minimum carat weight of over 10. Over 10 carats. Wow. And now we work our way along. That's for, that's for the low, the commercial, commercial. This isn't anywhere near commercial. Work our way long. I personally would grade this around $75 to $90 a carat. That's $750 to $900 a carat. And that's about as critical as I can be. That's me being really, really harsh on the gem here. Uh, it's probably over $100 a carat material. There we have it. You have got in the trade, dealer to dealer, we're looking at what, close to $1,000 for the stone. Well done, Mary, Hilma and Glenda and Tracy, Jonathan, Melissa, Anne and Susan. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Certified natural kunzite. This is the stone that unlocks your ability to make the same type of jewellery that Tiffany & Co are making. This is the stone that unlocks your ability to make that fine, fine jewellery. At the beginning of the show, we talked about how do you go and make jewellery? How do you go and become a, you know, a, a jeweller worthy of charging £1,000, mm. £2,000 for your jewellery or more? Mm. Well, it's stones like this. It's access to natural kunzite. Even over at GEMS, we don't access natural kunzite often. One in a hundred kunzites we bring might be 100% natural. Mm. This is that material. We're going to leave that there. Because I want to bring you one more strand that would marry up. Remember what I said, how I wanted to create this look with the strand? Yeah. And then the, 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 the medallion, uh, the big, big, big looking pendant on an enhancer over the top. Well, you've just had access to that centre stone. This is the final deal I'm going to be bringing you today. Thank you so much for joining the Gem Guide Show. Every Thursday from 10 a.m. Uh, I'm going to be doing these shows with you and really trying to guide you through the gemstone world. 15 carats of faceted browns. These are beautiful. Look at the colour. The baby pink. Absolutely sensational. Top, top, beautiful colour. This is what we want for my Kunzai. And if you were to take the, take the cabochon and just set it at the bottom of this, you've got an incredible mm. look right there. Um, I've just been told we have two minutes left on show. Wait, does that mean that I get cut off after two minutes? Okay, so this has to sell in two minutes. Um, this feels so wrong. It should be 29.95. Uh, it's got to sell in 120 seconds. 9.95. The the <laughs> only reason, the only reason I am devaluing because that's what I am doing for 15 yeah. carats of kunzite. Yeah. The, I'm being really honest. The only reason I am devaluing kunzite for the next 120 seconds is because that's all I've got. It should be so much more. You know it should be so much more. Uh, it has to sell in the next two minutes, and that's why this price. It should be 29.95 for incredible again this is just the same source it's that Minas Geras that Brazilian kunzite material wow. the same source as the natural cabochon that we had before if you're able to get both of them and just create a masterpiece yeah. well well done if you're just getting the strand huge congratulations as well look I mean look how look how much the color matches yeah yeah oh wow wow and because of the clarity of this, I think, because you've got the most more opaque quality of this, I think it, this really shows off how incredible that cabochon on it is. It's that contrast, isn't it? It's, yeah. that, it's, that, it's that complete contrast. Those of you who missed out, I am so, so sorry. Well done. That 
was just the most... I'm exhausted. I was flabbergasted, I tell you. And slightly cheesed off at the same time. Um, Jake, that has been the most extraordinary um, three hours. Thank you for staying with us for the whole time. No, more, so, more than welcome. Do you have any idea what you're doing next Thursday yet? Uh, no, we are, we are... I'm working on something really special. Um, I'm hoping to try and bring you a collection of Amalite next Thursday from my good friend the miner. I'm hoping to try and get some, uh, get hear the latest from him as well. His name is John Reed. He is the leading miner from this from this material. So I'm hoping to try and give you uh, the latest from the only mine in the world, the Amalite mine in in Alberta, Canada, um, and and really introduce John and what that access allows us to do next. That, that would be amazing. Hopefully, I think yeah. that would be. I, I, an I can't promise. Journey. Might not happen. I don't know. But you'll be here. I anyway. will be here next Thursday from yeah. ten. Guiding um, you through the gem world. Which will be just fantastic. Thank you so much to all of you for watching. Now, of course, the show remains live all afternoon, so don't go anywhere. Continue to add to order for that one post in packaging prize. I'm going to go and see your messages, and thanks to the team. Bye for now. Thank you. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields, and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you stuck for ideas with your jewellery making? Need some inspiration? Then head over to the Jewellery Maker website and check out our projects page. We have plenty of amazing tutorials for you to choose from, no matter if you're a beginner, intermediate or an advanced jewellery maker. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions. Created by our in-house designers, we're always producing fresh content to give you plenty of hints and tips. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker.